Happy Halloween, everybody. It's Habage here. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Hello and welcome. If you're watching these VODs uh, over on the YouTubes or here in Twitch, well, thanks so much. I appreciate the heck out of you. And uh, keep those likes, comments uh, coming. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you'll know when the new live content is. Yes, it is Halloween day today. And uh, continuing on with a, uh, an accidental trend I started yesterday, we are going to do a little something different today. Um, in honor of the holiday, I, while it is a little bit horrific to drive uh, endless numbers of Junimos into, <laughs> into the depths in Junimo cart, going to let that breathe for one more day. Uh, while we go right back to the game that we just wrapped up the stream uh, in yesterday, that being uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore. I had a lot of fun. I didn't want to leave by the time we got done yesterday. So without much further ado, let's uh, let's kick things off here. Um, now, I don't know... Uh, I already said in my tweet, uh, kind of a mini marathon here. I'm starting early. It is 8 a.m. where I'm at. Uh, I figure we'll probably get to two, maybe three. Anything much beyond that is probably going to be a little too much for me. Um, so we'll uh, we'll just see how this plays out. But um, yeah, we got uh, got lots of hours of fun. Uh, we'll take uh, take a break or two <laughs> as we go. Just to um, just to make sure things are going good. All right, I got the chat up. This is a full screen game, so uh, I don't have the benefit of the stream manager in front of me. So if chats are a little bit delayed, sorry about that. Should be pretty close. I don't think we were having too much issue with the chat. Uh, yesterday, so get on over to Twitch.tv. Of course, if you're uh, if you're seeing this VOD and uh, it's already over, well then, um, yeah, uh, get on over to Twitch.tv/habage. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you like. It's Habage One, and uh, come find me uh, so that you can be a part of the next one and say hey in the chat, hang out, and uh, party like it's Halloween. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. All right. So, again, this is not a horror game by any means. It's kind of a comic, uh, roguelike dungeon crawler. Um, basically, we just clear maps, go down. It's a little uh, a little D&D-like in the sense that, you know, you could be a mage, you could be a, a warrior type. Uh, we'll class all the skills. I gave an intro to it yesterday. We'll kind of go through it, and I will play this one. Uh, pretty straight and uh, I did I, I don't know that it's going to show up other than in the saves or the scores uh, settings are going to remain the same and and for me a, a roguelike dungeon crawler means permadeath you go as far as you can, you die, you come back uh, we don't want small floors same experience, that seems awful we want uh, we want big floors, lots of monsters and damage and all that and uh, middle seems plenty good for me. Um, I, if it if it we just cruise through it today and are laughing all the way to the bank, then um, we'll switch out and uh, and go for going rogue and find out what that's all about. But I don't think I'm that good at this game. It's an oldie. Uh, I don't know exactly when it was released, um, but it is uh, it's a good one. So uh, we did swords. Um, and I think just to mix things up a little bit, uh, we'll switch that out a little bit. Um, let's go, I think axes. It's kind of a Minecraft thing, right? The extra damage. Um, so we'll get, uh, get axes up this time, but basically everything else is going to be the same as we did the last time. I will go through these, I guess, because we, we did talk about it, and there is so much humor layered into this game. It's a different deal than Stardew, all you Stardew fans. Thanks for letting me uh, have these couple days <laughs> just going and, uh, and playing around. Uh, but in kind of that same spirit, the uh, the creative team, whoever, uh, whoever brought this to us, um, put a lot of a light-hearted time and kind of layered jokes and things in into the descriptions and things. So 
unlike yesterday, we'll take our time to kind of read a bunch of this until they get familiar and we know them. But let's let's actually go through the skills this time because there are a lot. And I haven't played with all of these. I have mixed them up. I just I like the way I play, and it, it seems to work pretty well. So uh, we'll keep going with it. But again, uh, in our, our sampler steam stream from yesterday, which you can check out over on uh, on YouTube or in the VOD section here on Twitch, uh, you can watch. We, we did a first level playthrough. It was really, actually, really good. We got awesome gear, uh, lots of tougher monsters, but we were able to handle them and uh, moved along pretty darn well. Uh, got down to the second level, and then I called it. Called it. Uh, we were late in the stream. So uh, we didn't take a lot of time here in the skills. That was just kind of a quick jump in and uh, sample it. So, swords. Can you solve the riddle of steel? Unfortunately, no. But you get combat bonuses and special attacks when wielding swords. Uh, daggers. Daggers. They aren't just small swords anymore. <laughs> daggers. Always the most, uh, the most under-chosen of weapons, I think. Uh, axes. You get combat, combat bonuses and special attacks when wielding axes. Uh, the humor's pretty much dying off here. Maces, same deal. Pole arms. Why walk all the way over to someone to stab them? The pole arm is the lazy person's answer to melee combat. Melee? Uh, I, I would say melee, and I know that's not... Uh, like, a melee is the armed combat, but uh, a melee? Uh, me melee? I, I don't know. I don't know what the the pronunciation is supposed to be, but it's one of those words I, I'm pretty sure myself, like everybody else, just mispronounces and we're all good with it. So, melee. Uh, <laughs> staves. You get combat bonuses and special attacks when wielding staves. Staffs, right? Plural of staffs, staves. Uh, archery. You get combat bonuses and special attacks when wielding crossbows, and we like having that ranged. We could, and you guys saw, I, I have a propensity for the softballs, uh, they would fall into this throne weaponry. Uh, combat bonus and special attacks, same deal. And then unarmed, if you if you want to be the uh, uh, the kung fu master, um, you can uh, you can kick things. <laughs> so there there's that. If you just want to run around kicking, um, dual wielding, we we are big fans, and we're going to take that so we can have two in this case axes. So we will uh, pop that down can effectively wield one weapon in each hand so double double axes seems uh seems pretty solid to me uh now here here we're getting into a little bit more of the custom ones shield bear obvious um berserker rage as you attack or are yourself attacked your berserk rage increases your fighting power artful dodger you can evade enemy attacks more easily and can leap about the dungeon that might actually remember we saw that uh, that one little room in the map yesterday where there was a mace sitting on it was surrounded by water we couldn't get to it. Um, that jump might actually let us jump over some of those kind of things. I don't know. That's interesting though. Uh, Master of Arms, you can use armor more effectively and employ defensive maneuvers. Uh, this might be one to skill out with that tinkerer or some of the other craftsmen like here's a smithing uh trait right so you could you could use those recipes and smith up armor and you know take take a sword or something like that but basically just you know try to be a tank roll through everything vampirism i didn't see that one coming did you you do not heal naturally and gain no benefit from food but instead regain your health by killing things and drinking their blood also sparkles <laughs> golemancy you create golems Ooh, little uh familiar type stuff uh, flesh smithing yep other men work in clay, steel, or wood. We call them squeamish. <laughs> Math magic. Uh, <laughs> Arithmancers of the universe unite. Uh, psionics? No, not the mind probe. Uh, necronomiconics. <laughs> Necronomicon? Uh, Army of the Dead fans? Or, or uh, Evil Dead? Uh, um the Necronomicon, uh, Omix. Necronomicon is the economy of the undead. There you go. Uh, Viking wizardry, <laughs> Hail Odin. 
astrology, when they ask you where you're born, you put down Saturn. Uh, Promethean magic. Promethean magic is a branch of magic that deals with giving fire to people by any means necessary. Nice. Um, Prometheus, of course, stole the fire from the gods, right? Uh, magic training. Years of wizard school has made your spells use of mana more effective. Uh, get a little, uh, little Harry Potter look going there. Um, blood mage. You regain magic points by killing things, so very vampire-y, right? Every time you kill something, you regain some mana. Um, lay walker. You can tap into lines of invisible force to quickly regain magic power. So the, the lay lines, right? Uh, perception. We'll, we'll grab this here. Uh, you have good eyesight and are more likely to be able to find traps and hit enemies. Yes, please. We like that. Uh, we also like burglary. Uh, you can sneak around the dungeon, avoiding monster attention, and occasionally stealing items. Yes, please. And assassination. You deal critical blows to monsters more often. Very much nice. Fungal arts. Remember, we had all those mushrooms. You grow strange mushrooms and are more resistant to the effects of poison and putrefaction. That's handy. Yes, alchemy. You can create potions, are generally very clever, and occasionally enjoy consuming large quantities of mercury. Mmm, tasty. Uh, wand lore. You can use and manipulate wands more effectively. Again, uh, I haven't really played around with the magey stuff. If we like this and want to do a series after we're really done with Stardew, uh, maybe we'll try try some totally random build-outs or try to build... Um, stuff that works. Archaeology. You start the game with a fedora and are generally dashing roguish. One day you may even get tenure. Uh, go a little indie. Indie Jones. Smithing. Uh, the, for the adventurer who likes do-it-yourself projects. Also makes you stronger than usual. And then tinkering. Uh, you can create new devices, especially traps, out of gears, mechanical parts, and other rubbish. And again, I... I like this one. The further we go, the better we are able to pick up the traps on the floor and see them. And we get a little bit of crafty uh, type boost as well. So we can do a little bit of that. So I, I like having something in that line. Uh, big Game Hunter. The hunt is on. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Emomancy. Harness the power of whatever and like stuff. Maybe there's some exploding, you know, if you're up for it. How was my my valley uh, emo? Uh, wear diggle curse. Wear diggle's gonna wear dig. Uh, killer vegan. The power of clean living, moral superiority, and gluten magic. <laughs> nice. Uh, piracy. Yar! You knew it had to be. Ooh, I don't know what what we got there. Demonologist. The Church of Demonology is an anvil that has worn out many hammers. Will you take up the path of righteousness, or will you be worn out? Uh, bankster. There's nothing an adventure can't face with a bunch, <laughs> with a bunch of derivatives, diversified stack portfolio, and absolutely no morals whatsoever. Ooh, nice a little Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, communist workers unite. Uh, Egyptian magic. Ignore the guy in the astrology skill tree says. Ignore what the guy in the astrology skill tree says. It's up to you to harness pyramid power. Uh, magical law. When crimes are committed by wizards, only wizards can bring them to magical justice. Ooh. Uh, so I guess that would also fall into wizardry. Uh, paranormal investigator. The truth is in here somewhere. <laughs> A little, little inverse of X-Files. And then tourist. Look, Martha, it's dungeons full of quaint, folksy, crafting realms and charming native monster populations. Let me get the camera. So there you go. Uh, lots of different different options and ways that you can build out your skills. You can go uh, last and just repopulate your skills. Uh, you can also go random and <laughs> go, uh, go very uh, unexpected. Probably, you know, you'd want to be very skilled before you got there, but uh, a good way to force yourself into some stuff. But anyway, we're going to go with the build I just picked. We'll switch up the weapons a uh, little bit here, but take a a, a good, uh, what I know of, to be a, a good way to get going in the game at least. So without further ado, now, being Halloween, uh, I decided 
to go with uh, the original monster, if you will. Um, this is the trivia, and guys, I don't know that anyone in uh, chat is, is really going to get to see this unless we die and it, it goes up on the uh, the scoreboard list. So uh, if you're watching a VOD and you catch this, uh, find out what the name Humbaba is. Uh, what the monster is and uh, let me know. I don't think it's too commonly known, uh, but when I say it is the original uh, movie monster, well, maybe not movie, but uh, pop culture monster. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, you guys know me, Habage, or some of you do, how much I like history and all that. So see if you can find out where that came from. Throw a comment in the YouTube stuff or, uh, or pay attention to see if anybody in chat gets it. Humbaba. That's who we're playing as. Spooky. All right, uh, and again, I'm a guy, so uh, we'll be the guy. But can uh, can switch up the genders has n really no bearing whatsoever on the game. All right, here we go. Uh, off we go, and we'll read this again. In ages long past, the great heroes bound the Dark Lord Dreadmore in the depths of the earth that his evil would never tr would trouble the land nevermore. Alas. The foul Lich Dreadmore proved most devious and patient, for he has been loosening his magical bonds, slowly freeing himself to again spread his evil in the world of light. He must be stopped again. <laughs> Once more, it is time of <laughs> this is a time of adventure, of glory. It is time for a hero. Unfortunately, this hero is you. You've been summoned by the king to prove yourself, to save the land and its people, to join the heroes of London in victory over the dungeons of Dreadmoor. All right, let's go. Load it up. Come on. All right, so here we are on the map, and we actually started out eerily close. These are random. You can start wherever you, you end up on the map. Uh, we started in the upper upper left last time, too. And just like last time, uh, we'll go ahead and set up our, our inventory so much as it is. Uh, get ourselves geared up. I guess we'll, we'll have our name up there a little bit. So, uh, we selected archery, so we do get a crossbow. It doesn't start equipped. And we have a crude stone axe. Not very good. Uh, we did also get these tinkering parts and the disposable ingot press. Uh, you guys learned a little bit. We'll look for one of those cheese graters again as well. We want to have lock picks in our... Uh, our hands here. I think they need to be on the toolbar. At least I always put them there. But maybe uh, you know what? Let's let's try to find out if we can use those. Um, we'll see if we get the wizard's keys this time quickly. Uh, we can hang on to these. But if inventory becomes a problem again, uh, we'll sell them if we find a Brax earlier instead. So no extra clothing items to equip. All we got is our fine linen shirt. A crisp white shirt of the sort worn by gentlemen rogues. Don't spill on it, because it's white. Uh, and a crude stone axe. By Paleolithic standards, this axe is a high-tech terror weapon. By yours, however, it belongs in a museum. Yeah, not really great. And then a small crossbow. It's like a kid's toy. Adorable, sure. But you may as well just throw the bolts at the bad guys. All right. So down in our inventory here, we have wooden bolts, 19 of them. They're pretty pretty trash, but at least we have some volume. We have some poison ampule bolts. Oh, goodness. I just had toast. I've had like one sip out of my coffee, so please excuse the hiccups. But we had to, uh, I had to rush breakfast because I kind of decided to do this on, the, on a whim. And um, yeah, let's go. Uh, so poison ampules will actually probably hold off on those a little bit. The poison is kind of nice. Um, you can somewhat pick your enemies. Uh, you you know decide are are they physical beings, fire, uh, poison, right? You know maybe like a machine type enemy, which we haven't even gotten to yet, wouldn't be as good. Uh, again, blue uh, up here, and here we here we can kind of run through this stuff early now that we're getting started, so we don't have to to cover it each time. So we have hearts, right? We get 28 hearts to start, and then we have a health regen bonus. So light points, this number shows how not dead you are. When it hits zero, you cease to live. Try not to let this happen. Good advice, game. Thank you. And then health regeneration bonus. Listen up. This one is tricky. This number is your health regeneration bonus. It is subtracted from the base health regeneration rate to determine the number of steps it takes for you to regenerate one point of health. 
a higher number is better, right? And so what that means is when we first start out, it's like five steps to get a heart back, four or five or something like that. The more of these you have, the more quickly your hearts come back. Um, so, you know, you get four or whatever, um, if you can get that far, and these are a little hard to come by, but if you can get to that point, then your food is, or your, your hearts are coming back every step you take. And when you get this number up, you know, around a hundred or something, uh, that can make a big difference if your heart get if your health gets wrecked. Certainly you can also use food to regenerate health. We'll get to that in just a second. Mana, we're not going to be concerned about it at all because like I said, we're going warrior, not wizard. Um, but mana, a number shows the capacity to cast magic spells, all which cost mana at some point or another. And then the regen, same deal exactly as hearts. Up on top, obviously we already touched on equipment. We have a helmet, a belt, a, uh, pants, shoes, dual wield, amulet, uh, or gloves, and uh, two rings. So lots of spots we can fill in with good stuff. We can drop resistances in here, and we can add types and, and increase our potency in damaging things with our weapons. So that should come along nicely. Um, and here you go. I don't know what... To the right are the number of skills you've learned in the category of each heroic archetype. For every skill learned, you gain a corresponding archetype level. I, I've never clicked on that before. So what that, what that means, though, is... Based on what we selected, like the burglary, uh, the perception, and all that, we kind of we kind of stack into a rogue with a bit of warrior, um, and that's a good combo. I want to I want to deal damage, smash stuff, but we can also move about sneakily, uh, see stuff, and often walk up on on monsters and stuff uh, to bash them in the head before they even know we're there. So uh, there we go, and then we've got. Uh, these categories, these are your primary statistics. Each one represents a certain primariness. All right. Uh, so, again, six of these, we have burliness, prime attribute of the warrior, and pertains to getting into trouble, hitting one's head on other people, and getting hit by large objects, limbs, pseudopods. It affects life points, melee power, and block chance. Sagacity. Uh... Sagacity is the primary attribute of the wizard, so we don't care about it too much. And it's mostly about being a know-it-all. It affects mana points and magic power. Meh, nah, we don't care. Nimbleness. Nimbleness is the primary attribute of the rogue. and is a quality of swiftness, grace, and not getting hit by things. It affects dodge chance, sneakiness, enemy dodge reduction, and counterattack chance. Nimbleness is pretty great, yes. And because we are stacked high into rogue, we get quite a bit of that. Caddishness. Caddishness is a primary attribute of the pirate and revolves around not caring about the feelings of others. It affects crit hits and counterattacks. Also very nice. Savvy, which you would have thought would have been the piratey one, but savvy is a primary attribute of the bard and involves being clever while avoiding trouble. It affects magical haywire chance and sneakiness. Also very good. And finally, stubbornness. Stubbornness is a primary attribute of the monk and enhances self-righteousness and the ability to ignore mean things other people say about you. It affects magical resistance and block chance. So there you go. We got a, a bunch of primaries, and these all map over into other skills. Uh, melee power, we like that. Uh, we don't have a ton of it because we're not a super stacked up warrior, but it's there. Uh, crit chance, we're already very good at that. Again, rogue. Um, Counter chance, not terrible yet. Magic power, don't care. Haywire chance. Haywire chance affects how likely your spells are to trigger a highly unstable resonance cascade event. Eh, whatever. Uh, magic resistance, only four. Uh, that's certainly good to be resistant to magic. How intuitively you can mostly nullify a magical attack against you. Uh, visual sight radius, always very nice. That just means how much of the, uh, the little... Uh, haze of uncertainty around us lights up. Um, we've got one there. Hopefully we can boost that. Sneakiness. How good you are at tiptoeing around your problems rather than facing them. Host with sneaking by enemies, not waking sleeping enemies, and avoiding traps. Uh, we got no sneakiness yet, but uh, that's another very nice one. Dodge reduction. Very nice. That's actually our highest skill to start. Uh, hit right, right? Uh, it, 
enemies will try to roll a dodge every time we try to, you know, same as us, um, dodge reduction. We just basically force that number in a D&D sense to go much higher, right? Uh, affects how likely an enemy is not to dodge your attacks, because heroes never miss, but sometimes their attacks are dodged. Uh, <laughs> dodge chance. Us. Uh, a counter the enemies. How likely you are to avoid the consequences of your actions and physical attacks. Uh, block chance. Block chance affects how likely you are mostly to block what you what you deserve, at least as far as physical attacks go. Uh, armor absorption. Again, uh, mainly something that will get added to good armor and weapons and that kind of stuff. Absorption is how good your armor is at standing between you and inevitability. Each point of armor absorption removes one point of mundane damage types. Crushing, slashing, blasting. Cool. Uh, trap site radius. We really like that one. We'll get a couple boosts there. Uh, that shows us further from where we're standing or walking around that uh, uh, traps are there and we don't want to step on them. And then trap affinity is our ability to pick them up. Uh, to avoid and disarm. So if you walk on them, you may get away without triggering them, or more likely we'll be able to pick them up if we see them. Wand crafting, meh, don't care. Uh, smithing, we don't have anything here yet either because we didn't select the smithing uh, trait. Alchemy, same deal, but we do have one in tinkering because we took that skill and can build that up a little bit over time questions shout them out in the chat if you uh if you have any as we go uh hopefully we won't have to run back through that sometimes you'll find that i'm scratching my head i'm like wait which one is that uh but we'll go so uh what do we do it's a very kind of simple uh walk around game um and we're just going to do so carefully i'm gonna get this out of the way while we're while we're on this wall it it's a little tough to see um what we're going on so, uh, with our burglary trait, we get to steal an item out of each of these vending machines that we see. There's good stuff in here. This is all food, right? Uh, and I talked about it a little bit. Uh, some of the really good things in here to buy, if we could, would be cheese. Um, a steak that's not already grilled uh, so that we could eventually grill it. Or diggle eggs. Uh, these cheeses make grilled cheeses um this is a cheesy omelet as you can see look at all those stars and how much it's worth diggle eggs and grated cheeses which could be this one i think you can probably grate this too but i wouldn't want to because grilled cheese um so yeah uh unfortunately we have zero zork mids is our uh our cash the name for gold uh so i'll often call it gold because we do and then, annoyingly, we have to click out of that. And um, booze is going to be kind of the, again, mana versus health points, right? Food restores health. Booze restores mana. You can see the blue stars there. And all of these have, I guess you can't see them, but they restore different amounts of the blue stars. Mainly, we'll just be selling these as we go to, uh, to cash them in. The good news is this one is a 12-star hard cider. Um, so it's a decent booze, right? We got this guy. Uh, here, let's get out of the vending machine. This guy, we just got rolled uh, as a starting item. It only restores six, and this guy restores eight. So uh, we don't care much about those. We also have an Isidium Salis. Uh, it's the salty acid. Not good on your potatoes. Um, since it's an acid, I, I don't think that's an ideal thing. Um, but let's do one other, I was wondering if I could apply that. I don't want to drink it because we accidentally drank poison. And I was like, maybe that'll make my attacks poisony. No, it just poisoned me. So I don't understand potions. I don't know why, why they're so negative-y. Um, something I haven't really, really gotten into. I'd usually just sell them and get cash because cash is good. All right. Uh, here we go. A wand and a tome. Neither of these are very good for us, uh, but cash. Uh, so, again, we can pick those up. And here you go. In the last episode, we saw uh, these are these altars of Krong. Um, we're going to leave that alone for now because I don't have anything I want to waste an enchant on. 
Um, we don't. This is another one of these. We don't have any means of getting to these little shoes uh, at this point. So, gotta wait on that. Uh, and there you go. We we basically are now gonna explore the map, uh, bash stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that hopefully will be good. Um. Oh, dang it. I stepped on the trap. All right. So here we go. We got a crossbow. Uh, we got a monster. We can soften them up since we don't have much uh, in the way of uh, weapon effectiveness yet. And pick up this random stuff. Uber chests. We ran into one of those. We never did get it open. Um, and this one, too, is locked. So uh, I doubt this lever is going to open that. I doubt it will do anything different here. Uh, and then we can uh, shoot this evil potato. Uh, get three three hearts off of it. And there we go. We're, we're moving right along. We're getting some XP. Uh, from kills, from picking up traps, and um, we lock picked, so I don't need to have that in, which is nice. Uh, we got some food here in case we need it, and that wand um, really doesn't need to be down in my toolbar. So now maybe that still not still not chest. You never know. Uh, one of the levers out there could help us out. Uh, it's just a potion, not a trap. All right. Same thing we had here. This is a decision, right? You can either take the monsters uh, that we have there. Uh, we'll just walk up here. Our visual radius is so small at the moment that uh, we might miss stuff if we don't walk all the way up on it. And remember, oh, uh, Tinker's Parts. So here's Tinker's Parts. Uh, we actually already have one. So, yeah, 100%, I, I could sell extras of these, but I only need one of each of these categories. Uh, they don't get consumed. They're not consumables or anything like that, but they allow us to do the crafting here. Let's uh, just take a look here. So here we go. Crafting menu. Each of these items opens up uh, a list of uh, different things we can work in. And so here's tinkering, right? And uh, then we can arrow down throughout it. And as you can see, uh, some of these, like here, one little wrench, that was the tinkering that we got. So we could make a crude steel crossbow. Uh, with our current tinkering level, if we had a steel ingot and brass mechanisms. Uh, we don't have either of those two things yet, so no dice. But uh, tinkering will allow us to make uh, bolts and crossbows and things. It fits in with our archery pretty well. We can also make traps. Um, I pick up a trunk. I just tend to sell them, though. And I guess we could could do some of that, but um, I don't know. I, it, it, there's no no real guarantee of hitting the the monsters as they go, and we can do a few things, right? We can make a a sword, we can make a a mace type uh, weapon, um, but primarily we're going to be falling into ranged stuff, um, and we can make some armory armory type items as well. Again, I don't I don't do a whole lot of this until it gets fairly late, um, but it's nice to have it there. Um, and uh, we'll have some things that with others of these we can do without any any skill whatsoever, right? Like uh, here, if we go to the end, um, tinkering zero, we don't need, need any levels of tinkering uh, to make a grilled cheese sandwich, which heals 40 hearts, so that's why I said cheese and bread. Really good, and then the cheesy omelets for 36, so... We have half of that, but we need this little cheese gratery looking thing to be able to grate the cheese and uh, make a bunch of those. So we'll see if we get one of those. Uh, there you go. But since I already have that, long answer is um, we don't need it. Now, typically, 
Uh, there's something else here. Omni, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Uh, we're we're Halloween mini marathon streaming. I think I'm gonna go for for six, maybe more uh, hours, and we are playing Dungeons of Dreadmore. I lost that. I restarted the stream, and I'm so sorry. You got the the PowerPointy brutal version of it. Um, we restarted. We went in. Uh, Anthios live. Ant came by. Uh, Jenny was in there, uh, <laughs> and I got drop creepered and lost my hardcore world. No, no huge shock there. Uh, although I was just glad to get it recorded so I could see my little uh, my little home area there, my base, and all the construction before I lost that world. Uh, and then we we played a level of Dungeons of Dreadmore. It's a uh, a roguelike uh, dungeon crawler, so we go deeper and deeper, and we're literally just getting started. I've been walking through some of the stuff. It's really, uh, it's got good combat and all that. It's very simple, very basic, but um, <laughs> all of the all of the descriptions, all the monsters and stuff like this. Hard cider, drink it slowly to restore spell points. And then down below, it's cider. It's hard. Like, everything is dry humor, tongue-in-cheek, tons of references to what's now dated, but pop culture and uh, um, game, video games and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, chill. Yeah, it's it's an old game. I don't I don't know enough about it. Uh, I saw somebody streaming it, a long, or uh, YouTubes or something, a long time ago. Uh, went out and picked it up, and it was like, I don't even know, less than 10 bucks, I think, on Steam. And I was like, oh, of course. And I've had a lot of fun playing it. We'll see how see how it reacts for the, the stream. You know, it's it's certainly a different entity all of completely from Stardew and certainly from any Minecraft or anything like that. But it runs really well on the laptop. We don't have to worry about resources. And here we go. So, like I said, we've got a decision to make here. Do we go for an item that may be hiding back here that I can't see? Oh, I can't. And it is a staff. I don't need a staff, so in this case, even though I am, uh, this might kill me, uh, frankly, because we're not that good. Um, so they already see me. Look at them. They're all, uh, all getting going. So I can pull this lever, open this, and let all those monsters out. Dangerous? Yes. But um, it will also give me XP, and we, we don't even have a level yet. So uh, I think we're going to go for the XP since I don't need a staff. All right. Now, um, these guys are enraged diggles. They have 21 hit points. We only have 28, and there are a bunch of them compared to us. So I'm going to try to do everything I can to slow them down. I'm going to use my... Let's use these... Eh, I don't know if diggles take poison. So let's use these fire bolts uh in addition to the piercing and all that that i get from my bow they will do three fire damage and whatever that other thing is maybe exploding so we'll try to soften them up and now he is cruising and i don't want to be able to get surrounded so we're gonna hit him look at that he already took seven of my health so like I said, this could be really bad. Uh, also known as the Alchemist Friend, it'll do considerably more than rot your teeth if you drink it. I think it, it red makes me think this is a hearts. Um, let's see. Don't kill me. Oh, crap. What did I just do? Acid burn? Oh, I'm going to die now. Well, this was fun. Fun start. Yeah, I, I don't think I can do anything to stop this. This is why this game can absolutely kill you oh all right we survived that um quick shoot him hit him oh <laughs> congratulations we died we made it this far on level one not good all right um that uh, there you go Humbaba the Adventure, the Blasted Disease, Killed by an Enraged Diggle Level 1. You score 192. Maybe we should have taken the, the staff instead. Uh, but as you can see, um, I have played, uh, you know, these are just my various uh, um, saves, including one that got up to 2 million. So, yeah, I've had some some good deep runs, but you can you can get dead real quick so new game and that that's it hardcore you don't get any any saves no save progress you're done you start back over at the bottom 
So, um, because that one was so quick, let's just repopulate everything. I ran through all these skills and all that. They're awesome. They're funny. Uh, this is our build out. We're kind of a roguey warrior. Uh, no magic y stuff, uh, but axes, bows, dual wielding, perception, burglary, assassination, and tinkering. Should be fun. Let's go. Uh, now, I don't think I can use the same name, but we never we never died, and uh, um, I can spell my name. Uh, let's go with Habitch again. Uh, Omni, I got a question for you. I don't know, since I'm already dead with it. You're, you're kind of well-read and hoary kind of guy. Does the name Humbaba mean anything to you as a monster? You ever heard of that? All right, we just read all this too. Uh, we we got to go kill Dreadmore. He's the the Lich King, the the main guy we're fighting, and all these are his minions that uh, that we got to work our way through. Once more, it's time for adventure of glory. It is time for a hero. Unfortunately, this hero is you, and uh, we got been summoned by the king. We got to go go lock ourselves in the dungeon till we get it all cleared out. Uh, the Epic of Gilgamesh. Have you ever heard of that? All right, here we go. New map. All right, this time we actually did start in a different place. Uh, you'll see that some of this stuff is very similar time in and time out. Oh, I need to get the character map up. Uh, so again, only one crappy axe, only one crappy shirt. Uh, we get the same tinkering parts, but we get uh, a random bunch of ingots this time, which again, if we find the keys and can store inventory stuff, we will be good to go. Uh, we'll save this inventory space for more food. We don't need mana, so we don't need booze, but we do need food where we can get. We got a 15 heart cheese and a 14 heart cheese. All right, we're off. Uh, so we'll try to be a little more cautious. Uh, tofu, yum. The only, oh, there aren't many foods I don't really care for. About the only way I like tofu is uh, in hot and sour soup. Um, otherwise, the texture just, it's a texture thing. A little too grainy for what I expect it to be. Yeah, Epic of Gilgamesh. What I say? If I didn't say Gilgamesh, I was totally wrong. So, Humbaba is the monster in that that they um uh, I, I forget their names now is it Eru or something like that um but the two the two friends go and, and fight this monster that lives in the cedar forest and uh spreads out but it, it i was saying you know like this is the the true first movie okay maybe not quite movie but uh popular fiction monster uh being that it's it, in the first novel that we still have any access to in the modern world. Oh, I should have bow hit him. Uh, but we got our evil magic potato, giant floating root flapping eye encrusted demonic potato, the horror. We got him. Uh, and there is a trap right there, which we get a little bit of XP for. Uh, cheese. Good. All right. For folks who don't know, another, another vending machine. Oh, I guess we already hit that. And, uh, these are bookcases with recipes. So I showed you the crafting in the last short-lived playthrough. Um, those will add. A lot of them we won't be able to do anything with. Uh, it's just kind of the nature of the game. But um, those couple uh, at least will really help us out uh, if they, they fall into the tinkering. We can get some better stuff. All right. Here we go. Let's... Uh... <laughs> Bats are not particularly... Um, easy to hit at ranged. More ingots. Uh, let's real quick. 16 health tofu. Just prioritizing these by uh, their potency, I guess. Call it potency. Oh, and I, I didn't even notice that we got the jacket. Well, I mean, I did notice, but I didn't think about it. Coat of denim. This coat of denim is worn by a certain class of bard that roams the hinterland, spreading song. Buffo. Bop. And that is uh, 
So our linen shirt gave us one uh, dodge and one, uh, what is this one? Counter, right? So, and it had one little star. Our jacket here, two stars, so better. Uh, that's base, the base armor rate. And then a bunch of different resistances. It gives us uh, an absorption. It gives us these two, slashing and existential resistance. Existence, existential resistance. You think, therefore, you resist. And slashing protects you from attacks with bleeded edges. It also helps reduce razor burn. Nice. And uh, we do get a couple of uh, block chances as well. So big, big improvement to start things off that will hopefully help keep us alive. Yay! Um, Darkest Dungeon, I assume that's a game. Oh, Ely guys, no thank you. Uh, pretty much only ranged, but they have a ranged counter, and uh, we're not ready there yet. Oh, uh, yeah, if we're moving that way. Let's, uh, nobody's following us yet. So B. Arthur, it's a heroine among, among the Bumblebee per people with a long and distinguished career. Is peaceful and not attacking you at the moment. Neither of these are. Uh, they will. They're, it's an evil potato. And uh, this monster with the little halo -y bit about it, um, this means it's, it's like a unique, right? Uh, the Amazonian bumblebee people are the, uh, the base of these. Maybe have a couple less hit points, but um, yeah. Uh, we'll use our ranged here to uh, soften up. And then I'm going to pull back one just so nobody can get around. I don't think it's going to be a huge deal, but I don't want to get attacked by more than one at a time. Get some health back. First level. Yay! It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And we get a skill boost. Talked a little bit about this in the summary. So we start with one skill in each of the categories we already selected. So we have Combat Lumberjack with our axes. Embrace the flannel. Become one with the flannel. This skill forms the foundation of axe wielding. Um, bolt Thrower. Ability exceeds effort. Basic crossbow training slightly increases your chance to hit and the hit and hit well. Ammo recovery rate is increased from nothing. I mean, I guess we could pick up a crossbow and use it even without this skill, uh, just like we can throw weapons, uh, or throw thrown weapons. So, uh, yeah, we, we just start off a little better. Swift hands, uh, faster. Kill, kill. Basic training allows you to effectively use two weapons at once, uh, so no negative for the offhand weapon. Uh, superhuman perception, we get w that one perception eyeball from this. Uh, you can see very well in the dark. This is useful for missing your tax less and finding loot like that. Uh, vending machine looter. This is our first burglary, and that's where we get the free stuff. Um, if no one was watching, it wasn't a crime. True, true. And uh, blackjack. <laughs> you filled one of your socks with lead shot and can use it to whack bad guys over the head, leaving them stunned by your foot odor. <laughs> this is abilities automatically used when the opportunity presents itself. And there are lots of those uh, skills and things that will just roll. You'll see that you use them. We'll see that the uh, the enemy that we hit and get this blackjack will just sit there uh, stunned and not hit us the next turn. And then dis dabbling trappist. Uh, here we get a little bit more savvy um, and a tinkering because this is the tinkering trait. So we get a, our one level in that and then one trap affinity to help pick up traps off the floor. So there you go. Now, uh, my very first skill that I ever, ever take is not actually a combat one, which is kind of crazy. Um, but with burglary, there is a lucky pick. Locked doors pose no impediment to your lucky pick. And what this basically applies is that when opening doors, we don't use the lock picks. Um, that we uh, we have here. We're already down to 10, uh, and that's primarily been just opening up doors since we started right here, right? We haven't gone very far, we've already used two. Now we'll only use those on chests. Uh, so early on, I don't wanna have to be kicking open chests and things like that and, and losing out on treasure. I wanna protect lockpicks. So that's my first. Uh, it has the most value early on. So we'll take it, and uh, now we'll go um, more combat heavy in our future picks. Uh, we get one of our bolts back. 
Thank you, Skill. Uh, lobster Main Fungus. Mm. And a Crude Iron Mace. Now, uh, we are an Axe Wielder, of course, but um, we can use a, a non-us weapon. And so we can have uh, this sitting here. Um, I, I think that negative reflects our not axi or not axiness but i don't know anyway it, it will let us hit a little bit harder until we can find another axe somewhere to use all right on deeper into the engine um and, and yeah clearly no i have not heard of the darkest dungeon but is it a, a similar dungeon crawler kind of deal um because this this is a, a a fun little class of games um and I think Rogue uh, kind of established the genre, right? That's why they're they're often referred to as Rogue Likes uh, as the class. Uh, uh oh, oh, there we go. So we hit for uh, we hit for four, six, and one now with our uh, our mace added into that. So yeah, even though it's not our ideal weapon. Um, and we don't get a bonus uh, on our damage, it will uh, serve in a pinch. And those look like some good bolts. Got a trap to pick up. All right, we got a gnome here. <sighs> oh, card. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, tons of... Tons of, of subtle strategy here, but um, depending on where you're at, right, you kind of... Ooh, softballs. Nice. We like softballs. And a plastic ring. The trashiest of all rings here. A couple things we want to use. Uh, plastic ring. Shoddy plastic ring in the dwarven style. Why do they make so many of these? Uh, it's only got one star of armor, no special effects, but we have no other rings, so we'll take that little bit of armor. We also have a very nice bolt, probably better than we really deserve right now. Uh, we are going to move our food down the line here. Get this trap out of there, because it doesn't do us any good. We're going to put a softball for a hand-thrown weapon. Good for getting aggro. Uh, it won't do as much damage, uh, but can... Pepper enemies at range and don't have to use our more valuable bolts. Uh, it can also get aggro from a big group across the way. Uh, if we want to use that oh-so-popular strategy. All right. Uh, ten heart cheeses. Uh, we will just try to save the better cheeses uh, for later. And I have an eleven heart as well. So... Um, we don't have any super food. We don't have that many hearts, right? So um, it doesn't really benefit us to have some of these these higher ones on the toolbar. Um, and yeah, this is our modular alchemy box. That is another one of these guys. Not that we're going to be doing any alchemy, but it goes down to the bottom. All right, uh, we got a grill. Here, we can leave our inventory up. Uh Grill's empty. Bummer. But we can cook stuff. Oh, we don't have any. <laughs> we had the steak and then we died, didn't we? Uh, fungus, a beer, uh, some gold, I guess. And a crate. What is in our crate here? A coral wand. Good cash if we can find a place to sell it. Oh, that was a bat, I think. Bat carcass. Ooh. All right. Hard cider. Uh, fountains. Fountains could be good or bad. Uh, just a fun little uh, effect. Drink from the fountain. Sick. Oh, man, we got sick the last time. So now we have a 93 turns of uh, a slight negative. Uh, basically, we're just down a heart, right? So not, not the end of the world. Um, when we grab this orb... Um, we don't want orbs, but it, it may make fetch us a fair price so we'll take it uh we will likely uh yeah here they come uh get some enemy attention quite a few of them too uh so same <laughs> same logic applies um we want uh 
to try to survive. Now, I don't know if I will burn in that fire, so I'm going to go do the trap walk here. There's one. Uh, let's give it a try. Hey, we got it. Nice. Uh, 45 is the best chance you're going to get, other than just automatically doing it. Generally, if you just see the outlines, uh, you won't automatically pick it up. Um, but it's not overly worthwhile. Uh, I don't know if I will burn in this fire. Uh, let's check. Oh. All right. These guys aren't too bad. Oh, but we did not uh, did not get all of them. We get a little more cash. So we're up to 144 uh, Zork mids. Not too bad. Uh, what was a bummer? What did I miss? Sorry. If there's something that's a bummer. Oh, if you like first-person Doom, like shooters, retro like then you can also play the Shrine games. I think they're free on Steam. Oh, interesting. Um, not honestly, not a huge FPS. Um, I mean, every once in a while, like if I'm at an arcade or something like that, certainly. Uh, so this is a a shrine. This is the Mellow Shrine. The Mellow Shrine makes you want to like chill out and stuff, man. Totally. Uh, <laughs> uh, sometimes we'll have quests that will make us take things back to the Mellow Shrine, and you can see it does show up on the little map so we can find our way back. Uh, trap. Bolts. Uh, we will steal some. And later, uh, we'll look to buy some of these kind of things. Cheaper is generally better, right? You can buy really good expensive bolts. Um... But getting 13 for 200, uh, just the volume generally uh, generally helps the most. Uh, anyway, we don't have that kind of money yet. Uh, and look at that. We got bolts right next to it. And a broken wooden crate. Let's go down while we're here so we don't have to backtrack. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. Uh, try to tell me you haven't played this game. And again, for folks who uh, who may have caught yesterday's VOD, uh, I apologize for the, the repeat on some of these just description things. It just helps early on so people uh, get a feel for what we're doing. Uh, let's go across and then up. Because why not? No real rhyme or reason. These maps do get redrawn. Obviously, we started in a different place, but it is a different map. So uh, the rooms and the layout and all that, you'll get the same complaint component pieces, but they'll all be arranged differently. Another one of these rooms uh, that we can't get to the goodies. Uh, uh, shrine, a statue of Dreadmore. Break. Yes, please. Uh, heroic Vandalism gets you uh, increasing amounts of XP on every level. So um, at the moment, we get 50. That will go up from there. And here we go. Poncho with no name. Just... Uh, just like we had in the last one, I actually prefer this to the coat of denim, even though we have some resistance. Um, this one gives us so much dodge chance, um, and it also gives us the enemy dodge reduction, so it actually makes us more offensive, um, whereas this one is pretty much all defense, and I do like to do my damage. So we'll take the poncho, and again... The other reason it's so awesome, it is uh, uh, take your best shot. And homage to the uh, the Clint East. Oh man, Clint Eastwood spaghetti westerns, uh, the Dollars trilogy, which are so good. If you haven't seen them, some of these we'll be able to pick up just like that. Uh, and you never know, this lever could be the one that opened. Wait, did we find? No, we haven't found the Uber chest here. Uh, nothing in the grill again. Hey, level two. All right, meddling kid. Yeah, we get to be one of those troublesome meddling kids. Thank you, Scooby-Doo, for teaching us your ways. All right, so now we now we want to get aggressive, right? Um, and there's a uh, a couple couple things here that will help us right uh very effectively, right? Our axes. 
Um, Viking strength. Join the Church of Odin. Learn to hate. With this skill, you have the chance to perform the Viking Strike in melee combat, which could be a special attack. I, I'm not sure if it will hit automatically, although usually it tells. Uh, crossbow. Um, basically, uh, I guess this technique, robed in rumor and behatted by hearsay, allows Crossbow Bolt to hit with many times the force expected, knocking enemy back and causing great damage. It's tricky. You can only pull it off sometimes. So you may push an enemy back when you hit them. Uh, very nice. Um, I think, obviously, uh, we can't always control that it'll be ranged combat, so let's get that. Um, boom! Viking strike. Let's go Vikings. Okay. Fun fact, I uh, I did grow up a Vikings fan. I'm now much more of a Bronco fan, but... Uh, um, Vikings do, doing a lot better this season than the Broncos. Uh, lever. Uh, sounds of machinery. So maybe somewhere we did just unlock an Uber chest. Maybe we opened a secret passageway. Oh, like here. Maybe. Maybe that was just there and I missed it. Yeah, let's go up. Uh, oh, he hit a trap on his way to me. Sorry about that, dude. Uh, but thanks for your goods. Lots of traps, which are great. Lots of uh, lots of XP. Oh, and that thing up in the top is good too. Uh, Omni, you get to watch me um, go pen and paper here, just like uh, just like we were doing over in Bully Land uh, the other day. I think that was yesterday. Uh, another lever. May as well pull it now. I don't know. Um, do you feel lucky, punk? There you go. Do you? Um, Grog. All right, this guy here. I got to. Uh, I got to get a notepad. Have one handy. I got some Minecraft notes in here. Oh, and just lists and lists. All right. So here we go. Little uh, little rainbow graffiti on the walls. It's mystical graffiti. Study this to learn of secret dimensions. All right. So here we go. Random letter. Uh, <laughs> random letter stuff. Yeah, it's a handy dandy. It's a notepad. It's nothing quite so glamorous. Pukin Zugormag. Uh, Puck. E nuz mag. All right, just set that aside. Uh, got it. And it, they tell you this may prove useful somewhere. Friendly bit of advice: uh, I'd write this down, and, and quite literally, because you're you're kind of locked in this game. You can't move between windows, so there's no copy paste. Uh, you got to just. It got to just old school it, but I kind of love that because that used to be the deal back in, in old games, uh, as Omni well knows. Uh, if you were doing any kind of like an RPG or adventure thing, codes, tips, all that kind of stuff, I, I go back to the like loading CDs of game content onto your PC. Um, when you launched that game, it, like this one, it, it kind of goes full screen and it locks you in and you got, you know, here nowadays you got a Windows key out of it or you basically have to shut down the game. You, you really, the whole idea of windowing uh, an environment didn't work because it, it wanted to basically run all your CPU and everything if you were getting cool graphics. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I kind of love that it, it's like, yeah, uh, you got to go back to that mode. Um, you get... Uh, potentially, well, we'll find out what we might get out of it. Um, so, I think we already raided this. This is what we were going to do later. Um, before, Oh, dang it! I saw that too late. Uh, before we go too far, I want to keep going on the across path here. And... Now I'm all. Now I'm watching for traps. So finally, oh, this could have been the, the secret room. Uh, mushroom. Just again, more money. Um, you got a trap. Your inventory is 
Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, this is a real problem. Uh, we don't have we don't have any means to sell stuff. Uh, another recipe, right? Crafting. Uh, so we'd need smithing probably to make something like a triple flail, but it's there. Uh, we won't be able to pick up the grog. We won't be able to do much of anything um, until we get either an item or find a brax. Uh, but yes, we will pick up a uh, Inconsequentia, the goddess of side quests. Yes, we will pray to her. Uh, we must use the item Pillum, the corpulent greed on the Mellow Shrine. There it is. Only then can Lord Dreadmore's servant Poraharu, the prisoner of mouths, be summoned and defeated. And just like uh, any old Mad Libs or anything like that, the all of these, you know, basically have the same the same layout, and then it just it throws some random and some made up words uh, to populate it. Pretty fun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I didn't even try to pick up the shields. Leave me alone. Um, a propaganda poster. When you walk with Dreadmore, you walk with victory. May his black geometry guide us. This message approved by Lord Dreadmore. Urgh. Bad Dreadmore. Um, man, I... Your inventory is full. Um... Now, here's a here's a question. Can I like if I do this and then do this cuz obviously more valuable no matter what, but can I use a pull arm in a one hand weapon slot cuz that had a lot of cool stuff on it, right? Oh, I can. Uh so again, not our primary, it's going to have some negatives there, but we get uh we get some toxic damage, we get piercing, and we boost up our slashing as well. Um, so as far as a, a secondary offhand, um, far better, right? And we'll leave our, abandon our, whatever it was, booze. Uh, we might, if we end up back down here, we can pick some of this stuff up. Uh, but we need to either find the shop or uh, the keys. And for folks who watched yesterday, you already know what both of those are. Uh, here is a anvil. And I think we will... Uh, without further ado, just go ahead. The poncho the poncho's pretty decent. I'll keep that. Uh, you know, Obviously, if we enchant this, then we'll probably get offered up some really good something. Um, uh, but this can be good if Krong is pleased. Uh, we'll get a boost. If he's displeased, we'll get, uh, this will get worse. He's pleased, and we get, uh, minimal one extra, is that the dodge or the enemy dodge reduction, I think, right? Yeah, so look at that. Uh, up to 17 now. Pretty darn good. But why? How did I get an easy target curse? Yikes, that's why I'm at zero at the moment, but uh, that'll get better. I don't know why it became an easy target. Hmm. Oh, maybe that was the chest of evil. I didn't even notice that. Uh, but we'll take the take the deal. How long does that last? What? Okay. Uh, hopefully that goes away. Usually they have a countdown, like a timer. Uh, all right, this may be another deal. Uh, so that is a uh, mace weapon. Not real good. Um, and I sure, I sure don't want to take on uh, the monster room until after this curse goes away, whenever it does. Uh, so we'll just keep keep clearing traps here. So this this one will be more of those diggle guys, right? Um, I'm still full. Ooh. And if they don't get a chance to swing, I guess that's one way to deal with it. 
<laughs> Two. Oh, there I was an easy target. Twice. Uh, but they're they're not hitting too bad. And as uh, is often the case, early early levels. Ooh, uh, smithing again. So probably we can't do that. But emerald amulet. That sounds nice. Give me a store, dang it! Oops. Die, potato. Come on in. Boom. All right, can't pick up any of this stuff. And if I cared, I you know, I could check to see if any of these um I benefit. Now, I don't I don't think there's anything else I'm yet ready to uh enchant. I don't think there's anything else that's good enough. Oh, dang it. Go for the lock picks. Nice little launder and the XP of, of picking up those few traps I didn't step on. Uh, Ludifisk uh, statue. Uh, we don't have a Ludifisk uh, cube thing, whatever it is yet, so not much to do there. I think I've revealed all of that. All right. Oh, where'd you come from, dude? All right, well, he's not aggressive yet. So let's get him now. Oh, mini strategy there. Uh, just pick the order outside the guys that can actually hit you. Uh, Diggle eggs, fantastic. We want stacks and stacks of those. Uh, here's our sneakiness coming in. Boom. Uh... Uh, probably not the best. Oh, probably not the best helmet, but it is a helmet. Uh, a rough iron Yalmar. Uh, that's how I'm saying that. Um, so again, it kind of takes down our nimble, which we really like to have a lot of. Uh, but it does give us does give us some pretty good uh, absorption and uh, block. I think is the the diagonally one. There, block. Yeah. So. Eh, it's better than nothing. Uh, we do have some of those. We might have... Hey, we do have brass. A ruby. I want a ruby. Seems valuable. More valuable than a potato. I think we have one of those. Oh, Man, I need, probably just need to come back here is what really needs to happen. Ooh, there we go. The magna magnetronic plate armor. Uh, that is Tinkerer's part, so that one we might actually be able to make at some point. That would be nice. Uh, late game, I'm guessing. Looks pretty burly. Trap. Come on. Uh, so there's no no expansion of inventory of any kind here. Uh, like we can't uh, can't get more spaces or anything. Uh, but the game handles that very well uh, when when we can get to it. The problem is um, we can't control our ability to get to it. Uh, it's very much luck based. That was nice though. Those were the same as others I have. Another. Uh, Another side quest, Prince. I, th I think that's a valuable mushroom. Uh, so another one, Monster Dragfell, the prison poisoner prisoner of Sinish Doshes, must be defeated, and the artifact Togro, the Queen of Owls, must be used on the Mellow Shrine. So a couple, uh, one kill the monster, take the artifact to the shrine. The other, take the artifact or whatever to the shrine and then kill the monster it summons. Um, so it gives you a little bit of variety. Kind of nice. 
But man, oh man, do we need a shop. Uh, this is a better ring. Um, I'm running out of trash. That. That. All right, we saw this in the last one. A little puzzle. Um, you arrange the three tiles in a certain order to get a certain uh, type of vending machine. And that order, left to right, gives you food. Ooh, nice food. Uh, this is a 29 health dire sandwich. Uh, eventually, we'll switch that out. Um, oh, that, was, that was pretty good. All right, get me out of there. Out of there. Might have some more traps in this room. Snatch up for XP, but no. Ooh, there's a potato. Come here, dude. Oh, give me the gold. Not doing this for free. Uh, stream myself. Doing another playthrough of Tormented Souls for Halloween. Enjoy your stream, and I'll catch up with the VOD. Hey, thanks so much, man. Have a wonderful Halloween. If I don't catch you uh, catch you in yours or uh, see back here or whatever, um, have an awesome one. I uh, don't know. I, I would, if I'm back in time, may drop in uh, if you're doing a late night Halloween tonight. Uh, that would be really fun, too, I think. Ooh. Okay. Uh, strategic retreat. There we go. Just want to make sure they can only hit me one at a time. Uh, not that they're too terrifying yet, but now they're not gonna not gonna let me. Dwarves are. He's he's fleeing straight up. Um, I was looking to see, I, I don't know if any of these are, Mo uh, quest monsters, right? Because we had to get that item from one of them. Could be what's going on here. Take the trap, take the lock picks. Uh, I don't know. Okay, full. Thought maybe we had one of those. Still really need a shop or really need an inventory boost um, or an inventory space. All right, come on. But we'll, we'll take being alive over, uh, over inventory. All right. Uh, shoes. Do we have any kind of shoes yet? No. So flippy floppies fit the bill. Um, think this is worth next to nothing. And you know, I may, let's first switch this, uh, wearing the pan on the head. Eh, you know, but, uh, it gives us a resistance. It still gives us the absorption, but without all the negatives. And I like my extra nimbleness that that was taken away. So, we go. Now, um, I, look at that. I could have just been doing that the whole time. Very nice. All right, so we got some shoes. They're only flip-flops, uh, appropriate for wearing to the beach. or what? Perfect for the beach or pool. And uh, the thief wood, of the sort used by the mighty pirate himself, a master of improvisation. All right, because he's wearing a pan on his head. Makes sense to me. Um... We are up at the top of the map. Glad I didn't step on that. 6 XP. Should be uh, some increasingly difficult traps here at 40%. I will leave it marked so that we can uh, not avoid stepping on it if we find ourselves back up there. Um, man, I, I don't see a lever. I don't know... Uh, where we got to get to to unleash all that. Oh, well. Oh, here's our uh, our quest monster, though. Mm. 
Ooh, look at him. Uh, 41. He is a... He uh, came from Krabby Shores to seek adventure. This monster is trying to kill us. That's not cool. It looks like he has some armor and he is a crab, kind of pinky purpley. Uh, let's go ahead and use our good poison boat. Uh, that didn't do, <laughs> didn't do too much. Um, and now we need to pick this up because this is uh, the thingy mabobber that we need to take to the shrine. So, what do we want to jettison? Uh, I think a nightcap. Alright, there we go. Torgo, the Queen of Owls. Uh, so, we'll take that to the shrine and then uh, summon. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe this one is just to get the reward then. Uh, really, really could use a shop or some keys. Softballs. Always good there. Take the trap. Uh, would much like to take the stake, but can't yet, so I'll have to... Oh! Oh, look at this. Uh, gloves. Again, we don't have to go into the inventory for that. These are thick leather work gloves. Uh, three block chance, I think that is. And uh, minus two to the uh, enemy dodge reduction, but good armor. And three, three armor out of that. So very nice. Uh, shields. Zinc. Do I have zinc yet? I do have some zinc. All right. Come on. We're up in remote corners. At some point, some one of these has to be um, has to be a shop, I would think. Uh, we're checking all the chests, even if I can't pick stuff up. Uh, because if there's like an axe... Uh, that would be pretty, pretty swell. But just like in our, our first play, you know, level one, <laughs> there's not long that we're super vulnerable. We showed, we showed being vulnerable earlier, if you missed it. Uh, well, there will be a VOD up. Come on. Hey, another level. Your princess is in another castle. Uh, Zelda. Oh, awesome. All right. Um, axe training. Vigorous training with your axe allows you to chop and cleave more fiercely and accurately. Saplings tremble. You occasionally deal a crippling wound. Ooh. Uh, that sounds good. And as I am primary weaponing, let's, uh, let's do it. And you can see some of these, uh, shorter... Um, but may have more powerful things. Others longer um, that you just just need to build out. And um, there you go. All right, so our, our axing should be getting even better, right? We've now got uh, two more um, critical chances, which is good for our roguishness. Uh, we did pull one more back of this dodge reduction. And also get a flat up uh, slashing damage boost. So, pretty good stuff there. And we get extra health, right? We're up to 39 now. That's handy. Bat. Uh, again, I can't. Can't do much here. A sword. <laughs> I was like, a sword? Nice! That's a really good sword, actually. Uh, well, pretty good sword. It's glass. Probably not real good, but glass is sharp, right? Cuts. Um, so I think at a very minimum, let's put... Switch out the, the horrible iron mace, right? That was just a, a starter mace uh, for this glass sword. And um, 
should give us more money when and if we ever find a shop. And because the king has quested us to do us, we're just going to keep taking the XP for killing uh, monsters that do show up. I think we still have Prince Mushrooms. Um, as far as I know, there is no despawn whatsoever. I think we just, uh, just had a trap in the area kill a monster. That wasn't us. Oh, finally, Brax, my homie. How you doing, dude? Uh, good to see you. Oh. <laughs> 139,000 Zork mids for the Time Lord scarf. How awesome is that? Keeps your neck warm through time and space. It is studded with old nickel and decorated with beautiful bones of undead elk. Ooh. Uh, that, look at how amazing that is. Um, so squares are damage types. So up at the top, uh, two, two of whatever the, uh, the big yellow star damage type is. Then 14 different, uh, increments of resistance. Then we have two primary stats, the stubbornness and savvy. And then... Uh, one extra mana, four, uh, four might, one block, I think that is, uh, three, is that crit? What is this one? Counter. Three counter and, uh, one sneaky. That's awesome. Uh, why it's so expensive. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that item offered or dropped or anything else. It's just been out there. First things first, though, we have a lot of stuff to sell. Um, so as I did last time, I'm going to try to hang on to stuff that I want. Look at that. 645 Zork mids for the wand. Wands are always good. Uh, 236, 236. Uh, we can't sell that. I don't think we do want to keep the food. We want to keep the, uh, uh, copper wire there, but we don't need fungus. Uh, we don't need a robe glass sword 27. Got to be better than that. Uh, that trash mace, right? Uh, 301 for seven of those traps. Uh, 150 for the helm. We got the, the pan on our head now. Uh, grog, not too much. Uh, the coat of denim. Uh, the, well, we already enchanted this and he was pleased, right? We got, uh, got something else on the poncho, right? Right? Why did it not? Oh, because it, maybe because it has no name. Oh, that's weird. Usually it, it rebrands uh, whatever you have there. Uh, but we could keep this as an alternate, uh, kind of a backup. Uh, Prince Mushrooms, there you go. Uh, almost 100 a pop. And we don't need orbs. Uh, 50, only 54 for that. That's too bad. Uh, could have been more. And this crude knife, 36. All right, so the rest of this stuff, uh, this... Is just a backup, right? If eh, I don't think we're gonna put that uh, back on, uh, like we might do the leather work gloves instead. So uh, let's take the cash. Uh, we now got thirty four hundred, and with that thirty four hundred, we can look at some of these other items. Later, hosen, uh, they're pants. <laughs> The, the Germans are strange people. <laughs> I know some wonderful Germans. Uh, no. uh, and a ring of ash for a thousand, uh, two fire resistance. Again, we've got just a trash ring. Uh, may not be the best use of our money. We don't need swords. We don't need clubs. Um, but we'll we'll go ahead and click on these. And again, we talked about Brax. Uh, Ali will mouse over his description so you guys who haven't seen it can. He's a demon shopkeeper. Uh, he's generally very chill. Uh, gives us a lot of cash for all our goods. And um, uh, will let us buy his stock when it's there. Um, you can also pick up and try to steal out of his shop. He will wreck you. Uh, and I don't know what the limits are for sneakiness or whatever. Uh, burglary to uh, avoid detection or have a good chance. Um, I don't recommend it. 
Um, but what I do recommend is wearing pants. If you have no pants, especially if you're in a dangerous environment, uh, you don't want to have an incident. And uh, we will take this uh, just because the plastic ring is garbage. So here we go. Uh, ring of ash and put on pants. Later, Hosen. And now we can uh, now we can dance around like we're at Oktoberfest. So I will just go ahead and sell this. 86 um, gets us back a little bit. We're still at 1600 in cash. And now... Uh, now we will begin ferrying a little bit here um, as we attempt to recapture stuff. And unfortunately, uh, some of this stuff we're going to want to keep, so it will fill us up a little bit. Let's um, do a little bit of a shuffle. The Diggle eggs we really don't want to accidentally sell. Don't. Uh, the gems and stuff? Yeah, maybe. We're certainly not going to get to 139,000 uh, Zorkmids here in level 1, so it doesn't matter how many rubies we sell, so we'll hang on to it for now. Uh, we got Pyrite and uh, uh, Ruby. Uh, but we'll hang on to those for, for tinkering if it comes up. But man, that Time Lord scarf, that is cool. Because the, the little next spot, uh, not overly used. So we'll keep an eye on that, but who knows what else we may find along the way. All right, now we got to work our way all the way back around. Unfortunately, that shop is massively inconvenient in its, uh, its locale. Uh, but we can pick up these steaks now and cook them. Uh, there's a shield. Let's just go clear this room. All this stuff while we're here. Take it all back. Did we already move that lever? All right. Uh... Good, and uh, then reagents and food. Uh, so this is a grilled steak. That's what we want to get to, 10 hearts. Uh, these guys are 7. If we can get back to one of those barbecue grills, we can cook those, get them up to 10 hearts as well, and just have a single stack of good 10-heart food, uh, which even when we get later on, it's nice to have 10s. Um, Uh, just top off health. Softballs, lockpicks, all very good stuff. Random lever. Pull it. Uh, a spear. All right. Somebody hit a trap. Sorry about that, fellas. Oh, you got sneaky there. Let's see ya. All right, Uber Chest. We pulled some levers. Ooh, it's a tome. Dang it. Uh, that is magey stuff. Uh, but hopefully worth a lot. Bombs. Throwing weapons. <laughs> uh, man, you're just hitting all the traps for me there, aren't you, pal? Hey, bat. Uh, diamond, nice. Girl's best friend. More lock picks, and about at this point is when you're like, eh, was a burglary thing really worth it? Uh, I do, do think so, because we get some really good early stuff out of those chests, and. Um, kicking doors and, and chests is no way to live. Uh, plus, we will want the other burglary traits uh, shortly. Okay. Um, another. Hi, I missed you. Sorry, buddy. Emerald. Uh, throne weaponry. Softballs. And here we go. We got 2,600, just like last time. I am 
uh, going to uh, get as close to going broke as I can uh, because these are the cheapest, uh, most plentiful uh, handheld weapons. And now we're up to 112. Um, they'll become less common as we go later, and, and the replacements are more expensive. But for just having a ranged something to hit something with... Um, the hand oh, a whooshier. That's right, my friends. Every good game has whooshing. Uh, it's a gem, not a trap. Trap? Well, <laughs> had to be one, right? All right, we got some uh, some recipes here. A thermite lance, grog. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you could make... I mean, I guess I... I uh, some kind of potion. I missed it. Hey, fresh steak. Awesome. XP is creeping along. We will have to get back over to the Mellow Shrine to uh, drop off our item and summon the other beastie. Uh, but I don't think we have the item yet, right? That was when we had to find the item, pick it up, take it back. Uh, let's try it. Oh, got a hit, but eh, well, whatever. Uh, I'm already back to just picking up stuff all the time. Uh, a little table. Uh, we got fish that uh, don't have any description. A lot of that stuff you can mouse over and get the get the little jokes or references. Uh, but not so with a fish, it would seem. All right. Uh, a lot of times, uh, a lucky formerly living adventurer, sad sight suggested perhaps of your own mortality. Quick grab the loot. A lot of times there will be a pile of stuff right in front of them, uh, from trash to pretty good. That's how games work, right? All right, so on around our little, uh, our little boosty. Uh, got a chest with nothing in it. Got a bat. He will come off the water. Uh, another Ludafisk shrine. Uh, but again, we don't have the cube even to begin, and that's that's in my mind kind of later game stuff anyway. Uh, we can teleport along and finish the whooshing circle, but before we do, one more room here with another side quest. Yes! Um, let's find the item Bitpo. Proud will, but be warned, it is guarded by Lord Dreadmore's 58th Regiment Word of Pruning. Alright, well, we will uh, we'll watch out for them. And on the map, I don't see them yet, so they must be somewhere in the middle. Here, again, is our... Uh, here's the Mellow Shrine. This might be the item uh, that we need to go pick up. And... Fish are the Ludafisk dude, the Ludafisk god, and this is the unused uh, Krong altar thing. Uh, when we do use them, they get burned up and they show up darker. Maybe there? Uh, not seeing it. Here. Here, right? This one's kind of blacked out. Uh, so once we use them, then they go, and that was what we used on the, the poncho. So if I double dip the poncho, and maybe the whole with the no name is why that doesn't get a special name. Uh, that would hurt it. Like I said, at the moment, uh, I think leather work gloves are going to be the best best item we have if we finish out the level uh, as we are currently doing and don't have like a better axe weapon or something to throw. Alright, here. Uh, might trigger monster response. Might do nothing. Uh... The rhomboid corner. And some of these may ha may have things to do with other classes. A lot of times you walk in that box and uh, monsters show up, but not this time. Oh, there we go. Ooh, hey, look at this. Traps. And, 
heard some rumbling there. That may open up secret uh, secret passages, doors. Who knows? Uh, we'll just have to keep keep wandering and looking. Oh, there's a trap. That more XP. Free XP. Uh, I guess we just, Oh, look at all this meat. Cheeses. Oh, there. That's another quest item. So that's one of the things to use on the shrine. Trap. Cheese. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Perfect. The Lost Wizard's Keys is what I've been talking about, guys. Uh, this dimensional key bears mysterious legend. Property of Pendor the Astrologer. Handy with a wand. Price is so low they're crazy. Click the dimensional key widget on your pocket bar to visit your personal pocket dimension. Let's do it. Uh, here it is. Just popped up. Pocket dimension. Whoosh. And uh, we just redecorated yesterday to set this up. Same, uh, same layout as I described before. This is going to be our extra bolts. And I do just want to take a look here. Uh, we have six and seven of these. Uh, we do have a couple stacks of more bolts. Um, I think we will uh, put in these coppers for now. Uh, if I can keep these to double digits, but the fire bolts are pretty darn good and uh, for being a one-star bolt, so eventually we wouldn't have as much use. The rest of these... Uh, we're just going to pile up here, and as we get more, we can come back and see what we've got the most of, what we've got the least of, all that good stuff, right? Right. Here, handheld weapons. So these would be the non-softballs, uh, like these little bombs, right? Down here, we will set up the food stuff again. So we've got Diggle Eggs, and we'll put our uh, grated cheese here. Uh, we have a cheese, right? Last time we had all the bread. Uh, this time no bread, but we have a cheese. Uh, those are the components of grilled cheese sandwiches, which are great food. And then now that we're here, um, we can kind of back our way out of the, the cheeses. So 16, um, 15, uh, 11 at a Havarti, um, there are 14 and 13 as well, but I don't think I have them yet. And 13, uh, and then we get into our 11, 10, uh, which we'll probably want. Tofu, not a cheese, but I guess it fits into that, uh, that rundown. Oh, I do have a 14. Um, just don't... Don't get confused <laughs> that, uh, that that's not a cheese. Uh, so then 11s, and we got a couple of those. Um, I do want to have my dire sandwich. I want to move these up and put my grilled steaks here. I'm going to carry these until I can hopefully grill them. And that's where we can recover our aged steak. It's only three right now, but if we throw it on the grill, uh, it'll turn into grilled steak, and it'll be worth ten. So um, buy those if you find them. They're really cheap. All right, let's go unload over here our crafty stuff. So ingots. And then here's where I put the... Uh, the metally stuff. Uh, these are reagents too. There's a couple different types. I, I split them out a little bit. Uh, let's go here with like the ore looking ones. And then we have these packet, papery packet powder kind of things. Um, and then we have gems. Uh, gem, 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 and gem. All right, the rest... Oh, uh, here's a chevre cheese log. Uh, 16, 15, white. 14. I don't know why I thought 12 was 13, 12. Uh, we'll put it there just in case we need it. 
and here's extra 11s um, and 10 is the lowest level of cheese um, except for cheese cheese but uh, we'll need cheese cheese all right I missed this ingot all right now that everything is set up it, it should be quicker to dump stuff in between runs uh, the rest of this we can all just sell except for our um, our quest item and we're gonna pick up that cat one too right uh, so maybe we'll put this down here all right then uh, we can get out of here uh, when we leave the dimension uh, we have a 30 cooldown before we can go back so uh, bear that in mind oh and that summoned the monster uh, we have defeated Commander Lord Dremel's 50th Regiment. The remaining members are going to flee and look at them all. They are going to scatter like the wind. Um, but we got to track them down and kill them to complete the quest. Uh, I believe these are the gnomes. You can see they are uh, actively fleeing. Whoosh. Man, that didn't... Dude, chill. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess we can pick up some of this stuff as we go. Chase this guy down. Oh, wow, that guy got so, uh, so injured. That's not part of it. Uh, did we... One member of the deal... I think he went down through this way. Uh, did I test this fountain? <laughs> I think I did. I think I just got sick again. Oh, no, now it's empty, so that was a new one. Uh, here's the potato we dropped. Ooh, ooh, look at this guy. What are you? Toady vegetable? Friend? Alright, come on up. I don't want to waste, don't want to waste the ammo. And predictably, the toady mushroom drops a mushroom. Uh, a little baddie again. Uh, look at our XP. We're rocking it. I think, well, I don't know. I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised the monsters could get away. Uh, Ludifisks. More to be, more to be said about those in a bit. But that, those do correspond to the uh, Ludifisk Shrine God. All right, here we go. Another uh, another combo of monsters or items. Uh, that was not one of the the guys. All right, so this one has the monsters over here. Uh, we can peek there. Didn't see anything because they're not here. So then item. Would be there. It's a shield. Uh, setting of poisons. And uh, I don't know. Doesn't look that good. We want the XP. Alright. We'll uh, maybe get a level out of this. And now we, we should be quite adept at handling these guys. Come on now. One at a time. No, no rushing. Oh. Space skips your turn. <laughs> I extra spaced there. Gave him an extra chance, I guess. Uh, I was feeling generous. All right. Oh, there we go. Didn't quite get our our level. Uh, Gaga's glaze, the meat suit. Remember? Uh, 
Coats your armor with delicious meat, preventing the nasty monsters from biting down into the more important meats. Recognizing, of course, that uh, Sturback did it first. <laughs> okay. Um, there we go. Bumblebee person. More lockpicks. Oh, man, what? I did get one of the traps. Conan the Librarian. There you go. I think this is as far as we got last time. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep crushing the... Uh, crushing the axes first. The Norwegian Axe NATO. Uh, 13... So this is a special effect, right? That top, that top little 13 icon there. That is... Um, the cooldown for using a special attack. Destroy your foes with this axe with at the axe wielding powers described in the ancient sagas. With this skill, you can hit all of the enemies in an area around you. Nice. And again, has a cooldown. But if you get surrounded, uh, multiple enemy attack. All right. And we also get uh, an extra crushing. I think is the fist. No. Yeah. Maybe. Um, two. Uh, little dudes in a circle, which is already at 17. That might be crit chance. And uh, one dodge reduction, which we like. Uh, crit chance and melee power. So, yes, let's learn the Norwegian Axe NATO. All right, so down below here, before we get to anything else, I guess we'll... So this, again, tells us the Norwegian Axe NATO. Uh, when we hit it, it will then cool down for 13 turns before we can use it again. Uh, more cash... Yay. Critical hits. Um, of course, we're, we're still lacking in axes, uh, despite being an axe wielder. Uh, but that's kind of kind of the way it can roll, right? Um, let's see. All right. So if I select it, then it will go into the deal. And if I right click, oh. Oh, well, I don't like that. Uh, escape. No! Oh, I, once you do it, I guess you're done. Um, well, fortunately, they were really weak enemies. And uh, up here, a disposable ingot press. An anti-magic field spewer. Uh, which, I guess, if you were magey, could be pretty devastating. I'm just looking at the map here. This looks like an enclosed room, so let's uh, see what we got. Oh, it's another Brax. Uh, still no axes, uh, and we're not going to go with the Bronze Greaves as we get the later Hosen. Uh, so we'll roll with those. So not really anything there that we care about. The pants are worse than our uh, later Hosen. And... Uh, these greaves have some advantages, but they take away our nimbleness, and we're almost up to 20 there. So we're going to keep that, but uh, sell, 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 not sell, not sell, 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 sell. I don't have to call that all out for you guys. Uh, cheese, good cheese too. Uh, the Ludifisks, <laughs> hey, I'm going get 38 out of them. Um, that's a reagent. Uh, we don't need a stick. Uh, we don't need a pair or a potion of healing. You would, uh, you'd think that would be good. I don't know how much that, uh, that does for us. Uh, we don't need the mushroom. Maybe we'll hang on to that. It's, it says it's healing. That, if we can't trust the bottle label, what can we trust, right? All right, well, that clears us, uh, clears us back up quite a bit. Nice to have another one of those a little more central. Unfortunately, none of them are near portals at all. That is painful. All right, no other traps there. Ooh, but another another little uh, secret. Oh, and I forgot to I forgot to do the secret. All right, well here we go. So same as last time, pen and paper here. Uh, we got to. Uh, Jot down the arcane address. We'll collect bar bag orcha. Right? We'll collect. 
We need uh, Welsh Jenny in here. <laughs> These all look... Uh, there's far too many vowels, but... Uh, these always uh, have a little bit of a feel to uh, the Welsh words. All right, let me just... You got to kind of look because... It is, since they're not words, it's really easy to overlook letters or whatever. All right. Uh, and we do have a down. Is that our? No, we've, we've had a couple downs. All right. Maybe this will link us back up. Something we've already passed through. Ooh, look at these traps. XP, XP. We like XP. Lever. Okay, so a lever did something somewhere. Um, that did not connect us. Um, I really don't have that much to sell, do I? All right, let's save it. We'll we'll not save. <laughs> Say save. Uh, there's not much. Well, there is a point in saving to the point that. Uh, you know, if you go do a deep run, you can save between uh, between plays, right? Uh, but yeah, for for level one at this point, we are we are pretty much cruising now. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Hey, look, I left this grog up here. Uh, now where are we? Actually, that wasn't too bad because that gets us uh, down to this doorway. Hey, potato dude. Come here. Uh, also, I was checking. Um, so we still haven't found the remaining uh, guard of that dude. I wonder if she should just go wander here for a second. See if we can finish out that quest. Are you guys questy friends? Uh, I don't think we've done anything to improve our trap affinity, and these these gates are still all down, uh, even though we pulled more levers. We'll cash there. Uh, this seems like it's going to be a secret room of some kind, but again, more levers needed. Uh, but I want, I want to finish that. I don't want to leave a quest. Uh, but I don't see the monster. I don't know if it could, if it was a type that could just shoot through a door or something. I guess we're here, right? Not much, uh, but make use of it while we can, right? All right. Uh, back over. We we will come down. Well, I guess we just did go all that way down that way. Come on. Cash. Oh, I didn't get that. Looking for a random monster that will be part of that. Maybe this is him? I don't even remember what kind of monsters they were. Critical hits. Oh, is that a trap? Critical hits. It's not still there anymore. That's too bad. Oh, are you it? Dude! Oh, uh, this is... <laughs> I don't like... I don't like trying to track down single stupid monster. Uh, that's for sure. Monster? Oh. I need to hit that. 
Uh, we went back in this little hallway, right? Are you the monster? Yeah, I have no idea how we're supposed to get that cleared. Oh, are you it? Please be it. It's <sighs> awful. I don't know. There's a bat over there. All right. Well, let's uh, let's keep exploring. Ghosts. Do whatever you can to get up on them. Uh, they're really vulnerable to direct content. Yeah, why not take another quest? Because we haven't finished any of the ones. Um, oh, there's a mushroom there. I was like, why is that sparkling? Are you the quest monster? You do have an egg. Oh, an amulet. Nice. What is this amulet all about? Uh, one extra heart and two absorptions. Yes, please. Uh, since we have nothing, uh, that's good. Gets us up to 44. And uh, three armor absorptions, which I have had a great need for. But like I said, amulets are hard to come by uh, for that little slot. Something crafty. Yoink. Uh, I could buy the Ludifus Cube, I guess. It's zero. Why not? Um, so, Ludifus Cube. Uh, sits in the inventory. You right-click it. You get a box. Um, and now that we have the wizard keys and everything, it's not too important to me. Uh, but you dump, like, super low-value stuff in here. It gets turned into Ludifus. If you have like a hundred plus, a couple hundred pieces of something in there, then you can go to these uh, these Ludifish shrines up on the map, the fish, and uh, uh, make a donation, and you'll sometimes get items back in advance. So it's kind of uh, like Krong, but different. Uh, instead of enchanting stuff you already have, you're just looking to flat out get an item. Man, oh man, that quest is going to drive me back bonkers that we haven't finished it. And that's a problem with fleeing. Oh, was, were they gnomes? Come on, be it. Uh, you just don't know what, if they're running away, who knows how far they're running away. Uh, oh, now, somebody's back up there. Are they just clowning me? That is a leather cap. Not as good as what we got. But, alright, I will go all the way back up here, and hopefully this will finish out that quest. I don't know if it, if it just got lost track of. There we go. There we go. Poomfu, the bloody cave, is our reward uh, for the quests. Um, okay, well, I guess I just put it in my bag. I was trying to see if I could read more. Uh, Poonfu, the Bloody Cave, these are regular gloves, but we've got three little things on there. One of which is a trap affinity. That's this guy. Very nice. Um, that top one is damage of some kind, and we also get a block chance, right? So I will actually take those over the, uh, over the leather work gloves because trap affinity is awesome. Um... Yeah, very cool. All right, so now if we go back to the quest, I still didn't get uh, the last of the 58th Regiment. That was who I thought I was fighting there. Uh, so that must have been my newest quest. All right, well, let's 
having not seen him yet, let's uh, let's work our way on down. We got whatever this thing is, and the mellow shrine to get to, and these doors eventually to do more. The last exploring here, level one. We all the way back down. This is where I tend to get in monster trouble because I'm like, eh, just cruise the map, right? Uh, we don't need that shield particularly. This is the one we already did. Ah, uh, there's a dude. Oh, dang it. Are you the guy? Be the guy. Be the guy. Ever? Uh, this is a good time. Uh, we got at least two in range, so boom! You dodged it. Sneaky little diggle. All right, we got a crafty thing up here. Stole a reagent, and we already got one of these. Uh, we already have those, so nothing there, but this is where I'm looking for the cheese grater, right? Um, ooh. Hey, cheese grater! Yeah! Awesome. All right, we have, we have all the things we could hope for. Uh, in level one. Hi, Blobby. Bye, Blobby. Uh, later on, you don't really notice the effect too much, but uh, these do light up and show you monsters and stuff uh, along this hallway. Uh, our perception is kind of coming along. Hey, another Brax. And now that we're finding them, we're finding all of them. Tell me this is an axe. Uh, it's a mace. Mace. Look at that thing. The Imperial Boilerplate Helm. Uh, not going to be very good for our roguishness, right? It's negative mo uh, perception and manas uh, and crit or counter or whatever. The enemy dodge. So not very good there. Uh, copper Ring, Meiji. Junk Crossbow. A Shield. Uh, bandit Mail. In Interesting. It still takes our nimbleness. It gives us... Uh, that's absorption. I was thinking like perception. It gives us uh, resistance to piercing. Um, boosts are crushing. And our counter. Or a block in our counter, right? That's block. Lots of block, lots of counter, lots of absorption. And one resistance to piercing. Um, it kind of bugs me, though. Like, it's bandit mail. But it debuffs the one stat that uh, that is very roguey, right? Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess we could buy it. Uh, anybody lurking in chat, if you're hanging out, uh, let me know if you think I should buy that. I was really hoping for an axe of any kind, even if it was just a trash axe. Um, getting a couple of them would be nice. Although, honestly, with the, all the stats on that, uh, pole arm that we have. Pole axe. It, uh, too much more for us to do. All right, we got one, we are getting closer to the Mellow Shrine here. Oh, we do have a doorway here. And then the one back by where we started. Oh, here we go. Propaganda poster. Fear the large eyebrowed one. It brings strange diseases. Fight to the last. Uh, Dreadmore is already getting out the word. Uh, we got a bounty on our head. All right. Uh, Melishon right ahead. Hi. Hi. 
Okay, we have to just use the stuff on it. So we have... Oh, I guess we just have the one. We have this guy. Uh, the cat thing we... Oh, dude. Togtwi the Unsettling Sock. Uh, more pool arm. <laughs> I don't think this is a better pool arm than the one we had. Um, because I really like this uh, toxic damage. I think that's been helping us a ton. Uh, so we'll, we'll hopefully sell that and uh, get a few hundred or something out of it. Um, Pillum, the corpulent greed on the mellow shrine and defeat it. Uh, I don't think I have other items, do I? Usually, like, that cat statue, but as soon as we picked that up, we summoned the monster and then had the fight, and that was the one where the dude uh, ran away, right? Um, so, yeah, I, I'm still looking for an item to pick up. All right, red red box. That's got to be... Oh, is not a thing. Monsters. Why are... I need more monsters. All right, grill... And here you can see our count of grilled steaks is going up. And it's very nice. It does the whole stacks. So you can put three, and now we've got eight, eight ten heart steaks all in our thing. That certainly helps for early, early food. And we do have a few more diggle eggs here uh, to sit on. Are you the monster to finish out that quest? This is where we started from, so we got to keep going this way. Oh, and this is where the eel was. That's right. We ran in fear. And there's another Ludifus cube. So I think I want to try to withdraw a bit. These guys really stink. Okay, we got one. Uh, and he heard us a little bit, but not too badly. Um... I'm just going to try to... <laughs> Take him down with softballs. Because we can. Alright, so we already got one of those out of vending machine. I don't need more. Uh, dude, I, so I guess that's it. I think this might be our quest item. Uh, to do that one other quest, and I don't know what to do about that remaining monster that seems to have uh, disappeared. <sighs> Just don't know. Oh, be the guy. <laughs> Let's say that every time I kill a monster, I hope one of them... Whoa! Mummy. Mummy's uh mommy's a little dangerous. Grog, this is where we first uh first ran out of inventory space. Uh, shield and Pillum, the corporate greed, and now we need to take that back and use it on the Melotron and then kill uh kill whatever this last monster is. And then I don't know, we'll see. Uh, see if we can summon the the remaining monster. Back across. Alright, let's fight. Where'd it go? This thing.
And there's the monster. But that was handy. Took down 10. <laughs> took down uh, a little more. <laughs> the crit, crit didn't do a whole lot more. It took that one extra point for having critted. Uh, and then we had a miss. A shield. Bitbell, the mockery of hawks. All right, well, uh, we'll take it. And we got 120 XP, and we get a couple of our firebolts back. Um... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see anything that I'm missing in terms of... Oh, there's something... Wait, this was... Uh... I think this was one of those choosy things, so we wouldn't see the end of that map uh, or that little hallway. Yeah, I think we're done with the map. Uh, so we're going to quickly do a bit of portaling around and... Oh, shoot. Will you be my last quest, buddy? Do some selling here. Ah, sell, sell, sell. Uh, these might be worth hanging on to. 567, not bad there. Um, 225, traps, that, any drinks, mushrooms, fruit. Uh, we'll keep the bolts, and we'll keep that health potion. All right. Um, let's before we before we say adieu to this first level, let's go do um, <laughs> everybody's favorite. A little bit of inventory dumping, and I don't know why I put that away. Boom! 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 The ore type reagents and a gem and a brass mechanism. All right, then over here uh, we got a Parmesan Arena. And I'm going to put these gloves, and at some point this will be laughable, but we're going to put those down here. We may throw those on one of those altars eventually. And I'm going to leave these corkscrew bolts. In fact, uh, for maybe these barbed bronze or the corkscrews. We got 14 of the corkscrews. Let's take these out, put these uh, in. Uh, just he have higher volume, right? They're, they're a little bit more damaging. They don't have the advantage of that fire, uh, but we got a lot of them, right? Sometimes numbers are important. All right. We have been playing pen and paper secret notepad keys. We've got two of them. And this is the portal dimension. So here's the deal. You have to be uh, perfect. Otherwise, when you start playing with interdimensional stuff, it goes really, really wrong. So engage. Yay. And here you can see. Look at that. Uh, we can whoosh into the portal, and let's hope we did it right. All right, we're in a portal, or in a new dimension. Here we go. It is level zero. This is outside. It is the Bay of Pride. And uh, these are just straight-up little uh, bonusy things. Some are really quick. Some are really long. Um, there's chests uh, where you can get things like stupid mushrooms. <laughs> Or sometimes really good things. And then there's uh, there's randomy stuff. Um, like copper cubes that give us lockpicks. Very nice. Uh, but basically we'll just get some some extra XP. Ooh. Uh, aquarium. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we can't do anything to the aquarium. Some of the stuff is just non-interactable. It's pretty much cosmetic. Um, 
But in these, uh, they will often be leveled um, to you. But they can have they can have some monsters where you, you just gotta uh, try to run for it, and uh, strategy definitely comes in play. Uh, did I get a stack of those? Three of them. Silkovitz, thirty-seven. So at least that's got to be good money, right? Um, oh, and we do have traps under some of these wizardly empties. Careful not to step on one of those. Uh, at rough blade trap. Uh, so our extra trap affinity probably helped us out there a little bit. Boom. Whoa. Wow. I don't know if uh, she got a big old bla uh, block on me or what. I didn't do much there at all. Uh, I think I'm going to want to go back for that room. You, Generally speaking, if we get this far, we're, we've moved on. Yeah, this looks like the end. Uh, so let's... Oh, here. We won't leave you waiting. It's rude to leave a bumblebee person waiting. Uh, we will cruise back across the map. I'm going to sip some coffee while we do to get to this door. One of the advantages of this game, it is very turn-based, so we could be standing right here, know that that uh, monster wants to attack us, and not have to do anything about it until it's over. Uh, wow. Talk about your anti-climax. All right. Uh, like I said, some of them are, are, most of them are not, not big old maps like we would find. Oh, dude, I saw that. Uh, walked right into it anyway. There's another one there, and let's just hide that for a second. All right, um, so here here we go. Oh, and this is going to be a, one of the things. So you usually get one good item per level uh, right at the end, and this is going to be our portal back home. Um, Negzar, the uh, absconded Latinum, is uh, another level one uh, glove, and... Here you can see we uh, we get this putrefying damage. Um, these are these are pretty tough to beat, but look at the heart with the one and the little arrows around the outside of it. That is our health regen bonus. Uh, pretty good. I don't know though. I, what we well I can't because these are named too. I was gonna say maybe we'll throw it on a, a krong and see. Uh, both of these have already been named, though, so I can't do that. Um, yeah, I, I don't think just having the the health regen at this point is the way to go with that trap bonus. Um, we like it. All right, anyway, that was one. We've got one more of these to go, so back over to the console. And this one is Wakletch Bag or yeah. Engage. And here we go, right back again. Get that out of the way. Alright, I don't see anything here. Uh, I get some meat, though. And a wand. Wands are good for the money. They're usually... Oh, dude, what? I didn't even know you guys could shoot. Um, hat rack. A wing back chair and a table. Uh, I don't think I can sit in the chair. Just decorative. But a little hat rack. Flashy light. Ooh, here we go. This is perfect for us. Nato. Uh, Mystic Orb. Even in the Wizard Lands, there's never anything good on TV. You'd think these guys would spring for cable. Uh, I got a dirty couch. Ooh, I like this uh, This one. We got a countertop. Uh, we have a mini fridge. I think this is the first mini fridge. We can raid it. 
Uh, and we find nothing. Well, we tried. Uh, just looking for traps. And then back in here, little kitchenette. A uh, couple cupboards. Uh, or we get some diggle nog. And an aged steak. And uh, nothing on the grill. But we just got this aged steak. And uh, we have this steak. Add those to our stack, right? We are now at 10 grilled steaks. Looking for the traps under the empties. This game does make a lot of fun of the fact that the wizards are basically all just running around hammered because they're drinking all the time to replenish their mana, right? It's pretty funny. I think. Alright. Oh, dude! Yikes! Woo! Uh, good thing we have all that. Let's uh, let's clear up an inventory spot, actually, by eating the Danish. It's the same as the grilled steak. And uh, we'll just walk for a second here while we top off our health. <sighs> uh, so we hit the trap, and it opened up this extra room. Nay! 20% chance. Nay, but at least we can mark them. All right. I don't know. I don't know which of these directions may or may not be any. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, that marks anything. Oh, dude! Let's go car uh, cautiously through these super traps. All right, well, I guess we found... Uh, setting those off uh, clearly would maybe open up more rooms around here, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to die. Um, I don't know that we're going to find anything in there. I think we'll just go. Maybe, you know, maybe if we saw something similar in the future. Oh! I know this, this bit already. Extremely stubborn trap. An uber trap is a stubbornly guarding this specific bit of floor. No amount of tinkering or theory is likely to persuade it to move or deactivate. So it doesn't matter what your level is. Um, if you want to get to this Anvil of Krong, you got to take the, the trap. And uh, especially with our reduced health at the moment, uh, but even in the best of times, uh, that would very likely wreck us. We need hefty armor. And what I don't know is if we'll ever be able to come back here. Like, if I re-enter this, I think it's done once it's done. All right, perfect time for an Axe Nato. And boom. A little bit more cash. I get a other dimension chest here with more mushrooms. It's kind of rotten luck. Lobbies. Oh, what? Come here, dude. Hold still. I'm only here a second. Axe NATO. Oh, and uh, a rough iron mace. Again, not our weapon class.
Uh, so always, always something named at the end. And there we go. Uh, another, another little adventure. This would have been great uh, on a late level when we had good, good armor and uh, maybe some blast resistance, fire resistance. We got the little bit of fire resistance, but uh, we don't have much health to play with. And frankly, I don't have anything that's that awesome uh, to enchant um, that I can even roll and uh, make it worth the risk. So let's uh, let's just call it good. Head on back. And now uh, we did pick up a few little odds and ends that I think we want want to hang on to. The port is still again not. Not something we're going to be doing a lot with. Here, crafting. Uh, port of Steel, alchemy stuff, obviously. Um, and a lot of these things uh, have one, two, three, four of uh, alchemist, right? But there are some things like Digglenog uh, that we could craft if we wanted to. So it's at least handy to have the thing. Uh, here, you take a grog. I guess this is not, that's a nog, not a grog. Uh, but pants and grog. Uh, could make pirate training breaches, uh, which are certainly better than, than what you might be starting off with. So any of these zeros, um, it's why it's worth it to hang on to um, hang on to one of the various items. And I still don't remember how to split stacks. Maybe we take a break. I guess I have my phone here. Um, uh... I don't, I don't know if there's anything out here. Dungeons of Dreadmore Split Stack. Somebody else will search for it. Alt-click on the items you want to split. Awesome. So now we know. So, for instance, here, Alt-click, boom, uh, now I can sell extras of those if we go to a Brax, right? And I'm just looking here. Um, I guess we did want to uh, hang on to these for now. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think everything else we're selling, right? So let's go go back out of our... Uh, hang on. We got the cheese press, right? So, oh, and we also have an odious puffball in our tool slot here. So we got some diggle eggs. How many of those did we get? Eight. The tofu won't help us. Um, but some of these lesser cheese as well. So in our crafting here, Cheese grater. And uh, we can grate the various kinds of cheeses we have. So we got a couple of these Havartis. Craft and craft. And we get eight eight pieces out of Havarti. Uh, and then what were the other cheeses that we had here? We've got mini goudas and cheese rounds for 11. So basically I'm going to grate uh, my low-level cheeses earliest, right? Just makes sense, I think. Uh, keep the keep the good ones in case we want to eat them as cheese. Uh, so 11, 14. Don't get quite as much grated cheese out of the lesser ones, but uh, it's all right. Uh, you can you can ground your beef. Um, where are the? There they are. All right, 20. Oh, we still have. We're just going to do up all these. We'll keep all the extra cheese. That may be more than we need. Now, now that we've grated all our cheese, we can go to this ingot press or uh, sandwich press. It's like the uh, like the foreman grill, right? And now three grated cheese and one diggle egg makes a cheesy omelet for 36 health. health. Uh, I don't... <laughs> Got to line it up with the craft button. And there we go. We get... Uh, Eight omelets, uh, used up all our eggs, had two cheeses left over. So we've got less bulk of food now, um, but some pretty good options. I'm going to put the steak here. 
I'm going to put the omelets here. Nope, here. So we got a 29, a 36, a bunch of 10s. And we will ditch that. And now <laughs> I'll take this. Uh, take this tofu, because we can't grate that into cheese, right? And then uh, we'll take this uh, share cheese, a log cheese. And so I've got a 10, a 12, a 14, a 29, and a 36. And that 10, uh, we actually have nine of those and quite a few of the omelets as well. So food, we're doing a lot better than we just were. Uh, pretty good setup. And if we can get some bread, we will... Put it there, and for our grated cheese, it uh, will go there until we get more dead legs. Cool? Everybody good? All right, let's go uh, pay a last visit to Brax on this level. He's right here. Boom, 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 and boom. And these are 215 a pop, so that alt to split the stacks is pretty nice. Uh, and most of these have, uh, maybe it's all the same uh, price. So there you go. Good. Good. Uh, quest, we have that one monster left. I don't know how to get rid of him. Uh, I, I have certainly tried. <laughs> if you guys have ideas, maybe we'll come back, see if he reappears. Uh, but we got a stairs down right here. Let's get to level two. Oh, wow. Uh, it's very, very unwelcoming, I think. And look at this. We are right in, uh, in a whooshing zone. Interesting. All right. So around the clock we go. I'm going to rock around the clock. Bent staff. Potato. Uh, ingot. I thought that was a trap. Maybe that's a trap. Chest. More ponchos. Uh, ghosts, bookshelf, I guess I gotta be close to it, uh, the sword of necro poking, uh, that is a smithing one, so we'll probably never be able to make that, Let's see, ghosty, uh, have we opened this chest, no, more mushrooms, pears, Uh, Lockpick. So we'll see some of the familiar monsters, but we'll also start to see a new cast. Uh, a couple of them, uh, like we saw a mummy. We saw a single mummy. Uh, small crossbow, that's what we already have. But I'm really hoping, since we got totally skunked on uh, our types of weapons in the last level, uh, we'll maybe have a better... One sparkling glove is the item. Uh, so, Meiji, right? Blue. <laughs> um, I think these are, are like... There's the Haywire Chance, which, again, is to make your magic spells more effective. So, we don't care about that. And that's the main deal there. Uh, it does have that little, like, Sleepy Betty thing. And I don't know if that's, like, a damage or what that is. Um, but... I don't care enough about it to find out. I want to get uh, the XP out of uh, the monster room. All right, same old, same old deal here. Ooh, tough one. All right. Well, it is level two, of course. So, and nothing, unfortunately, nothing just happened to be in that room. Uh, sometimes you can get a little lucky and get something, even if it's kind of trash. Uh, a <laughs> Calco electronic ring. Uh, smithing again, so probably not for us to make. All right, well, we kind of whooshed, uh, whooshed right on across the bottom level of the mine here. It's nice to get that systematically done. Um... Until we've gone round and about, we won't worry too much about uh, the portals. Ooh, another uh, 
There's some bread. That's a grilled cheese sandwich. That's our first one. Trap. Walk picks. All right. Now, I I just like food. <laughs> Call me. Ooh. Call me crazy. Uh, but it's kind of one of those. Take it. Well, we can get more maces. Stole more tofu. Uh, no uncooked steaks or anything like that. Grated cheese. Really cheap. Uh, it's only five, so I guess I'll go ahead and buy that. And then uh, we will actually, even though it's kind of expensive, we'll get these cheeses too, right? Uh, those are half of the grilled cheese. So if we find a lot of bread around here, we can make a bunch of those sandwiches. A trap, and I think maybe... There we go. Uh, just take the XP. It's my thoughts. And the gold, of course. Looty. So this, this is an upstairs. So this would take us back up to level 1. And each of those downstairs in the last map will correspond to an exit. Uh, but they'll flip and rotate. It isn't uh, isn't just a one-to-one. -one. A new type of blobby. Toxie blobby. Well, he's not gonna. He's probably not gonna feel our toxic. Uh, but he may feel our putrefying. Let's see how we do. 6 and 19. Uh, so yeah, we didn't do any of the the deal. He hit us hard with Toxic. That's kind of stinky, but that's all he's got. Um, and hopefully we should finish him off here. Boom! Toxic Blobby down. Extra Mushroom. Uh, locked. Go figure. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> um. Easy, fella. I think I'm gonna... I didn't even know I was in a, uh... <laughs> Did I pick a quest? How? I'm fighting a regiment of zombies. Uh... <laughs> oh, I don't even need a, a 10... Dude, we'll tornado these guys. And then... Withdraw. Oh, don't. Yo, wussy. Gonna get a level here. Power level 1370. Yes. New skill. And, um... Axe Mantra. Spiritual devotion to the art of the axe is unlocked at secrets. You have a chance of executing exceptionally grievous attacks in combat while using axes. Uh, good. Good. And we get uh, some crit. Is that crit? Yeah. And uh, enemy dodge reduction, right? Both of which are already at 20, so boosting those will be good. Um, and we're, we're almost at... Uh, Almost at top level then. Um, so let's take this. Um, and that, whatever that especially uh, grievous attack uh, is not a timed special. That'll that'll just hit um, if it's ready to go or whatever. If it rolls. Uh, 
Oh, so at least now we're two hitting them. <laughs> Come on back. Dude. I don't know. Okay, so here's one of these. Uh, Grave of Gunther. A member of the Heroic Friends, Gunther was cut down by a despicable robber knight. Well, actually more like several dozen of the robber knight's men. They threw him off a bridge because he couldn't cut through Gunther's plate armor. Fortunately, it was the dead of winter, and the river was frozen solid. Unfortunately, the river was frozen solid. Suddenly, a pack of hungry wolves appeared, and... Story goes on for some time, some length before Gunther finally gets it. <laughs> I love it. Just random, and, and you'll get different little stories about all these adventures and graves and stuff. Um, so uh, this is is not going to help our uh, nimbly stuff, right? It's three. We get uh, a lot of block, a lot of absorption, magic. It's catastrophic to you, but it takes away two of our nimbleness. And we like the critting of Nimble. So, um, it only gets us an extra star. Uh, I, I kind of like light and, and fast, right, instead of tanky. Uh, but let me know in, in the comments. Shout it out if you've got, uh, got a feel one way or the other. Of course, we can't use the shield at all. Uh, so, there we go. Into the corner of the map. Tiggles and their eggs. So good. All right. Tiggle eggs. Always a treat. Um, I guess we'll go this way. Hey, look, more log cheese. Uh, dual fountain, some cash there, get the pair, get this, um, we got two fountains, uh, let's give them a whirl, Burly, nice, uh, <laughs> uh, some medium burl, <laughs> I love it, you're imbued with awesome strength, uh, that's cool, and drink, and we get stupid. Stupid's fine. Uh, stupid's just magic y stuff. Let's hope there's enemies up here. Uh, there's a potato y looking thing. Is that all we're going to get to use our awesome burliness on? Plastic. Rusty sword. Come on. And an apple. Um, uh, we'll set those and leave them. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. All right. Uh, new area. Got some remnants up there. They weren't mine, though. Dire sandwich, always good. Hi. Bye. Oh, oh man, I didn't hit you very well. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we finally got an axe. All right, so I don't think I want to. Um, I want to get rid of this, even though we want we want dual wielding axes. Um, this is giving us that toxic damage, which uh, totally helps on stuff that um, can't resist. We've certainly made up for the lack of enemy dodge and uh, crit debuffs on that. Uh, so the special bits uh, are are making up for the weapon. So what we're going to do is just replace this crude stone axe uh, with our rough iron axe. Uh, the four stars mean uh, our flat damage will be better, but we also get uh, more slashing damage. So, yay. And <laughs> if we can at least get something comparable to that, uh, we'll start uh, stacking those on. All right. Uh, here, we got a nice lever. Ooh. Steel bolts. Very good. Monster Zoo! Alright, first things, retreat. 
Uh, <laughs> this is our first monster zoo. Uh, hopefully we survive it. So there are 50 monsters left in the zoo. This is like a, a uh, it's a zoo full of monsters, right? They're all going to try to kill us. If we go to our pocket dimension, uh, we fail the attempt, right? The monsters will remain. We can come back, but we won't get a bonus item at the end. Um, and depending on the level and uh, just the room that it spawns into, um, we can have... Um, Uh, hundreds of monsters to clear through so this is going to be a pretty quick one uh but this is this is one of the big reasons why i want softballs so that uh we can pull things from way back in that room and uh get them coming to us for uh, i don't really need health yet <laughs> We're waking up lots of monsters. Uh, I guess we should talk about or read about some of these monsters. Uh, Samidi. Samidi never let a small matter of death get in the way of having a good time. This monster is trying to kill you. Uh, and uh, the Toxoblobby, the particularly revolting blob of animated son of this monster. Right. Not so much to describe on the Blobby, uh, but here he is. And at the moment, at least, we are cruising. Uh, we like getting out into visibility to keep things that might be in line of sight coming at us. We're already down to 39. Um, but as it gets a little a little deeper, this is where having a softball uh, will aggro things around us. And then... Um, we can either use the softballs to just soften up, or uh, let's use these uh, these worse arrows uh, just to hit hit some stuff. And if we need to, we will pull back around the corner. Uh, the axe is the axe nato is kind of gonna throw. Uh, throw that strategy off just a little bit because I never want to get surrounded, right? I want to sit on these. The critical hits. Corners, he kind of got me a bit. But I, to this point, we haven't even been down to uh, to down 10 health. Um, there we go. To need food. But now we can eat a steak. And that will... Help keep us a little more even. All right, so we got some aggro. Gotta watch out. These are uh, these are mummies and things that can pop that off, or that might have been something that uh, stepped on a trap. Electro lobby, uh, mummy. It's a popular misconception that the creation of mummy requires days of backbreaking labor and preservatives. A talented necromancer can knock on with a fresh corpse, a plunger, and a large quantity of toilet paper. The monster is trying to kill you. Take that, mummy. You like that, huh? Oh, look at all... It's awful over there. Uh, some of the monsters will teleport. Could be a ghost. Oh, dude. Uh, Sapsiba, the war master of owls. Just some dead guy in a suit. This monster is trying to kill you. Um, here. <laughs> we'll use the best we got. Uh, try, try to wear him down. It's not working very well. I can go one more. This, There's always a couple of these highly statted monsters in here. Dude! Your health is low. I know it is. Oh, Axnado. That didn't get the bat. 
I really want to eat. I hope the bat doesn't wreck me. Alright, he's dead. He just got countered by me. Uh, up to 18. <sighs> 26 monsters left in the zoo. Uh, I think that is away from me. I got darkened vision. I'm well fed. Uh, but what that does do is prevent any chance of me fleeing. My exit is uh, sealed. So we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna hang here. Um, tactically regain the food that our or the health that our food is giving us. All right, now. Come to Papa. Uh, yeah, some of these these guys probably have a ranged curse type thing. Ooh, did I take that crit? I didn't do much damage. If I did. Oh, I didn't... I thought I had... I thought I had a spot there. Uh, Axnado? Uh, mur murders rutabaga ba Dude, what? Ah! Wait, actually, you can go in here. Get out of there. Uh, <laughs> um, steak? Top that off a little bit here. And see, we can... This is without our heart regen... All right, let's maybe a big problem. All right, that didn't aggro anybody else. I think I'm going to... Oh. I guess it aggroed this guy. Oh, we got a whole parade now. Good. Welcome, guys. Let's step on up. I am morbidly curious why there was so much... Uh, there's so many curses going over there. All right. Uh, it is time for the softball strat. Uh, so see, they will, they will pull others. And the bat will save ammo on. Now, it's the ghosts that are the bane of any zoo, because they hang at the back, and there's a couple other ranged-type uh, enemies. That was fantastic. Can I get you? 
a dodge. All right, that gets good. Uh, our health is pretty tip-top. Six, and I can see five. Sometimes you'll get a rogue, like a couple monsters may have been in here before the zoo generated. They will stick around. Um, and you may then... See, I, I'll throw at him, but I'll probably hit uh, these other guys. There we go. Out of one. Nice. Now, with a bit more impunity, uh, we can head into the room. No hard feelings? Either way, buddy. No hard feelings, like you said. All right, two monsters. I see two, uh, two left in the room. Let's hope this does it. Come to Papa. Oh, and we get an orb. Oh, boat cleared the zoo. Blitter reward. And uh, I guess we'd already got the XP for it. Uh, so hopefully that'll be something high value. Uh, but that was our first zoo. You just get one level after level one. And like I said, that was pretty pretty small. It got hairy with the uh, kind of boss monster in there. Um, but yeah, we shall uh, see what more awaits. Um, kind of... Kind of nice to get it early like that, but um, it also, oh, I don't, was that a pear? Oh, I should have axe nadoed. Dang it. Hit. What is my health now? Uh, I'll eat a tofu. That's just shot right up. Your inventory is full. Oh, fine. What, uh, what can we drop off here? Probably a good batch of stuff. Yeah, ain't not quite as much as I'd hoped. Plastic. Or. It's a mushroom, not a gem. What am I not seeing here? This is all pretty... Oh, do I have stuff in here? No, it's all food. All right, let's go drop off the food. We need a Brax. So, cheese. Very good. And one bread. Uh, we'll start making grilled cheese, but for the moment... Um, don't have enough to really make that worthwhile. Arrows. More arrows. And then, since we have yet to locate a little uh, kiosk, right? And there, there should be one Brax at least for every level. Um, drop that. All the rest of this stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that. Oh, dig legs. I don't want the foppish tunic. So now we can just start a sail pile, right? As soon as we have opportunity, we will uh, uh, come back and, and un or resell all that to Brax. It's when that pile is like four inventories worth. That's when the, the timer on this becomes a bit of a pain because then you got to just wander around until you can get back. But uh, now we are clear to keep uh, adventuring. Uh, what do we got here? I don't know what this lever does. Let's pull it. Uh, we can light up the lights. See how those traps then showed up very nicely, and the monsters in the distance. Ah. I killed so many of your friends already. Uh, traffic cone with the cyber cone. Oh, here we go. A krong. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use that on either. Let's think for a second. I mean, 
good for our rough iron axe. That's named anything that's named we're we're kind of out of luck on. Uh, this is not named the Helm of Threepwood. That's its like base name, right? It's any time that you get a um, Frizziar comma, right? Any of those kind of things. And the poncho, I think we already enchanted. Uh, so I don't know. We want to do that. Let's just uh, quick explore around a little bit. Uh, and if we don't get anything else, then we'll try the axe. That's a wand. Not an axe. Kind of looked axe-ish. Hey! What are you doing shooting me? Range. That's not cool. Thought blobbies were, uh, up in our face. Oh. Yeah, I'll be with you in just a second here, Mr. Diggle. Uh, supple leather gloves, three extra hearts, uh, two two stars, and uh, a little bit of block chance. Uh, so that would just increase our overall base health. It doesn't do the regen. You must have hit a trap on your way down. And we got another one of these Samiti guys. He uh, is basically trying to run away, but again, our task is to clear the dungeon, not... Uh, not just avoid, guys. Twenty XP out of that. Very nice. Almost another level here. Uh, this would appear. We got this Toxie. Um, this might sting a bit, but. If this is a regiment, whatever. Um, get the tough one. Next one. See how they're all they're all trying to flee, right? But they can't go anywhere. Um, so second company. Um, what you might have me. That's why I wanted to. Wanted to pin that one guy and not let him get behind me and start running away like these others. But again, I I don't know that we're really... Oh, dude. In a quest here. Or if we'll get any advantage for having... Uh, I haven't done it. Oh, I'm so glad that's not an axe. <laughs> I hadn't really looked at it since it wasn't reachable. Uh, that would be the worst tease. To have an axe, and a good looking axe that uh, we couldn't have gotten to. Critical hits. Trap. Uh, dirt. Hey, we got it. Nice. Hi, death. Terrifying Phantasmal Reaper with a menacing scythe. Trying to kill me. Some cheeses. Very nice. Locks. Not the kind we put on the bagel. Uh, here we have... Ooh, oh, sewer brew. Uh, the monolith glares at us ominously. Um... We got chest back here. Throwing knives. Nice. Another hand uh, weapon. And here we go. More softballs we can purchase. We're up to almost nine grand. Um, this will knock us down a little bit. But uh, now imagine that, that that 50 monsters was a couple hundred and there were a bunch of ghosts and things at the far end of the room. I want those softballs to be able to keep uh, kind of uh, pulling aggro, right? And more throwing weapons, boomerangs, and uh, stuff we will try to sell eventually. Alright, we're over at the far corner. I don't know, I guess we get there to get back down into this whole area. Uh, or portals. Hi. Critical 
And uh, this is a couple hundred, right? That was a big stack of softballs for a couple hundred. Uh, and there is, uh, there is like a something right behind there, but because it's the monolith, I just if I click on it, I get the the monolith message. Go around this way. Get any traps like that one? Uh, ooh, look at you! A hundred and nineteen. The Baron. Holy smokes! Um. At least we are fully loaded up. I don't know that we'll try it, but I don't think that bow bolts. Oh, I guess they did a little bit. Uh, so let's use better ones. Oh, and he's on a trap. That helps. He blocked that one. Uh, so we gotta got him down a bit. Now we just hope that our... Uh, our superior uh, weapons here, like that he's vulnerable to toxic. Kind of doubt it, but at least we do 14 slashing, right? So much better than the bow there. Uh, less piercing. Uh, and sadly, yeah, he's he's already dead, so toxic doesn't do much. Um, and he didn't hit me too hard. And now we stunned him. That's good. Two shots for one. Um, but much, much weaker when we... Uh, Blackjacked him. Uh, he crushes me. That's not cool. Oh, and he, like, whooshed. What's up with that? Come back here. Uh, one more of these. Yep. Ooh, and a level up. Metaphor for the atomic bomb is habbage, apparently. Nice. All right. So last skill. Um, I think I think we just max it, right? We get this philosopher of an axe. It's gonna give us something else special down on the toolbar. I don't think I've ever been all the way maxed out on the axe before. Um, so we'll have a second special attack, and we can stagger the Axe NATO and this Philosopher attack, whatever it is. Um, the terrifying Latin-based attack. Whatever that may be, we will find out, but uh, it also gives us more slashing, uh, greater melee power, um, which is flat out going to boost everything. Uh, these are crits, right? So that'll be that'll be well up, and uh, a whole bunch of enemy dodge reduction. So our two our two primaries are fantastic, and as you can see, as we go, our warrior is getting boosted a lot right now because we're just just doing the axy stuff, right? Um, so there we go. Uh, axes will never be better. Now, if we could only get some more axes, uh, we'd be doing really really well. Um, but yeah, we should. Uh, now we're almost up at 30 on crit chats, 35 on dodge reduction. So hitting, doing damage, uh, we're pretty good. And now uh, we'll probably go back down. I like to get this guy as well. It's a venomous infusion for our, our melee attacks, for zoos and stuff. Really handy. And that will give us a third um, item to put down in this row. So that's a couple to invest. And then... Um, uh, the burglar here gets us a trap affinity. Uh, there's lots of perception and trap affinity to get on these tinkerers, as you can see going forward. So we'll be able to manage those. And uh, we also have perception-y stuff to help us keep looking, but we can we can boost up the dual wielding and uh, and everything else as we go. Uh, but this should, should kind of put us back into cruising mode uh, for these low levels, I hope. And without, uh, hey, Slime Sandwich, how you doing, man? You see, I am not playing Minecraft. Did something say Minecraft? I tried to, I tried to switch out like the game category and all that. What's up, buddy? I hope I didn't miss you, man. I was just, uh, just excited about leveling up there. Uh, how you doing? Oh, good stuff here. Spectacles gives us extra perception. Um, ooh, and, uh, Blackool, the Nails of 
Constitutions. Uh, this is an amulet, uh, like our others here. Uh, this one gives us one heart and two absorption. This one uh, gives us two more toxic, maybe? Is that right? <laughs> um... Yeah, that puts us at a five. I think I like that. Uh, we give it the heart, we give up the absorption, but um, having just skilled up our axe all the way, I think that's what we what we want. Let's give it a try here. Jaw. Uh, there's a sword. Again, not what we're exactly looking for. Uh, wands. Robes. Uh, whoop. Some Merlot. A nice, a nice bodied Merlot. Uh, pink. Or plastic. Plastic pink. Um, Graves inscription is damaged. It looks suspiciously like the work of Diggles. <laughs> Here lies Acumos, sworn enemy of the pumpkin. Who died just as he lived quickly <laughs> all right see you guys uh, pay our respects to the the fallen adventurers all right uh guess we'll hold off on portals for a bit i don't even think we've gotten a side quest yet have we that's not the way fountain when you glaze into the water, everything seems so clear. Uh, clear vision. Ooh, look at all that. Sight is improved, which helps you pick out critical weaknesses in your enemy's defense. Nice. Extra perception. Uh, 75 turns. Um, what was it? The little circle. Oh, this is, uh, this is more crit chance. Nice. And then what's the X thing? Trap sight radius, nice. And just general perception, too. Or sight radius. Ooh, belt of iron plates. Uh, again? Are you flipping kidding me, man? I need to sell stuff again. Uh, so, Wiki, how you been? Happy Halloween to you, my friend. Hope life is treating you good. I don't think we have a locale for Wiki. Uh, Ludifisk, we can put in Ludifisk bin. Uh, and some of these other things that are super low value, uh, just plunk them on in there. Uh, we'll maybe stack up Danishes for a while. Uh, some of these food items are pretty good. Uh, sell. Sell. Uh, Throne weapons, we'll hold on to. The hat, magic -y. Uh So we won't switch it out for our tin pat, pot or whatever it is on her head. Um, yeah, I think I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to keep the, the damage for now. Spectacles, I'm actually going to keep. I think that's something we can maybe tinker on, possibly. Um, this, I think, can just go. It's only eight mana. So pretty low. Sell, sell, sell. Magician's robe again, not magic user. Uh, the wands, good money. These guys, uh, low value, so send them. Oil of vitriol, sell them. And up here, boom, boom. A uh, bunch of crafting stuff. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, we haven't done very much yet. Our, our tinkering, for one thing, is pretty low still. Uh, so we don't have a whole lot unlocked. Um, but we also, uh, it's super, it can be super frustrating to uh, try to figure out or find an item to complete a recipe. This is just that kind of game, right? It's kind of like Minecraft in that sense. Um, you you try to do something, 
Uh, the game's not going to let you do it very easily. Uh, you will have to uh, struggle and work for it, and it will usually conspire. feel like it's conspiring against you, at least. All right, we can hold on to one of these. Uh, this is the Merlot 16 there, so we'll put it in the to-be-sold pile. Um, and let's just, let's just take a look. I think this is our Tinkers, or is this the Tinkers? That's the Tinkers. Oh, that's Alchemy. Yeah, we don't want that. We want this. Um, so we can switch up some of these components and stuff. Uh, here. Oh, see, we don't have, we don't have the stuff. Oh, we don't have it on us, but we might have these. So we could make a crude iron crossbow at least, um, which would be an upgrade, and we should probably do that. Oh, what is this? Uh, a crude steel crossbow. Probably even better. Three minus two. Two minus two, so steel seems better if we've got the steel piece. Uh, and then a bunch of bolts. I don't... Oh, and here, uh, oh, we can make the spectacles, but I think there's like a goggles uh, that use the spectacles. That's why I saved those. Uh, we can make some traps. We can make a wrench. I don't see in here an axe anywhere, which is kind of, kind of a bummer. Uh, but see, there's some high-tier crossbows. Uh, we could make later hosen. <laughs> we can make cutoffs. Show off that thigh. Oh, yeah. Our character would be good like that. Um, <laughs> we could make a spiked collar. That would go in the amulet spot. I don't think one uh, block chance and three stars is going to compare to our toxic uh, damage here. Uh, so we'll keep that. Again, a dead mobs, not going to feel that too much. But for any of the others, pretty good stuff. Um... A bullet's belt, that improves our base, what is that, the caddishness, uh, which is actually our highest skill. Um, critical hit and counterattack chances, right? Which obviously we're doing pretty good on. So that would be a good, uh, we don't even have a belt. I guess that's why, I should, uh, I should look for a belt. If we can get one, we'll probably have these other things. That's something to keep an eye out for. If we can make a uh, belt, a bullet belt. Well, we'd be very well set. And then uh, this was the uh, the recipe we found. Uh, it requires seven tinkering, so we're a long way off from that. Uh, we'd also have to have full plate armor, so if we see that, we should grab it. Uh, let's try to remember that team. Find a full plate armor and get it. Um, it's certainly going to be negative on some of the stuff we really like. Uh, but it's going to give us some massive resistances. Minus 50. Do oh, we're not going not gonna to be dodging. Um, but we are going to be blocking and absorbing like fools. And not very sneaky at all either. Uh, and certainly wouldn't be very good for magic. Um, top tier stuff though. You know, at the, the very end of the game we could be doing that. Alright, so we want to be looking for a belt. And then, uh, what was the steel crossbow? Because straight up, we need a better uh, better crossbow. And if we can just make it, that would help. We need a steel ingot and uh, one of those metal -y pieces. Crude steel crossbow. Oh, and then when we get... Uh, we will still need extra levels, but we can upgrade these from there. So crude, we need a steel ingot and one of these guys, right? So let's, uh, let's see if we can do this. Because I'm, I'm pretty. Yeah, look, there's a thing. Is that the thing? I hope so. And here, unfortunately, <laughs> gotta just grab everything. All right, so. There's no real sense in walking back. So there we go. We got our steel. We got our brass mechanisms. We can make this. Boom. Oh. <laughs> we got to line it up with the craft button. Boom. Look at that. And uh, just like that, we are uh, 
a little bit better off at crossbowing. So again, we lose uh, lose a little bit of enemy dodge reduction, but um, get more piercing damage uh, than the one that we had on the small crossbow. So flat out better, and we have stars too, right? Two stars instead of one. So yay, improving. All right, uh, and we will be on the lookout for a regular old belt to uh, do that. And uh, at some point, we'll we'll boost that tinker up a little bit. We can upgrade that. But maybe you know, sometimes you do that kind of stuff in a game, and all of a sudden you've triggered. Hey, now uh, uh, now you'll get a really good crossbow, right? Seems to be the way it works sometimes. All right, pick that up, and here's the belt of iron plates. Not ideal because it's going to be anti uh, some of the stuff we want to. It's not very sneaky. In fact, very. It's going to take away all of our sneakiness, um, but it gives us a little bit of resistance to piercing and uh, absorption and blocking chances. Uh, for now, at least, it's hey, it's more than we got, uh, so we'll take it, uh, but it uh, won't do exactly what we hope for out of our deal. Rude. Uh, not too bad. All right. Trap here. Diggle here. Dusty bookcase <laughs> that we broke. Um, all right. So we got two, two things here. We haven't seen this particularly yet before. Let's, uh, break the messy magician's desk. So a little, uh, little scroll here. Uh, text contains ex especially lengthy tangential descriptions of the dishes which appear at the Feasts of Nobility. You're unable to extract any useful information. Uh, but you can kind of puzzle out here. We got blue. Uh, the blue flames below and roll in their chilly little nook. And... Um, the flames billow and roll in their hot little cranny. And then you have two little spots. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this one. So it's that one or the other, and we got a hyper being empowerment. Uh, you've been infused with hyper being power. Cool. Um, that's what made me think this was icy. Uh, frostbite, frost damage, but then... Uh, oh, it's Haywire that's the magic one. Yeah, I was thinking it was like Fire and Ice, right? That was the cool... So now this one's inactive. You can only get one or the other. And, of course, you can only use it so long. Dude. <sighs> Another Ring of Ash. Well, at least we can... Um... Uh, begin to sell. I don't. I don't want to waste our hyper being if I can go find some monsters at the moment. So we'll come back and do our uh, pocket dimension sales and all that. Take my icy damage too. Get two more extra damage there. Uh, let's get some flippy floppy shoes. I don't need another deal. We can make a staff of conceptualization that is under alchemy. So again, probably something we're not going to be able to make at any point, but uh, one more recipe done. And as far as I know, those don't repeat. Uh, no, no, I'm 40. And I don't need more of those. I can't sell them, so if I can avoid picking them up, I will. I just don't need the... I mean, it doesn't really matter. They'll just stack. Oh! Oh! Look at this. Uh, a mace, a Valum, the puny manuscript, three in one. Whatever. Uh, we'll sell it. Oh, come on. Just a kilt. Uh, perhaps better than Lederhosen. Take a look at that in a second. Let's keep going. I don't want to get should speed up a little bit as we go, right? We're going to need less less time to review uh, what we're doing. The leveling doesn't come as often, so we don't have to look at the skills. Uh, we just run around, mash stuff. Um, and 
when we do find stuff, it will be extra, extra good. Ooh. How do I, how do I open you up? You look like you have good stuff. Oh, maybe we go around. Oh, you jerk. Oh, you jerk. All right, we're still pretty good. Let's go wait for this to clear. Come up and get these diggles, get their eggs. Critical hits. Critical hits. Another iron mace. All right, now that little mess is clear, so we can just clear out that. Still locked, or this one is locked too. And I can't get through to that crypt. What a bunch of trash. Uh, so somewhere a leather, or a leather, a lever will release that. Oh, we got another shop. Please. See, what did I tell you? Now, we can buy an even better crossbow, because we just made one. Uh, but we can hang on to this and upgrade it as our tinkering eventually goes up. Sadly, though, still no mace. Uh, we only have 8,700. <laughs> Crown of yellow. It's a little bit more magician-y than we would like, but it's got a lot of resistance. Um, could be fun, kind of fun, and gets uh, is fixative damage. Maybe is the purple one. I don't know, uh, but we don't don't really need that. Uh, I really don't want to go with a heavy iron helm because again, more negatives uh, than our deep wood pan. So um, we will buy you the patented Mr. Cranky crossbow reloading crank system means that even the most languorous aristocrat can reload this heavy steel crossbow with ease. I think we found one of these in the uh, temporary playthrough the other day. Uh, buy. And then sell a bunch of stuff. Oh, and we forgot to even look at our kilt. Uh, kilt. Three uh, melee, one Do enemy dodge reduction. Or no, that's our dodge, maybe. And uh, one block. Right? Dodge, dodge, block, and three melee. And this is only one and three and three stars. So later hosen come off. Kilt goes on. Very nice. Being able to breathe <laughs> really helps when you're swinging a claymore around. We don't have a claymore, but uh, it would be really nice to be able to swing around a couple axes. All right, so sell, sell, sell. Uh, Lutefisk is going to go in the Lutefisk cube. Sell, sell, sell. Don't need a magician-y glove. Um, don't need a mace. Uh, almost 100 for that mace. Uh, don't need these. Don't need these traps. I am going to hang on to that again. Oh, I haven't I haven't switched it yet. Uh, I don't think I'm going to want to crong the uh, the later hosen, so I'll sell those. 150, not bad. And uh, then we will do this and hang on to this so we can upgrade it. Right next time we get a tinkering level. Uh, we'll get a better crossbow. I don't know if it'll be better than this exactly, but we can have one to just keep upgrading all the way through. Uh, so that's the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, obviously not good. Uh, much better. Um, we can uh, we can at least be aristocratic as we sell. Now, speaking of selling... Uh, let us put this crossbow over by our crafty stuff so we don't forget about it. Uh, let's drop off our eggs. And when we finish the level, we'll come in and top off our food supplies, right? I will hold these in case we ever run into a grill, then we can just cook them. And now... Okay, uh, some of these things I don't sell. I can uh, 
cube. And basically we'll pick a price point and as we go through if we see that they're they're super invaluable it can go but again it doesn't have to be food or anything like that food is just some of these base foods are pretty low value uh, but i'm guessing like the crude stone axe and the small crossbow will be worth next to nothing uh basically that just gets us a few more uh things that we can uh can get sold or check without having to wait so hopefully we can do this in two trips Back to Brax. So here, it's 38. That's actually not too bad. 23. Uh, 438. Hefty stick. Uh, I, I'm going to at least start with under 10. 172. 107. 233. 40. 150. Oh, he's pretty good. Uh, traffic cone. It's very rubbery. Um... 500 for the, the Baron's hat. Um, 581. We'll take that cash. Because we can do quite a bit with the cash, right? Uh, we don't need the Pilsner. We don't need the Crude Stone Axe. Uh, 350. 160. Good. Good. Not bad. Terrible. 210. Um, not plate, right? Plate is what we're looking for. Oh, we're also still looking for that belt, if we can find one at, through Brax. 150, wow. Those were some of the things I thought we wouldn't, uh, would just be dumping. And here. All right, so now, painful as it is, I want to go, you know what, we can walk to, let's walk over, we will finish this. Uh, and we'll go back over to this other shop and finish selling there. All right. Sound good? Looking for traps. Uh, here we go. Maybe this one will have... <laughs> we discovered the glimmering foggery. I don't know what that did. Uh, I didn't get a notice. Uh, but again, maybe a different skill path would have a thing. Or maybe we just um, summoned Mjolong, the father of pruning. Uh, let's give him a warm-up shot. That's a hit. Oh, you're, uh, you're ranged. There we go. Man, I was, I was hoping for something cool out of all that. Um... And our food's down a little bit, but we're still kind of in the middle of the sales process, so I think we'll heal up naturally and not have to waste it. All right, we have done our 30, so we can come back, and now we just pick up... Are you kidding me? That was it? Jeez. Oh. Here's the things. There was no belt. <laughs> did want to check that just to see if there was a regular old belt uh but look at that we're up to 1400 in cash uh a much better place to be when it comes to uh the old pocketbook get that out of the way stay away from the trap and let's go A stony wand. Like I said, wands are good money. Uh, fungus. Now, this game does have that ability to lull. Full oh, I want to save that grog, right? Pirate breaches? I don't think they're going to be that good. They didn't look uh, better than our kilt by any means, so maybe I don't care. Yeah, I'll just get rid of it. I don't think we get any experience or anything for crafting stuff. Uh, which is too bad, right? If we could, like, effectively... Oh, dude! 
hit me with your goo. Oh, we actually already missed a uh, cheese. I like cheese. We missed a something. <laughs> well, hello, gang. Nato. Oh, we haven't even tried our special attack yet. Our new special attack. Uh, let's save it for uh, a fresh one. It's lightly injured. What does this do? Oh! <gasps> yeah! Uh, keep a flesh. Nasty, but cool awesome and oh that cooldown is so fast uh what is oh it's the brass piping like that yeah, you should be scared oh the <laughs> axes just got good um i wonder i know on level one we had a makeshift bombs very nice Uh, that might be an uber chest. What do we got here? Here lies the foul pirate Everdread, who gave up the family occupation for the calling of his dreams, rogue archaeology. He's being hit by a giant spinning blade. <laughs> nice. You think he was the guy that the uh, the Nazis made um, made go down the hall and he totally didn't want to? And they're like, all right. You eat. <laughs> His head comes rolling out. Oh, uh, Indiana Jones, guys. Again, um, their characters in movies. Here lies the meat crafter named Flex. His work, too radical to be appreciated in his time, earned him the moniker Gag Flex. <laughs> awesome. Uh. I think I'm going to be too... Oh, that didn't work as well on the ghost, did it? But it got him scared. And we'll take all the dig legs we can get. Oh, I saw it, and then I, I was still walking. Clogs. Better than flippy floppies, I'm going to guess. There's a ghost out there. Sleeping, though. Whack! I should have used my already reset awesome attack. All right. So there's a down. We got this. This little corner is now done. Let's grab these mushrooms for sale. And boop. oh, have I mentioned how little I like the ghosts? Oh, there's a, a special ghost. All right, special attack time. Dude, get you. All right, it's uh, one more. Um, sure, we'll eat a steak. Okay, now here we go. Uh, that's got to get him two out, right? So that gets two. Oh, and we got bread. Oh, uh, these were weapons off of the grave of Danab. Here lies Danab, who had more swords than sins. <laughs> Just get it. I picked up a couple of swords. Grave of Stark. 
Here lies Stark, the mycologist, is said that he was driven raving mad by the effects of his crop. Everybody know what a mycologist is? That's a, uh, a like a bartender, a creator of alcoholic beverages, mycologist. So, pretty sure, right? A mycologist. Always like fear. Oh yeah, that's what that is. And then it's like, no, that that actually is a mycologist, not a mycologist. Um, this is something completely different. Um, see if we can get them in close. There we go. What y'all? That's so good. Uh, I don't know who I'm more worried about: the rutabaga or the uh, samiti. Um, that seemed to work, though. Just give me a dang axe, though. Seriously. Oh, it's not a belt belt. It's a swashbuckling belt. That might be better for us. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's a lot less, but... Um, It gives us back our sneakiness and uh, some more nimble, right? Another sparkling glove. That was pretty good money, though. Any of that wizardy stuff. Wizards, wizards got the booze and the cash. Oh, Krong! All right. Uh, I think we're ready here. Um, let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Clogs are three and give us a one absorption. Uh, that's better than flippy floppies for sure. Uh, I think first first crack, the best thing I want to want to try. Maybe the cranky crossbow. Actually, we've got our crude steel. Um, but now let's let's give the kill to try. Krong is pleased, and we get uh, one of some kind of damage, I think. What is that? Existential damage. Does it exist or not? We don't know, but your weapon may inflict it on somebody if they exist. It's not affected by your opponent's armor if it exists. This tooltip is now going to go off and question its existence. Read Heidegger and weep piteously into a bottle of Dr. Sennett's New Age Pilsner. Um, awesome. Uh, so yeah, no, no armor. That's extra damage per shot. And that's right on our kilt. So very good that Krong was pleased. Uh, big old claps. Let's, uh, let's rock on that. I love getting, love getting damage added to stuff. And we still have, uh, we still have another Krong over here. May well be displeased, but like, again, crossbow or something we can throw on there. And if we have to go back to our steel one, okay, uh, we'll get there, right? Diggle, you got an egg in here, buddy? Another shield. We uh, I do like this super axe weapon at the end. Uh, was it like the axe philosophy or whatever they called it? See how we're just walking up on these guys now? That's the sneakiness coming back uh, that we lost from the belt. Sure. We got uh, clear. All right, well, we got that. That's the perception again. Very nice. Uh, once more into the middle. Cash, rubies, a little blobby. And a barrel with nothing. I still I can't believe we've gotten one mediocre axe in <laughs> this whole run. Um, that's kind of weird. All right, let's... Uh, 
Uh, we're pretty full. Let's go up to the shop since we're right here. Oh, I guess we got to portal through this one. That's all right. And... Sell, sell, sell. I'm not going to hang on to that. Uh, sell. <laughs> one. Ah, all right, and the old Ludafisk bin with you. Um, oh, the clogs we should just flat out wear, right? Uh, sewer brew in there. Diggle eggs we want to keep. Uh, we don't need that. I uh, want to keep those. Keep stockpile on there. Don't need the traps. Um, I, I'll go and sell that for 430 for sure. Uh, we're almost up to 1600. We don't need a rusty sword. The glove always nice and valuable. Some of these arrows are nice. Wooden sword. Um, not as good as the 172. Lots and lots and lots of swords and shields. Uh, and we don't need this fairy wadger or this pear wine, or this leather cap. All right. Everything else uh, can go back, but uh, we are going to take the boost here from our little flippy floppies that did not much to an arbor absorption and three stars. So a little, little upgrade there, and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll put our sweaty flip-flops into the lutefisk barrel. All right, uh, good to go there. Now I think we will follow through. Well, now we're up far enough. I guess we'll just uh, head over. Uh, should we go try our crossbow since we're here? Pleased. Oh, uh, resistance. Meh. I mean, great, but uh, uh, I would have obviously much rather taken some damage. But that's good. If something is shooting us with cold, uh, cold spells or whatnot, we've got uh, got some resistance. Hey, do you have cold spells? <laughs> if you did, you don't anymore. Uh, almost halfway through this level. Uh, we can learn how to make the nature orb, which I think is what we just got and sold. Uh, get less XP on the lower level traps. Always take those eggs. Keep cruising. Hey, a Lutefisk statue. We don't have nearly enough Lutefisk to impress him yet. So uh, we'll hold off. Critical hits. Boom. Uh, mushrooms, a sword, and this is Grave of Gretchen. This member of the Heroic Friends, in the end, one situation Gretchen could not charm her way out of was the deadly embrace of the Dwarven Riddle Trap. The dwarves don't really understand how riddles are supposed to work, so they invariably end up crushing its spikes. <laughs> ah, poor Gretchen. We got a rusty sword, though. We'll sell it. Alright, all the way back over and down. Uh, anything? Can't go that way. Come on, I want to fight. What is this? This is uh, a loculus. This engraving is incomprehensible. Okay. Boomerangs. Nice. Sword of glass. Good money. More grog or whatever it is. Sewer brew. Ah, uh, dire sandwich. Nice. Very tasty. Uh, I guess we'll get to a way to get over there. Um, let's come down here. Flask. Let's hope for a trap. More XP. Traps. Trap, trap, trap. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and why not? Boom! Uh, have we passed anything that has been unreachable? That's unintelligible as well. 
because uh, I would really like to try our magical attack and see if we can reach stuff we otherwise wouldn't have been able to. Oh, sword! Dang it! It's like a sickle. I was hoping maybe maybe it was an axy sickle, sickly axe, not sickly axe. All right. Trap. Damage. <laughs> that, that 100 now doesn't do very much on our levels. <laughs> we did pop the remains of the statue over across the room. What's going on up here? Uh, more unintelligible engravings. Ooh, we're all the way over here. Uh, quick. Let's get the character screen out of the way. And I'm just going to go right in. You all have no idea <laughs> what's coming. Uh, the Electro Blobby was ooh, strangely unfazed by that. You're not getting away. He crossed a line. So did you. And a mushroom. Come to Papa. And it just, it recharges so fast. Suru, don't need drinks. Uh, <laughs> are those the second pair of leather boots? All right. A potion of lively regeneration. That would seem to be good, right? I reloaded again. Ready. Oh, didn't really do much to him. Uh, but my counterattack did. Uh, stone sarcophagus holds its dead and its secrets forever. Ooh, no engraving, so. Ooh, look at all this XP. It's just waiting to be had. Uh, it's like the footwear hour over here. Heroic vandalism. Your inventory oh, boy. Here we go. All right. Well, can we... Uh, these can go. Uh, the Krog is actually probably pretty valuable, even if we don't go... I think the leather... Caps, maybe? Uh, here, this is this kind of trashy. Oh, we got a grill, too. That'll help. <sighs> More later, Ozen. Uh, quick, let's get nothing on the grill. Uh, but we can cook this, and it will get us back a spot. And then we'll take that and that. going to be way more valuable than uh, any of these things. Suru straight into the old bin. Adventuring pants. Huzzah. All right, I guess it is time, whether we like it or not, to go back over. How did I miss that? Dang it. Uh, back to the realm. Got a uh, couple different varieties of thrown weapons. Um, let's shoot. It's one and one, four. Uh, we get our character screen back up. Uh, these just have one and three, so that seems like a flat upgrade. And these are gladiator. Oh, but that's extra nimble. Uh, we get our nimble up to 22. Or we can have just absorption and 
uh, Dodge, our own Dodge. Um, shout out in the chat. If you got a preference, let me know. Um, I don't know. It's supposed to be armor. Let's, uh, let's go with the armor. We're not, then we're just, just improving on what we already had. Uh, I do like the nimble, but we'll maybe keep one of the... Uh, Keep one of those in the, uh, maybe we try to enchant that and see uh, if we get more krongs, right? And see how we can do. All right. That, 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 that. Those. Uh, that's a reagent. Clogs, gladiators, all this stuff. All gonna get sold. I'm stuck on the the little uh, choose your background console. Uh, we do have some diggle eggs. We got some regular cheese. We got some bread. Look forward to doing a bit of cooking there. Uh, a brie. Mm, love some brie. I think that does us there. Uh, that. I guess we'll put the flask in there, too. I think that's only going to really be an alchemy deal, but uh, might as well just sit on it. will not do us any harm. Uh, powdery stuff. Ory stuff. More powdery stuff. And a gem. Selly stuff and uh, you know, three apiece on some of those arrows. Hopefully they're good and we can load up on them for later. All right, back to it. Get some more coffee here. I cannot believe it. I, I just looked at the time. Oh my god! <laughs> First of all, uh, we are not cruising by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but much more importantly, wow. I, uh, the last time we played this, um, oh, that's, uh, Dark Vision. Yikes. Oh, that was probably the, uh, Death over here, maybe? Or Ghost? Hi, come on. Come on, baddie. <laughs> A magical badass jacket. Ooh, nice. Uh, it's going to be magical, though, and uh, smithing, so probably not for us, but uh, it's badass. Uh, that's kind of cool. All right. So, uh... Anybody got the anybody got the Halloween stuff going, uh, or is that all kind of over and done? I saw our news. <laughs> so, uh, some I, I was watching it after the football game last night. Uh, Bills, wow. Uh, or maybe Packers, wow. <laughs> Although I I still think uh, having just watched the Broncos and everybody write off Russell Wilson as being like done and the worst trade of all time, and then all of a sudden it's like. Dude, why don't you give him a couple games to uh, to start figuring out his new team? He's never been traded before, never been in that position, and um, now he is. Sorry, that would have just gotten to me. Um, so I, <laughs> I'm not writing off Aaron Rodgers. I think any any of his competition that decides he's washed up is very likely to get uh, uh, get a good taste of. <laughs> of the Aaron Rodgers show. Alright, it was up here. I guess we gotta go this way anyway. Or we could have portaled that door. Let's 
Smashy, smashy. Ooh. A coat of denim. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the space bar there. I went Junimo mode. Little black book, gold ingot. Um, coat of denim, uh, one slashing resistance, I believe. Uh, one existential resistance, I believe. Now that we have those little uh, corkscrew looking things. Absorption and block. Uh, and ours gives us lots of dodge and uh, lots of enemy dodge reduction. And I like that this at least is offensive. Uh, the, total, the total up numbers are 11 and it's two stars. Uh, this is two stars as well. The total numbers are, are way lower. And even though they're arguably... Uh, better the absorption and all that again more defensive um a um, little more offensive so there we go that's my decision i'm sticking to it which way you give me go gotcha come over here first um, I was I was waiting to see if he would come up and I could use my uh my wider attack. Here we'll use it now because <laughs> honestly it recharges will recharge before I even get back to it. Um, uh, what's this one? Ebhard, member of the heroic friends and devout monk, Ebhard's prayers. Were of cleansing and healing offended a crowd of loathsome peasants, several gargoyles, and especially the demon who had enthralled the whole lot. Thus ended Ebard. Ooh, poor Ebard. Maybe, uh, watch out for the demons, right? The demons such as Humbaba. All right, uh, we got... Central stuff over here, and maybe a doorway here, but we are winding down a level two, which, four hours in, yeah. Uh, we did do the two little bonus levels, too. That, uh, that definitely counts for something, but my goodness. Uh, I think we got to go up and then back down. Chop. Oh. Uh, also, maybe we'll see some uber chests around, but... Uh, that's a lame room. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let you swing here for a second. Don't scare me none. Traps? Dude. I guess we had all the fun, right? So the zoo, but we can, it looks like hopefully we can come around here. Get over. Oh, here, right here. eggs. Eggs means omelets. Omelets means tasties. Uh, I, am, I am worried we're not going to be able to get through here. Oh, maybe we can. Alright, here, let's get you. No monster left behind. <laughs> Another shop. Still not an axe to be found. <laughs> Astrologer's hat. <laughs> a copper ring. The sword of Blork, son of Dimglinit. Uh, pretty nice sword for a bargain. Only eight grand. Um, again, we don't we don't want swords. Um, but uh, to get that many stars, the actual genealogy is too complicated to think about. 
uh, yeah, nothing, nothing here we care about too much. But again, uh, opportunity to sell stuff. We're not going to go the coat of denim. We don't need the traps. Uh, you go down there. Club. <laughs> Aluminum tube. I uh, don't need a magic key ring, so we'll sell that. Uh, we've got one of these if we ever need it. I think we'll just sell those. Prince mushrooms are good. Uh, potatoes go in the bin. A little black book. Meiji. All right, and it's time for the old drop-off switch-up. If I can go. Uh, cheese. We got some, uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Uh, aged cheese. Nine. This is our low-level cheese. Uh, Dickel eggs. Keep carrying the steaks, just in case. Uh, that is a potion, so I should be selling that. Drop that. And I should remember to split out those two. Awesome. Back we go. We don't have to come back. So pretty much just flat out sell. We'll just look at the totals when we're done. Yeah, I guess. Ooh, I don't know. I got coffee. It's like something, uh, something weird in my throat. Two. There you go. Four thirty out of that. Uh, very nice. So our cash now twenty grand. Uh, but again, nothing anywhere that we really want to buy. So much as even a common leather belt. Uh, but we do have two more rooms. Or, <laughs> I don't know, t maybe two more rooms? I assume two more. <laughs> uh, we didn't need the iron. Yeah, yes, here we are at the end. Uh, find the artifact. It's not too far. That's good. Thank you for giving me a quick final one. Uh, watching for traps as we go. Can't get into that uber chest. See you, ghost. You even didn't do much to me. I guess my blocky. Oh, that's my head again, because that's the ghost cracked orb. Oh, tickles. Lots of eggs, I hope. Now they're all fleeing. Got to kind of hurt them. I don't know how many we'll get. Not many. Critical hits. You get out that door. Uh, those looked like slightly better pants than just the average pants. Sewer brew. Um, fabulously striped pants. Three, two. Obviously, not going to be as good as our boosted. Uh, kilt, but uh, could take a look at and iron breastplate. We uh, want to keep our poncho going, so I think everything there is good. Ditch this. Uh, what's this ring? Uh, that was uh, more. Uh, no, that's electro. Maybe. Uh, we'll keep these because that is counter chance. I don't think just an individual resist is anything we need there. Uh, coming back up on the item. But. Yes. 
Yeah, just walk into her room. I did take 20 points of damage there, so I guess I should have been a little less flippant about it. But uh, we steal that. We buy all these again. Uh, that'll get us up over 200, I hope. Good old vending machines. Unfortunately, unlike uh, Outer Outer uh, Worlds, was it? It was a kind of like spacey game. Yeah, I don't think it was the Outer Rim. That would have been too, too Star Wars, right? They would have never let that fly. Uh, here's some chalk. It's a black powder. Uh, what do those have? Hans! Brief rim, a brief member of the Heroic Friends, Hans did not manage to even start his greatest adventure while mixing up a batch of his special Thunderbomb potions. Uh, the in <laughs> several surrounding structures collapses in a burst of flames. Then the rubble exploded. Hans' adventuring companion swore to official investigators that the whole thing was some kind of a coincidence. Swamp gas, maybe. And they didn't even know that guy very well. Besides, who knows where he got all that? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Hans. Uh, never made it. All right. Well, we are close here. We'll just come back, get this item. Uh, I think that's just a one and done. And uh, we'll... Oh, oh. I never even noticed this. Look, these two have little blues. Uh, so we will bounce around and at least try to check for items in those. Because I think the blue means they're unlocked. What do you know? Look at the map. Item. And hopefully this one we don't have to carry around anywhere. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. We got a club. Uh, over. Come on. Get. <laughs> Through and around and down. Uh, so these are fabulously striped pants that have been boosted a little bit. Uh, they have some damage and stuff. I don't know. I nothing is a, a flat out like level boost or anything. We get two two damages, but here we get the uh, the melee power. And that's going to be tough to beat, plus some dodgy stuff. And it's four stars. These are only two. Uh, even though they're named, that's uh, not quite there. But there was a portal. Oh, and uh, a little reaper. Where does this take? Oh, here, we can try this. Awesome. Uh, where am I? I'm looking for me on the map. Oh, we're up top. So this is kind of, I mean, it's not exactly close but it's not too terribly far but here's what i want to try so if we do our special attack here nothing uh, i was hoping it would uh it would pop that off its spot sometimes they'll uh they'll move stuff like that but i guess it uh doesn't have that uh property to it all right, uh, so back over to this uber chest, if we can weave our way through this crowd of monsters. It is Halloween, after all. It's the birthday cake pedestal. Can I? I guess I can't read about it. Just a birthday cake. Still can't pick that up. Oh, we're almost, almost leveled. It would be so cool if we could... Oh, this is where we gotta, gotta whoosh. Uh, if we could level real quick, but... I don't think there's anything we can do. We didn't find any of those alternate uh, dimensions. <sighs> um, Two hearts... Slashing, piercing, and four purple rain damage? <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, how does that compare to this guy? We lose our toxic. Two, one, and three. And that had melee power. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, 
I don't know. I don't want to lose any axe power that we have. I don't even know if we could do our special attacks without axes. Without any axe. Um... Let's just go, let's go sell it. Uh, was there anything? I don't think there's anything on this level, right? One had some stuff, but I don't think anything we can afford yet. Uh, it was that scarf for like ten times what we have now. Um... Two thirty-two. That does not even tell us. Eh, uh, it's we've been good so far, right? Why, why mess with a good thing? Uh, sell that. Ditch that. Twenty-seven. Great. That was the cracked orb, right? One hundred and fifty for the the regular pants. Um. Hey, one hundred ninety-seven for the mace. Um. Ooh, that had a crazy... I wonder what that damage is. That might be blasting? Anyway. And 150 there. Uh, so... 21 grand. Again, um... Unless we want to go back up to one and uh, check the shops again... I, and I see it down here. There's no ups close by. So let's just go down. Let's go to three. Uh, we won't even stop for the inventory until we're filled up. Because, man, we've uh, been going here a bit. All uh, right. All the way across and down. I never... Uh, we got two uber chests opened. And I think I pulled every level I found. So sometimes they just don't, don't do anything. And, like, for instance, that time we had a mellow shrine... And we never need it. Oh, but look, we got a genie. What's up, genie? A gin. And uh, yeah, a little, a little bit. Um, so it would seem that there should be a trap here, but maybe it's further down. Let's uh, check our. Oh, we got one of these. Uh, Suited monsters. Hi! An undead Aethernaut. Uh, just some dead guy in a suit. Okay, that's the, the same deal. Uh, but now we can make a little better use of our weapons. A tentacular wand. Chests. Crates. More prince mushrooms. So they're like worth 90. All right, we were we woke up facing this one. Let's uh, let's go here. Somewhere there should be a trap. There it is. Sangui blobby. Hey, barbed bronze bolts. Nice. Uh, there's our level up. Drinking from the fire hose. Another VHF reference. Uh, pretty good. All right. Uh, I'm very. <laughs> I got lots. Of, lots of options here now now that we've done all the axe stuff um so much possibly good uh crossbow blast uh just getting beyond that a little ways to where our our uh, bow skills go up quite a bit would be good um but it's kind of a luxury at this point um uh the duel right that's just uh more uh counter chance with the the uh two-handed um and we get an automatic background skill like the blackjack uh um that would boost us right um in addition to just having that flat uh three boost to the uh uh, uh counter chance so that's a, getting the dual weapons is pretty good at this point 
Um, highly aware. Uh, this gives us uh, uh, five more dodge. Uh, one trap sight, which is helpful, and one more visibility. That's our perception, obviously, right? But that unlocks another one that would then give us two trap scents pretty quick. Uh, so that helps a little bit on the combat and just the visibility all, all around and in general. I already talked about how this one is... Oh, this one, really, is another awesome thing where we can uh, have six attacks with more toxic or acid or something on the blade. Uh, I guess it's venomous, so poison. <laughs> toxic. Um, and then Tinker or Mechaniker, as we move forward, um, this gives us some savvy. Um, uh, it's, it's the magical uh, haywire, but it also gives us sneaky, uh, which is helpful. And we also get uh, some trap affinity, uh, some trap site radius, and another tinkering level, um, which would you know let us further upgrade that steel crossbow, that kind of stuff in the background. Um, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, they're all all so fun and good. Um. I kind of think we we neglect traps and all that at our peril. So let's go here. Uh, the tinkering bit is not all that, but we do get uh, trap site radius on this one as well. Some of these other ones, we get less of that or, or not at all here. Um, so uh, this will do, do both of those, give us the tinkering and give us that, that boost to the sneakiness. Um, in addition to Haywire, which um, we see Haywire pop, but I don't, I don't know if it's just magical stuff or what. Anyway, let's take it. Okay, skills. There we go, crafty. Hi. Why did you go so far away, buddy? Dwarven Express Post. Ooh, we'll look forward to that in a second here. Um, while we wait for him to catch up. Hi! Uh, 150, so level 3, right? We get more more per. Uh, but 150 does relatively little out of our now 3,600 XP needed for a level. Uh, we got another monolith staring uh, coldly at us. All right, Dwarven Express Post. Before we do anything else, let's uh, let's do this. Our health looks good. Oh, uh, crude iron mace. Three chests. Chests of evil. We've had these before. Um, sometimes monsters, sometimes loot. The bony axe. Finally. There we go. Oh, it's... It's got stupid magic stuff on it, but finally, and I think here we're going to go uh, switching up this way. Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, this this should be just, we shouldn't get any worse off, right, uh, by having a single axe. And that one's way better, and this one maintains our toxic, and toxic 11. Oh. If for anything that's not already dead. All right, here's a monster. Uh, this is the Cowardly Torso's un Unsee. It looks like a uh, crab, maybe? A veteran of many wars, this crusta Crustacinoid is battle-hardened and wily. The monster is trying to kill you. It's got 107 health. Let's see what we hit it with. Um... Blew the uh, chest of evil back, so me. I don't know if that has a like. That's only one to hit. Um, Twenty-one slashing, eleven toxic, five one and one. Uh, yeah, thirty some, almost forty damage uh, to his. Uh, eh? 
42. Some of that may have been on the counter. He's hitting me, though. Sheesh. So they're no jokes. Uh, these monsters that come out are solid, but... Uh, 32. Crit it. Uh, so he did He did significant, and I don't have that much health. I only had half the health he did. Um, there's that. Let's... Uh, Let's have a snack. Uh, this should be just about right. And I would like to kind of do this quickly so we can do this last chest. Maybe we get another axe finally, right? Just saying. All right. We are all, all healed back up. Uh, that was very handy. And... Well, it's uh, a nice sword. Uh, five, six, two, and two. It doesn't have any negative-y stuff. It may when we put it in. Uh, we'll lose a little bit of toxic, but we get get all this toxic. Uh, and it's a five. This one is a two. We'll lose the one might... Um, uh, but unless, unless that just comes along with being the wrong weapon, no, no negatives there. Um, so until we can get an axe, we'll just keep upgrading the, uh, the types of damage and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, cruising again, right? Uh, we may need to... <laughs> Um, crap. All right, go, go, go. All right, uh, magic effect. Mash. Why can I not, uh, did I pick something up? What am I? Oh, I guess I just didn't think I was hitting... My spell does no damage. <laughs> I guess I was catching up from something. Here, let's get this out of the way. 100 monsters left in the zoo. Um, and at least I got out of here uh, without taking it. Look at all this. Uh, so I hit hard here. Uh, we will just uh, chill here for a bit until... All right, uh, I see no reason not to. We can get a couple of these. Oh, I didn't see him. Shoot. <sighs> All right. Come on back. Oh, you jerk. Uh, here. Have a sop. What? Kid me? I'm really glad we got that uh uh that axe right before all this. We would be in a real mess. So we got got a long way to go. Um I think I don't that initial horde is clear. How many others will this? Um, this is why we why we pay for them, I guess. Let's uh. Now octos have a little remote. Let's hold off on pulling him in if I can for a second. Get a softball back. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, all right. That's fine. Ooh, he did get me a little. Uh, did I 
Yeah, there we go. I was like, I think I've got some stuff up here. We're just going to wander for a second here. Heal back up. Uh, we got 87 left. And we got this other corner. I mean, I... <laughs> Being able to retreat is is certainly a good thing, but I think uh, I think we're stupid if we don't do that. Then we do this, and then we do this, and oh, don't you, don't you be a remote little doof. Shop. Um, it's only really the remote ones or the ranged ones that I. <laughs> you hit a crit. They all know about it. Uh, the unfriendly AI. So some of these. Like the robot -y type ones, I'm I'm a little bit more in trouble on because uh, and I think I don't think that'll be a waste. I think I'm gonna get hit a few more times. Um, well, that doesn't do much to them at all, does it? So I'm gonna leave him there. Uh, one or the other of them is going to hit me, and at least that keeps more things from coming in. Little strats, all right? Uh, so our food it should still be giving us a heart back every turn. And hopefully we can uh, catch back up a little bit here as they go. I'm just going to space them. I'm not going to walk. <laughs> just uh, let them come to me. And these AIs. Oh, dude, I don't want to miss you. Whew. How's my food doing? Eight more turns? Let's take a peek. Oh, what is that? I think that is this 2820. So that's... It's not too terrible. The genies are a little bit troublesome because they have a range of some kind. Um, let's just chill for a second. Um, look at that. Our health is almost fully back. Ooh, here we go. See if we can draw a crowd before I really. Make use of. My specials again. Can we get. <laughs> I think that guy. That guy's not coming. So he's slowing everybody else down. Why don't you guys. Um, and also, for now, this seems fun. Let's give this a try. <laughs> Critical hits. Very nice. Very nice. How come none of the rest of them... ...took any damage? It seemed like it moved them, but... Critical 
hits. Nice. Come on in. Uh, 61. Health's not too bad. We'll try to clear this batch and then maybe eat again. Uh, haven't in a while. Critical hits. Just kind of getting a rhythm, swinging that axe, right? It's like chopping firewood. Who's next? Hand it just in time. Do it again. <sighs> One short. Maybe we... Come on, line up. There we go. That blob. Oh, uh, what are you? 82? Zang Kulnag, the insignificant penguins. No penguins are insignificant. Uh, I'm wondering, what, Uh, best bolt, right? Uh, nope. Here. Well, that worked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... Easy peasy. Just a uh, double crit, or a double uh, special combo attack thing. And we're good to go. Now... I have a feeling that's going to draw a crowd. <laughs> Leave him. Keep that guy pinned. Awesome. We've earned a steak break. Speaking of breaks, I should take one at some point here. Although, honestly, uh, we're just cruising. Um, uh, this is why we have hundreds of these, literally. Critical hits. Pepper the targets. <laughs> I think I'll hit him. Because he will do his little little sort of ranged thing. Uh, that seemed to work at least. So let's uh, pull another batch. And once I've got some damage. I'll try to hit hit other stuff at range. Don't like you head octo thingies. Guess we uh, 
He haywired them, so that's good. It's good to be rid of. I think there's one more at least down there. We've got 31 left in the room. Uh, we're still doing pretty darn well on health. Just bring everybody. Seems like a good time for the old combo. Critical hits. I got a nice ring here. Five extra hearts, but yeah. Oh, oh, uh, Denomba, the destroyer of pork. I've been called, <laughs> I'm gonna call it a destroyer of pork sometimes. Get a good old pork, uh, pork shoulder butt. Mm. Uh, sneaks through the dungeons, being all it can be. This monster is trying to kill you. All right, well, uh, I think I might counter that one. Uh, let's hit you. Critical hits. Oh, not, oh, I can do this one, though, while we wait. Critical hits. We'll get a chop in on you. It's not that low. Critical hit. Your life force is running out. Uh-oh. Run away! <laughs> Uh, omelet, diggle, <clears throat> if anything hits me ranged, I'm, uh, ooh, I'm in trouble, uh, I'm a little terrified of you, sir. So let's get you with a a bolt. I guess that got got a distance. I'm getting getting health back. Here you come again. Let's hit you again. Oh, that only hit him for one, but uh, keeping him off me until I can get some critical hits health back. Seventeen. All right, we'll just hit him once more, and then chop. <sighs> All right, uh, let's let our 18 more food do its thing. 23 monsters left. That got that got dangerous. Something I don't know if it was that uh, uh, that invisible diggle or what. Something was chewing on my face though. Not cool. Stuck on the lever there. Oh, we do have a bolt here. I don't know where that got to. All right. Uh, <laughs> seemed to be geared back up again. Is he coming? No. Which? Couple more shots here. Can I hit you? Chop you. Oh, there's a little uh, little spot there. Uh, he intercepted it. Um, I don't know if I can hit that one enough. Maybe we can pull these guys. Just clear him. Uh, let's go right in the middle. Let's see what this does. Critical hit. Oh, oh, back. Seventeen. We're getting there. Very much. 
critical hits. C -c -c critical hits. Um. C -c -c critical hits. Choppy chop. Health is good. Actually, see some of the room now. Hide it. Oh no! Ranged, ranged is not our friend. Uh, well, I guess it is for us, but. All right, now you are all in very big trouble. Let's start with our wooden bolts. And critical hits. You can critical hits. Okay, nothing else down there. That's good. Uh, anybody? Weakened? Oh, we still have a uh, pumpkin, too. Uh, well, I guess he's up one more of these. But at least for the moment, the, the bolts aren't doing... Watch this. So uh, we get more knockback. Maybe the damage is comparable, but uh, a lot of times it's doing... It's the pumpkin I, I'm kind of worried about. <laughs> it would be nice to just get in the middle here and and go to town on all these guys. Um, uh, but again, it's it's my health that's uh, pretty low. <laughs> that do all that lag there. Are you... Go away. All right, we still got five of these dudes. That's all there is. Oh. oh, you know what I can do? I can come down here. Let's use this corner. I don't know if they will actually chase me? I don't think so. Uh, 12, not 29. How oh, about a 12? Is there a tofu? So I guess, I guess we just have to softball these dudes until they're... Oh, I didn't even see that you were here. <sighs> Hopefully this corner kind of shields me a little bit. Um... Uh, we can now do special. Critical hits. And how much health do you have left? A softball is worth me. Oh, oh, I don't want to do that. Right click. Cleared. 
uh, <laughs> the XP jump there, and uh, we got like I don't know another orb or something. Trash. Yeah, hopefully worth a ton. Uh, let's get a gold ring. The five hearts. I, I don't think that helps more than our resistances. Thick leather work gloves. Uh, a rough iron axe. That was the one I pulled off to take the the bony in the sword. <sighs> All right. Um. Gather up any missed loot. And again, uh, here we go. At beginning of the the floor, we get the zoo out of the way. Um, I think like once I've ever seen multiple zoos. Um, and there is a. Uh... Oh, missed you. Um, there is a monster trap where you pull a lever and get like a mini zoo worth of monsters. Uh, so those are all all good things. But here we are back at uh, our starting point. That's all we've explored in this map so far. A uh, couple hundred out of that. Crafty stuff. Tinkery stuff, should I say. We got some machinery. I don't know if there's anything we've yet seen that that could have been related to. Chop. These are the two fountains and the uh, uh, Healy bit. So Diacle one. Pull the lever. Oh, I, I already pulled the lever. Sorry. Drink. Oh, sick again, and water cold. All right, um, robe. There's our lever. Uh, so those will actually heal us up. The last time we left them on the floor, um, like had I had I wanted to flee out of the zoo and known those were there, I could have uh, used them for a little heal up. Plastic. Ooh, more genies. Oh! Dude, a little sunburn, huh? Sorry about that, man. Uh, let's try one of these guys. Oh, you jerk. Ooh, look at this. Uh, heater shield. It's just a regular shield. I don't know what they call it that. <laughs> All right. Ooh, uh, what is this crossbow? A wood crossbow. Um, dude, want to come out of here? You're just going to hide where I can't get you. I guess I knocked him back. Oil of vitriol. Come on. Your inventory oh, is full. Of course it is. Uh, any quick dump. Booze. Yeah, we got a Grog. Actually, the grog is worth a lot. I always forget. Um, you know, let's just uh, let's just make a trip. Wand, good mushroom, other mushroom traps, shield, robe, thick work gloves. We already got some. Whatever that was. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna go back to just that it's uh, it's not like we've actually sold it this is certainly no better than what we've got 
those that another robe and two rings uh, that hopefully will be valuable but we didn't really want all right then drop off all this stuff pop 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 Diamond. I don't know why I didn't feel the need to drop those off. Uh, do I want to do the crossbow? If I do, I think I want to know... I want to watch my XP count. Oh, right. Uh, so, we are at 3413. We'll need... Is that steel? Steel. And we'll need... Nope. Nope. Uh-oh. Was that the only one of those little thingies I had? Oh, maybe I can't do it then. Um, yeah, I don't have mechanisms. Um, simple steel crossbow. Uh, still not quite where we're at. Uh, especially with the extra resistances, but it's getting there, right? And it's got more stars. And then if we can go up to the lever crossbow, uh, then we're suddenly looking even better than what we currently have, right? And that, of course, is the advantage. Um, but I can't do it because uh, we don't have brass mechanisms. Can I craft a brass mechanism? Mechanism. I can with brass ingots. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. That. Okay. Our brass mechanism. Uh, we don't want piping. We want mechanism. We already got piping. Craft that. Now. Uh, did that change anything? No. So it looks like no no XP bonus, but wait, did this Oh that's iron. Oh we don't want iron. We want steel. Simple steel crossbow. Here we go. So now we have steel, we have brass, uh, we have the base crossbow. Uh crafted up thirty four thirteen still. Yeah, that's too bad. But, uh, hey, we're moving up. And uh, depending on whether or not we get, uh, get another boost, we'll have a better crossbow the next time our tinkering goes up. Very nice. Out of the way, now i got to put all this junk back. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, and then all of these guys. Bop, 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 bop. And we leave that, and we got some barbed bronze bolts, which I guess let's do a bolt review. I guess uh, it's either the poison ampules uh, or, uh, oh, barbed bronze. We got 20 of them. <clears throat> They're pretty good. Uh, so let's do this. That's going to get sold. Four. Two and four and two and two. Actually, those are pretty low, too. Uh, here, we'll use poison. Or at least have a poison option. Sound good? Thought you'd love it. Oh, and a wand. So now we need to top off food stuff. But first... Drop the gear, drop the saleables, and um, down to four stakes. For sure. This. Those. We got 17. Um, see how this goes. Uh, and again, not uh, not 
super duper exciting, but uh, this is what gets us through the zoos. And done. now here and cheesy omelets. 17 of them. Not too bad. Uh, we'll keep that uh, that in-between cheese. So clear out that for now. And then back here, eggs. Grated cheese. I'm going to take you as another 10 item food. And then um, two grilled cheeses at 40 health. So they move everything else in the row down a peg. And there we go. Couple couple lows, um, some strong mediums, and our current high on food is 40 with a grilled cheese. So hopefully we'll get more of these ingredients as we go. And uh, we do have these intermediate uh, cheeses that can kind of fill in the gap if we run low on those. Hopefully we'll find more meat though and be able to grill it up. I've got one here. I just haven't seen a grill. Whew. All right. Loadout completed. And we had had neglected that when we started this level. So with the monster zoo and everything, it's kind of overdue. Uh, I don't know. I guess I can't do anything with those. Ooh. A uh, crude iron axe. Was that better than our rough iron axe? I wonder. Either way. Uh, not as good as what we got. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't see anything anything here um, we would really care about. If we saw some of those uh, brass things uh, or brass ingots, we might might consider it now to uh, be ready to do more crossbow work. But Ooh, here we go. Another uh, magic level. <laughs> Dimension, whatever. Uh, let us get ready. I'm going to mark all that we've done these two, because if you re-enter them, trouble. And... Oh. Uh, Pawnusjal. Cough, luff, juff. Pawnusjal. I almost forgot that S. Nusjal. Call... Jaff. Pause, noose, jaw, call, jaff. All right, I got it. So now, now that we just got done in the uh, dimension, we got it. Uh, mysterious portal. Yeah, mysterious. Uh, let's not, not be hasty. Oh, it's a mason on Max. Sometimes it's a little tough to tell just from their appearance. Uh, let's go back here. Hey, Brax! Oh, oh, oh. Still no axes. Um, 55, a little out of our price range. That is another mace. That's a mace, and that's a sword, or a dagger, even. Um... Yeah, the, we saw the four gem deal the other day. That that would certainly uh, be a, a strong makeup for the two, uh, but well beyond our price range. But now, uh, at least for the moment, um, we can sell all that. This can go in here. We'll keep the keep the bolts. Uh, having a having a Brax located is hugely good, uh, but we just did inventory, so I don't really feel like unloading all that stuff. Uh, we'll see if we, you know, <laughs> probably end up doing the whole map, and then uh, I think I just opened that right down here. Let's go peek. Oh, get in, get 
in my lead boots. Got a few of those. Uh, so just, oh, little side portals. Uh, not much of a whoosh there. Sorry if anybody missed where we whooshed to. Wasn't too far away. Uh, lots of goodies in the crafting rooms. Chop. Chop. Because I can. Chop. Oh, they kind of messed me up a little bit. Hey, there's our level up. The Blue Thunder of Fernican High. I, I don't know what this one is. I always assume that that's like some kind of an anime. <laughs> I don't know why, but that always uh, always seems like anime stuff to me. Uh, let me know. If you guys know the reference, throw it in the comment. If you're watching the VOD, if anybody in the chat knows, speak up now. Uh, but let's get that skill. Uh... Oh, we already are at the bottom. So, um, we could do this again. We're going to get even more trappy, and this will up our crossbow uh, flat out. I never do this. <laughs> this is totally, uh, totally the wrong way to be doing these kind of things, I think. But, um, oh. We'll see. Uh, we shouldn't have to worry about traps for a while now. And uh, can start going assassin, dual wielding, uh, and maybe actually get better at using the crossbow. Um, but uh, I did that kind of spontaneously for a reason. Here, let's uh, fight this dude. Uh, nothing else up here. We'll grab this. Um, before we go... Oh, more goodies. Uh, before we do this, let's go now back down, because now I have a reason to go back, right? Now we are going to whoosh, or interdimensionally whoosh. Uh, let's go drop off all this crafty stuff, like gems. Turquoise, uh, we got an ori thing, coal, and we got a powder and a pressure plate. So lots of good crafty stuff. This stuff will all get sold, uh, but now steel. Uh, I guess we got to go back through the deal. So I might have to make the bronze and all that. All right, R was crafting, right? Uh, back to Tinkerer. Uh, we don't have the one thing, so let's make... Oh, crap. Well, it's one of these, right? A brass mechanism? Here. No, that is a mechanism. Here's a brass mechanism, right? So we're going to make one more of those. Craft. Oh, now two? Did I already have one? Dang it. I just eat, well, I, I guess we're going to use brass for that anyway, right? And now... Steel lever crawl. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? We're out of steel now? Can I make steel? Uh, ingot press, right? That would make sense. Tin. Zinc. Silver. Aluminum. Dude, come on. Platinum. Iron. Tin. Oh, dude. <sighs> oh, we might have these. Uh, coal, I know we have in chalk. I, I know we picked some up. So, get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, is that chalk? Chalk. And then, why? <laughs> what? Gold, malachite, zinc blend, coal. All right. Craft. Steel. 
Um, let's go ahead and make another one. I don't, I don't know if it'll bite us in the end, but, oh, I already made two. I didn't know I would get, uh, two out of this, but that's good. All right. So two is fine for now. And then we got these. So maybe I made two of those too. I wasn't, wasn't completely making things up as I went. So now here, uh, I don't know, I don't know which way is faster to get to this thing. Right, not this way. Oh, that's the cranky. Um, do I need two simples to do this, I guess? Oh, yeah, because that's a double plus. That's eight and three. That's crit chances. Ooh. Eight and three. It's four stars. Now, what was this other steel guy? Eight and two, uh, but way more stars. Uh, I think this one is going to need... Like, I think if we try to craft this, uh, we're going to be out. So we're going to need probably... <laughs> cause we're going to have to build and then upgrade another crossbow. I've never done never done this much of any of this crafting stuff. So we need another simple steel crossbow. But to get that, we need a crude steel crossbow. So we got to make one of these first. Boom. Then we can still make this. Boom. Now we can make... We have the two pieces, but I think we need another brass mechanism. Or bronze or whatever it is. A brass mechanism. So now we got to go back to making those, and that's up here, right? And I don't remember if we still have ingots or not. Might have to get more. Yeah, I need more more brass ingots. So back to the press. This really slows stuff down. Gold. Bronze. Not bronze. We want brass. Right? Zinc and copper. Brass. Man, I hope... Okay, so that gives us two. Back to here. And then we need a brass mechanism. There. Get two. So we are multiplying as we go. And now... Wind up double plus crossbow. Wherever it may be. Eight, three, uh, four stars. This spring steel double bowed crossbow comes in handy when you need to double your armor piercing punch. Comes with handy crossbow crank for liquid smooth reloading. Yes, please. Boom. Uh, bop. Oh. So uh, this one had actually already been blessed um, to get it to where it was. So flat up upgrade. No uh, special boosts or bonuses or anything like that. Um, bop, 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 bop. And that's why... <laughs> I'm kind of glad. That's why I always hold on to all this junk and I never use it. Uh, this time we got to use it. And here... Bop, 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 bop. Uh, I'm going to sell the mushrooms, sell the boots... And I think we want to take all that back with us, right? So these are all saleable things because we're standing right at the deal. Let's put these bolts away while we're here and then uh, load up what is hopefully not an inventory's worth. Nice. Back to Brax. Uh, what were we? <laughs> Let's call it 2300. See how we... How we do from there? Wood crossbow. Sixteen hundred out of that thing. Nice. Uh, the wand, a thousand. Fourteen hundred out of our, our crossbow that did us well, but it, obviously it was kind of negligible off the softball. So uh, there we go. 
And just like that, we're up over 30 grand. Yeah. Awesome. Sorry. Text coming in. All right. How are we doing? Man, I can't believe this day has flown by. I can't believe I started at 8, and here we are. For those of you who don't know, it's just about 1.30 p.m. Uh, going going str through strong uh, mini marathon, as we described. Dungeons of Dreadmore. So much fun. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. It is a blast of a game. <laughs> I don't think anybody's promoting it more. I don't even know if the people that uh, that uh, have it through Steam are still uh, <sighs> still getting anything for it at this point. Who knows? Um, but it is it is good fun, and uh, yeah, I think we're we're good to go. Let's. Uh... Ooh, well, hello, little friends. Look at, did I get blasting damage or something on my, I just like sent them to the, the corners of the map. I mean, I guess they are like level one little guys. <laughs> I don't even get to swing most of the time. They just, uh. Hit me and get killed on the, the bounce back. All right. Well, uh, we got a corner established. Oh, good dive down. It, it, you know, if you wanted to skip through, you could. But uh, there's always... We're still hunting, really, for an axe. Right? We need another good axe. Uh, we still have this portal that, if you all will remind me when we get through... Um, I'll take more. Some bolts. Another one of those sickle side things. Great. Is there a difference between a sickle and a scythe? I guess maybe the one-handed versus the two. Like the the scythe has the long handle with the little like offhand sticky prong thing. Um, full swing. Sickle the one-handed. Anybody want to call me on that? Tell me I don't know what I'm talking about because you might be right. Uh, hi. More bolts. This is fantastic. It's like going to Costco. Uh, all right, replacing our stuff. Uh, not a good return there. Um, tin. So I don't see anything. Um, Do I I don't have the junior smithing kit yet, do I? I should pr even though I'm not a, a smith, right? I should probably snag this as well. Uh just cuz we haven't seen one yet. It will complete our collection. A little expensive, but um that fills our our bottom row with all of the the items that we stack and uh will now if there are things that we can smith uh, there, I guess there's still an orb, too. Uh, it's like the N-dimensional lathe or something. Uh, where's the smithing guy? Is there anything... <laughs> Did I just totally waste my time here? So most of these want smithing levels, but maybe we can... Uh, find some that are at, like, a zero. Or maybe a crossover tinker on it. Uh... The <laughs> We can make a plastic ring, which does nothing. There we go. Ooh, look at some of those rings, though. And like I said, I, I usually do the the mechaniker because of the traps, right? Because it can it can help us pick all those off the ground. And uh, I don't like the traps. Uh, but if you were tanky enough, you could just ignore the traps, right? Kind of run through them. 
ones. Yes, yeah, so like that steel plate or whatever it is that we need for that one super tinker armor stuff. Uh, it's going to be dependent on buying or picking that up. <laughs> we can make a shiv. All right, so I think clearly that was not my best choice of money spent. But uh, we got it. So it's taken care of. No regrets ever forward. Uh, it's a little frightening that we're... Ooh, uh, I guess that's just a ch That is an uber chest. Oh, yeah. The heirloom poodle. 563. I don't think that gives us more... Ooh, look at you taking two shots, tough guy. All right, get rid of this. Oh, these are booze. There's some brimstone. Don't mind me. I'll just uh, just come around here. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Did you not think that was going to happen? I need to revoke his monster card. Going to be a monster. Ready to go. Let's come back up here. This makes sense. That's all cleared already, so... I'll get the trap. Yeah. Use it or lose it. They really don't seem to care, though. <laughs> I think I already got the... Uh, yeah, 65th cohort. So we've trapped, uh, trapped a whole regiment or cohort of monsters here. Uh, this looks like another another prime opportunity. And again, it you know, kind of feels like a little bit of a waste, right? We we did all that, uh, but we didn't have like a quest reward for it. <laughs> of course, there we go. Um, Right after I pay for something I don't need, we get another. Uh, but now we can just start selling. Slowly recoup that uh, that poor investment. Uh, there's got to be a trap somewhere. Why did I already grab it? <laughs> oh, says Kraline miss. What happened there? Oh, uh, shield? A bronze aspis. This is the sort of shield used by heroes of yore. Fortunately, you've never met anyone from yore. Uh, uh huh. Hi. Here I go. Alright, I'll hit you then. Man, why don't you just make it, uh, boiling? Uh, so I think this one is actually good. We get resistances, not uh, not negative. Fire damage, uh, fire resistance. So pretty cool there. Shoe armor. Ooh, that, that could certainly help us out. Let's uh, check this chest. Let's get this bread. That's another grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. Um, yeah, one and one and four, and where are these, <laughs> um, only the most immortally, immorally opulent footwear for you. It's studded with shoddy solder. Um, so two different kinds of resistance, slashing and existential gives us four nimble and one absorption. Uh, very, very nice. Great little upgrade there. Um, 
Yes, please. Oh, that's an old friend that I don't think we've seen in either of our little uh, recaps yet. This guy is thrusty. These are thrusties. They love to thrust. In thrust, they trust, and trust, they must. It's a peaceful and not attacking you at the moment. Well, uh, too bad for it. Uh, we're here on a mission to take out all the monster trash. Uh, there's some piping, which we may use for a, a later tinkering, I guess. Hi, Bobby. Squeakly Bobby or something. Uh, 12 Zork Meds, I don't think I can reach. Uh, so here again, um, smithing, probably not going to work for us. Uh, I just hid something away. That one I didn't even get to see. I didn't do that. Uh, Tinker, they go so fast. Tinker. It's got to be down towards the end, right? Wouldn't it just dump all these special recipes at the end? So that was like some kind of a glowing blue crazy sword. What? I am in the... I don't understand. That showed the Tinker's workbench thing. It was a blue crazy sword of some kind. Oh, maybe it's an encrust. Eh, I totally forgot. <sighs> Seeming, I don't, I don't know. What are we doing here? Oh, so these can the any of these go on any? any deal. An experimental cooling system. The aftermarket cooling system is effective on crossbows that suffer from overheating. Warning, this modification is not bolt console approved. This such may void your warranty slash life. So, we can add this to a crossbow. I guess. Uh, <laughs> that's what we... Maybe this is what we just found. A steam drive uh, but we don't really care about swords. I mean, I guess we can make it and put it on there. Um, and we might have some of these things back. Oh, yeah, just when we thought it was safe to uh, uh, get out. Look at all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. Armor. Uh, like basically enchantments, right? A <laughs> phrenological massager. Careful position micro pistons reconfigure your skull into optimal <laughs> configuration. Ow! Uh, that sounds painful, but look at all these pink plasticky things that we can now use. A mounted flashlight, uh, extra perception, and whatever that starry looking thing is, it looks like, uh, maybe some damage? I don't know. Wow. All right, well, we're not going <laughs> to, let's not, let's not get out of that, uh, or into that too much right at the moment. We got a trap down here. <laughs> the computer is just a mysterious class square. We did get that gold, though, because I needed those 12 gold pieces badly. All right, we had some doorways up to the north-ish, if we're going standard map. Oh, hey, side quest. What do you got? Give it to me. Uh, monster defeat and uh, must be used on the monolith. We have found the monolith. That was right back where we started. So now we got to do is run into a monster, kill it, and uh, take the thingy to the thingy. All right. We got uh, almost at a doorway here. So much acid. Some rocks. Uh, now that we 
we've got one. So, yeah, <laughs> all the computers, we don't know anything about that. We're not computer guy. We are hardy adventurer guy. All right, that's all good. Uh, let's get this uh, this remaining room in the middle. I don't think we've been down here. We should keep an eye out for traps because we went the first way. All right, all good. We got a warp here. Uh, flashy light. Why am I... We maybe lose a perception. Ooh, look at you. All right, we'll just... Uh, probably going to take a couple shots, but that's all right. Got you. Uh, more Ludifisk for the Ludifisk God. Who here's eating Ludifisk? Uh, raise your hands. Who? Oh, what happened to my... Uh, why did that hide? Oh, maybe that was the escape. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I didn't mean to drop all of you. Now where'd it go? It's getting there. 52. Uh, any other fruit or other generally trashy? This is pretty garbage. Um, Pinot Noir. Very fancy. Fru-fru. Uh, this is a small crossbow. I think that may be worth like 30, but uh, it'll limp us along for a bit. Everything else I think I either want to sell or keep or whatever, just not think about for a minute. Uh, so, while well, we can... Oh, come on, be monsters. There we go. Uh, nobody has alerted just yet, but I want to get towards the genie. Just back to you. Again, the, my counter attacks are taking care of most of that. Uh, so, yeah, again, I don't know why those didn't generate in the first level when we ran into those kinds of floors. Uh, Mage's Circle Trap. Um, previously, that would have been trouble, right, at the end of two, but we've gotten a couple of Mechanic or Tinker or whatever levels, so... Oh, hey, more Brax. Well timed, sir. Uh, we got some uh, interesting stuff. Still not axes, uh, but let's uh, first, before we do anything, uh, make some space, sell the stuff we don't need. Swords, maces, wands, traps, potion-y stuff, drinks, boots, shields. Studded shiny gloves, mage traps. All right, bolts are going back. Oh, we don't need this. Uh, food and tinkery stuff, All right? It's good to have anything snuck into my toolbar. And then what we got? The Toque of Canada, six cold resistance. I think we're better off. Our Thiep would, uh, it doesn't have that much, but it does have absorption and crushing, which is going to be more common than the icy stuff. And we also have parachute pants. Ten dodge, right? <laughs> because it's simply impossible to touch these. <laughs> nice. Can't touch this. You guys are there. Hammer pants. Oh, they, were they hammer, not parachute? Oh, they are parachute. It's more, those are more hammer pants, technically. Let's face it. Uh, and that would be the, can't touch this. Uh, cool. All right. Well, let's uh, let's whoosh. Uh, we'll do the quick trade out. More eggs, bread, grated cheese. I'm just gonna. At this point, I think I'm just gonna dump the cheese. On top, I will keep carrying around the bread because grills, uh, you aren't guaranteed to get them on levels, so if you do, you want to have all your, all your meat ready. Gem and brimstone. All right, now, oh, I don't even have a, a sail pile. Wow, okay. Uh, actually, though, 
Oh, we don't need these anymore. We don't need to worry about that. Um, our gloves are pretty darn awesome. Although these are also name gloves. I don't think... Yeah, that that did get uh, improved by Krong, right? It's got a 4 instead of a 3 on the uh, enemy dodge reduction, <laughs> getting us up to 40. So I think we can sell that. Uh, we're not going to double enchant a uh, another top. We'll find something better. But I don't think it, with these, uh, I don't think we need to hold on to those. Although I guess there's no harm in, in sitting on them. We'll sell these two, though. Uh, that will keep us moving forward on the monies. Here go. 36.50. Or 36.5. Uh, map, where are we? We're right in the middle of this little cluster. Let's go down here. I, oh, I do see the monster. Uh, should we take this little side trip? I wish there was a portal. Uh, but we know where he is. Uh, let's go... Let's go do that. Because uh, it's by the monolith. Hopefully then... Oh! Oh, where'd I go? Where am I? Uh, further away than where I want to be. Uh, we'll just have to come back and do all this... Uh, uh, am I stuck? I gotta go around here? What? <laughs> and why? Why? Why is everything all crazy like this? Amino like. No likey. Alright. Uh, turn the corner. We don't need the health boost yet. Maybe after this monster we will. Alright, back to where we started. Through the zoo. Uh, Pingua, the eater of eight ales. <laughs> I thought it said Easter. As the name implies, they travel in swarms. What? Uh, I guess, uh, we don't know what its actual name is. Um, Brutal Adventure Destroying Swarm. Adventure Destroying Swarm. Uh, has not noticed us yet. Let's see if we can just sneak up and hit him good. Well, take that then. He did. It, it was beefy, man. <laughs> wow. Uh, 29. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, and then we get this thing. Uh, while we're recovering, we'll be walking back up to our monolith here. Where we will put the crop or the charred lobster, charnel lobster on the monolith and in exchange we get Twizyar, the Exaltation of Marriages which is five hearts, uh, resistance to slashing and resistance to sun. I could use that on the beach. Um, I mean, I guess the fire is nice uh, but we, our rings are really kind of lacking and this is for armor too so yeah, we'll, we'll switch out the fire res for these others and we can actually find out what the sun is righteous protects you from uh being smoked by divine powers it will not however protect you from being eaten by bears as we fill the children who mocked the prophet elijah wow <laughs> strong words uh we do get a little more slashing resistance too uh hey welcome I israel's cool happy halloween i i i agree i, I haven't ever been um but shout out to you. Uh, I may I ask, are you are you from Israel? Um, I'd I'd love to go. One of my very good friends. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm going off your name, dude. <laughs> but welcome. Uh, hope you're doing good. And uh, and, uh, yeah, welcome. We're playing some uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore. I don't know if you know this game or not. Uh, seeing you as a first-time chat, maybe maybe you're randomly browsing the directory, or you caught a tweet, or you just browsed your way through. Uh, either way, 
Welcome. Uh, this is a roguelike dungeon crawler. We're on level three. Uh, just kind of doing a Halloween, uh, Halloween long stream today, and uh, having a blast. Uh, I absolutely enjoy the heck out of this game. It's simple. Uh, it's fun. Not too, not too deep. Not too much thought. We typically do a whole lot of. So here we just boosted up all our health, picking up those little jummy things. Uh, I'm going to get this corner up here of the map, since we haven't. Um, and they're going to they're gonna take damage. Let's do our awesome special attack. Boom! <laughs> so that pretty much took care of them. And I think I'm standing on the outside of that. I really hope I am. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. We'll go around it, just to be safe. Uh, you got a jacket. So I'm guessing this is another one of those regimenty type deals. And while these guys are fleeing, this guy may not be. Uh, so let's just deal with that right out of the deal. Uh, another special. Critical hits. Hit those two. And you even come to me? Awesome, thanks, dude. I thought y your better move was trying to run away, uh, although it's inevitable. Uh, your friend told me about. Oh, awesome! That's so cool. His name is Slime or Smile or something. Um, Slime Sandwich, I believe. Uh, Slime Sandwich is awesome. He's been a big friend of the channel, going way back. Uh, and yeah, he dropped in earlier today. So thanks so much uh, for spreading the word. Uh, really cool. Uh, here's a recipe for a historically inaccurate Viking helm. Uh, this making fun, of course, of the fact that uh, everybody says the Viking helmets have the two horns. Didn't uh, didn't back in the day. Uh, just a fabrication. Uh, but good to know in your historically accurate Halloween costumes. If I was going to go as a Viking for Halloween, I think I would go with the double horns. Just because. Uh, Aqua Regia. Nice. Well, I'm so glad to have you. Welcome, man. Uh, this is this is an exception. This is just a uh, kind of a Halloween special. We may go back and do a deeper play. Um, but I just wanted to do something different. We're actually in the middle of Stardew Valley. Uh, which is an awesome little game, if you don't know that one. And we do we do play a lot of hardcore Minecraft, too. So uh, lots of good stuff on this channel. Hope you'll, uh, hope you'll uh, be a friend. Oh, you love Stardew Valley. Well, then, hey, you are in the right place. So uh, in Stardew Valley, the, the little saloon and the arcade games... Uh, I'm actually working on the challenge right now to get 50,000 points in Junimo Kart, which is nasty. Um, and <laughs> get, oh, dude. All right. Um, sorry. Got to eat. Yeah, we'll just eat a big old, uh, big old omelet. All right, come here. Gotcha. Um, so I played, uh, earlier in the week, I played like two days of non-stop Junimo Kart, like three hours plus each day, and yesterday I was just like, nope, no way, I gotta do a, a, a something different, um, so I did, uh, a little bit of Minecraft, lost a, a hardcore world that just been playing in offline, that was kind of entertaining and fun, and... Uh, then I started just messing around with this. I had a couple hours left while I was streaming and uh, decided that for Halloween, Junimos were a little bit too cute. We needed to go fight fight other cartoony monsters. So uh, we came here to the dungeons to hack and slash our way through in true Halloween fashion. So yeah, that's what we got going. Oh, I, did, I barely even noticed this grill. Let's uh, cook our steaks. Whoosh. Get a couple more of those back up to six. Uh, so you really hit our food supplies. Um, nice. Congratulations. Yeah, we're pretty late in our stream. Uh, I, I'm in year five in this world. 
Um, so uh, we're kind of wrapping up perfectiony stuff. That's why I'm playing a ton of Junimo Kart. But I'm so happy to hear that you know Stardew and that you like the game. Most everybody I've ever talked to, even if they don't still replay it a lot, loved their experience with it. And it sounds like you're, you know, either either early on or uh, as far as like a first playthrough or whatever. I mean, getting through the community center, that's that's awesome, man. Um, but uh, uh, I, you know, a lot of people like me replay it over and over and over again because uh, it's so much fun. And I've gone way deeper with the chat than I've ever played in that game before. Loving every minute of it, the new expansion content and all that. Very fun. So, hope you'll be a friend of the channel. If uh, if you're interested, be sure to hit that follow button so you know I try to go live around the same time every uh, every day. Uh, but we're a little late. I started at 8 a.m. today, which is early, and decided to go long. So, yeah. <laughs> a lot of that. All right, we might get uh, might get another Dwarven Express post here. Two and a half million gold, awesome, dude. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's fun when your farm starts cranking out like that, isn't it? Uh, a lot of work though. That's what I always find out. Oh, a uh, horde of monsters fell in the pit uh, up at the top here in the status. So this is going to be like a little mini zoo. <laughs> And our health is not yet open or up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit more time to heal up here before we dive in on all that. Uh, let's go ahead and eat our Danish. That will give us a little boost to healing here. Um, I don't want to dive into that. I mean, I, I have lost these runs just through monster or not through zoos. Yes, I have lost those too, but uh, through the the monster pits the pitting mechanism i should have read the book i thought it was just going to be dwarven express post mass pitting mechanism that's the uh the monster pit um yeah man i'd i'd love to have you back when we get back into stardew um and, and that should be tomorrow uh, for everybody who's wondering if you're if you're at this point or lurking in the chat or anything um tomorrow we should be back i just Junimo Kart on Halloween. Uh, I, I woke up early and was like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna go for a go for a big old long mini marathon, Dungeons of Dreadmore. Great one to do it on. Uh, it's so chill and like here, you can be right in the midst of trouble. Turn away. You don't have to have locked in conversation. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, so, are are you guys playing like on a multiplayer farm, or are you just uh, you just each playing Stardew Worlds? So here we go. We got a, a little crew of monsters. Hopefully they'll come up around me. Uh, we can do the mini special. That one actually takes longer to reset. <laughs> and there we go. The counter just got him. Um, let's see who wants to come up. There we go. Just perfectly arranged for the big special. Chop. <laughs> got, got a couple. He's now fleeing. Oh, look at the penguin. Uh, penguins seem to be a theme in this game. This game is a lot of fun. It's just loads of tongue-in-cheek, like the descriptions and all that, of the things and the monsters, all very humorous. It's a very simple uh, dungeon crawler. Um, but it can be tough. We, we actually dropped the world on level one when we were first getting started today. Bullet belt. Um, we shall see. Do we want that over... Uh, the other and what did I oh that's a, a Viking helm, right? <laughs> we got the recipe. Now we got the helm. We'll take a look at that stat. Oh. I don't want to be too flippant of uh, these monsters here. So how's your Halloween going? Uh cool? Or Israel, uh, what do you want? What do you prefer if I call you something short? Um, let me know. Um, you having a good Halloween? Did you do anything over the weekend uh, for it, or is Halloween not something you really uh, really get too fired up about? And done. Nice. Oh, 
How uh, Halloween was good. Uh, I hope. Good is good. Okay. Listen, dude. Do you just stop? Not being friendly. Yeah, they can they can get me with that distance. You know what? Uh, he's a good volunteer. We haven't yet used our new uh, wind up double plus plus crossbow, so we should do that. Let's uh let's use these barbed copper bolts here. And hit the one monster that probably is not the best one to try to do archery because it's a gelatinous blob. Uh, boop, boop. Small crossbow. Sell that. Uh, little magic box on the floor? Uh, <laughs> got us something. I don't know what it was. Who knows? We got a thing, though. All right, we are here. We got one more option here, and then we may have to cut back over to this side again. So let's go get these doors. By our motivational penguin statue, I guess. Oh. <laughs> when the, the game pauses like that, it is auto-saving, but uh, sometimes it's doing that for a reason, right? <laughs> so he walked into a trap, hit it, uh, but my haywire crit effect got him. Pretty good. And then here, pull the lever oh, to engage dark forces. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I read that accurately. Uh, dark forces. Pact of fleeting life. Uh, we get, in exchange for the power to steal the life force of your enemies, you promise to give some of your life to some elder being. This bartering is not for the faint of heart. I hope we don't die. Uh, we did get a boost. And uh, we got Diggles. And this is just a, a pile of death. These guys are super low level. And basically, they, they look at me wrong, and they bounce off and uh, die. Thick leather work gloves. Eggs. Uh, we will chase him down. Ooh, uh, Ludafis Cube. I got one. Can't sell those, so no sense in grabbing extra. Ah, here we go. Anvil. Anvil time. So let's hope that Krong, Kong, Krong, I always want to say Kong like the dog toy, is happy with us. And we got a bunch of different stuff. Uh, there's things we haven't even looked at yet, like the bullet belt. Uh, our belt is swashbuckling. It is two stars. Uh, has some crushing, or a block chance, and four... Counter chance. Maybe that's why we're repelling this. This one would give us a uh, caddishness, um, which affects crits and counter attacks. Uh, so it might make up for that. And uh, also gives us two blocking. Not to mention it is three stars instead of two. So I think that's worth a swap and maybe a try here. Um, we have this historically inaccurate vi uh, helm which only negatively impacts magic-y stuff. Magic power, right? Is that what that is? Or resistance or something? I don't know. I think that's magic power. Yeah. All right. Star, magic power. So this is actually, uh, actually pretty good. It gives us more armor and it doesn't affect our it doesn't have a negative on our nimbleness like so many of the heavy armor things are so for sure flat out upgrade there then um we don't want the jacket no axes or anything like that so i think we're now set with as good a stuff as we can have and we got some options here this was the crafted or the crossbow that we crafted and built up um, 
the bony axe. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk that because it's the only axe we have right now. And if it goes really bad, we're in trouble. Um, although if it goes bad, it's not going to go terrible, right? We'll get a negative something, uh, but it wouldn't be too terrible. Uh, we've already done this. We could do the belt because we, we just go back to the one we had. Same with the helmet. Um, they're nice upgrades. Um, but there, we've already done the kilt. The boots came enchanted. Um, I'm afraid to do the crossbow just yet because we just did one, right? And this is probably all RNG. I have no idea, but I don't know what the mechanism is. Uh, let's try this new helmet that we just got, right? He's pleased, and we get extra perception with our Viking helmet. That is fantastic. Uh, so we can see better. All right, little eyeball, uh, little eyeball is down here. Visual sight radius, I should say. Awesome, and we are totally loaded up with stuff. We are so far away from uh, Brax that let's just go dump off. We got some plastic bolts, we got some bone bolts, and we've got some ingeniously scythed steel boat bolts. Uh, most of this, I hope, is going to be saleable, like the ring, the coat of denim, the mace. This stuff, traps, any potion-y, mushroom-y, drink-y stuff. This can go down in the Ludifisk chamber. Uh, these are all next to trash. Sell that. That wooden sword uh, might be worth like 30, but... Um, mana potions, those should be good. Weapons are generally good. Grog, traps... Um, I'm not going to carry these around. I already got some of those. These will get sold. All right, then drop off the food stuff. Auto save. Just changed our inventory quite a bit. Diggle eggs and grated cheese. That's future omelets of America. Uh, 16 cheese. That's good. And then the rest of these can just go on the cheese pile. And everything except for this mushroom that I missed is crafty or our old helmet. Boom. Boom. <laughs> and a potato. Potato in here. And helmet. Uh I don't I don't think we're gonna need it because we got a positive update on uh Ayak, the harbinger of caves, so uh, we can certainly sell that. We're not going to get worse. So, boom, there we go. Inventory reset. Let's uh, let's get back out there. Keep combating, right? Level three. Here we go. Um, on, down, and around. Traps, monsters. Um, let's again try our crossbow on something that's a little less slimy. I don't know. It, uh... Finish him off with a baseball. Uh, they are softballs. I was going to say, I keep calling them softballs. Oh, there's an eel. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. Eels are nasty, and eels with an octo in the same room are extra nasty. I um, think eels don't like poison? Let's try. Well, it seems like it. One more. Awesome. Eels do have ranged, and they are nasty. Um, now, this is an animal. I would think poison should... Yeah, that... that did it. Uh, softball. Alright, that was way better than possibly dying. Awesome. Next. More traps. We like traps because we see them well and actually have pretty good skill at picking them up. Gives us XP. Our level is getting close to the next one. And next time, we'll go back to combat. Either dual wielding or a crossbow. Um, 
Israel is cool. If you're still hanging out, it, you got a preference either ranged attack, like our crossbow, or uh, our uh, axe slash uh, hand weapons. Now, if there's one you'd uh, prefer to see us advance. All right, we are, seem to be down in a corner. We had a long way to go back, so here's where we're going to just roll in the portal. Whoosh. <laughs> That's why we don't do it late, lately. Oh, we got three things. All right, uh, we we are prepared for this. All right, we took a took a couple licks, but for landing right in the middle of monsters, not too bad. And oh, hey, look at us. We we didn't go too far, but we went across a significant barrier. Right. Should call that the blood brain barrier. You guys all know about the blood brain barrier. Studded leather coat. Uh, kind of nice. Good armor, but uh, again, taking down our nimble, which we don't like. And more striped pants. We will eventually sell those. Uh, let's stay low, because why not? A living statue. <laughs> Not so living anymore. Uh, sorry, dude. I haven't read about you yet, though. A monstrous statue animated by dwarven magics, pure hatred, and a nine-volt battery. This monster is trying to kill you. The monster is asleep because we stunned him. Just go to sleep, sweet, sweet, sweet prince. Uh, here we go. We got a gate. Lever should open that. And, uh, hi, Jin. Got another leather <laughs> lever, possibly for an uber chest that hasn't yet been unlocked. Let's pull it. Find out. A uh, new hardcore Minecraft world. Uh, I'm assuming. Maybe. Man, I love me some hardcore Minecraft, too. Seems like we got uh, got similar tasting games, dude. That's awesome. Uh, steal that. These are already grilled steaks. Uh, we can stack them, but here you go. See, each stack a steak, only 10. Uh, so if we cook that on the grill, all good to go. And then these guys, just because we've already got a spot designated in our inventory... Uh, may as well. We could do the same with the Danish. They're cheap. Um, but, I don't know. Nice! Awesome, man. Uh, now, are you, uh, are you Java or a, um... Oh, man. <laughs> Crap. Uh, what's, like, the PlayStation mobile? Uh... Oh my goodness. Why can't I think of it? And what is it? <laughs> I just found a hair. I, it's like super fine. It's not, I don't think it's one of mine. It's like wispy, long. <laughs> came off my shirt. I don't know where it came from. Weird. How did somebody else's hair get in my place? Yeah. Alright, so we got the food. We won't buy the danishes. Um, Java. Java. Nice. Awesome, dude. Again, super cool. Uh, mace, still. Axe, axe. Interdimensional axe. Four stars. It's got four slashing and two toxic. Uh, it doesn't quite have all the boosty stuff here, but we can finally get to dual wielding axes. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm just going to buy this right out before we even sell anything. Thank you, Brax, my dude. All right, so axe, axe, uh, we are skilled out for axes, <laughs> so even though we lost a little bit of damage types and all this, our bonus damage by using axes uh, should more than make up for that. That should, uh, should be pretty stout as we go forward, um, and then we can sell... Uh, all this 
stuff, and I <laughs> we were reading reading prices early. This can definitely get dumped in there. It's worth nothing. Um, some fifty. It's not bad. Uh, potato in the bin. Cheeses we'll keep for our food. Uh, actually, refills there. Age steak, steak. Now I wish I had bought something else. Hmm. I really don't want to. Put an 11. 11 down there. Keep you. All of you guys are going to go back with me eventually. I think we should go check because we do have a bunch more stuff to sell, right? Right. Yes. Right, crafty stuff first, because there's only one of you. Bolts. Boomerangs. So what's your... Uh, oh, dude, why did you not drop? Um, there. Uh, what's your biome? What did you land in for your new, uh, your new hardcore world? Do you like it? Is it a good-looking start? Uh, do you have a seed, or do you look at, at maps or anything like that? Uh, I, I love to just play hardcore as it rolls, right? I got no idea what's coming at me. I just take it and run with it and see what comes. But, uh, I know a lot of people look to, like, hunt for a seed that will give them a very specific biome or start with certain stuff around it. Um, good luck to you on your hardcore world, though. I hope you, I hope you get to the dragon and beyond. All right, we don't uh, don't even need to put that away because we're just going to go back through and sell. I don't really need to look at it much, right? That's all going. Uh, look at that. It just passed 40 grand. There you go, 42. And nothing else we are cur currently ready to buy. But I can't wait to go try out my dual axes. Uh, I also would like to get one more level here. Bent staff. Traps. We do get XP for all these traps, so they're kind of handy. Uh, 27, 10, 5, 1, and 1. That works. Uh, what do you got? Twenty four five one one one. Not bad. Uh, which okay, so let's go back this way. Try to fill in the gaps in the map. Uh, I don't think I don't think we got anything here. We can try again, but uh, yeah, that doesn't do it. Uh, like, anything that would blast that would be nice, but I don't have a blasty, blasty technique, so nothing. But I got you. Ooh, you're tough. Or you were. Come on in. Cool. Well, I hope it, I hope it goes good. A belt of champions, three uh, melee power and three blocking. Four star. Ooh. Uh, we give up a little bit of this caddishness, uh, which helps our crits. Uh, but we get get better blocking. I, I think uh, we want to be a champion, All right? Uh, pretty much just a big room. I don't think we can do anything with those. Oh, but there is a monster there. Oh, a woodsman's axe. Um, that seems like something we should have found a long time ago. Three stars, two and two. Not not going to bump out either of the ones that we already have. Uh, but here's some more traps. And uh, we would need that for something or other, I saw. We didn't have one. Uh, ooh. Look at that. Hey, we're back. <laughs> I didn't even know we'd missed it. We're connected. 
Uh, a cybernetic amulet uh, gives us some frosty damage, frosty resistance. Um, but the the stuff is about monks and wizardy stuff, so we'll probably just sell that. Keep the one that we've got. Uh, uh, we don't talk ages in our chat, man. Um, but I, <laughs> uh, I'm an adult. Old enough to know a lot of these references from the uh, the 90s. So, yeah, I, I got a few years under my belt. Old enough to know better, but young enough to still do it. Um, one more. Come on, dude. Let me one hit you. All right, we can do uh, we can do ice. We can do fire. I think the last time we did ice, so fire. We didn't. Oh, did you? Where'd you step, dude? You gotta watch out for that. Problem is, he picked it up. Oh! <laughs> I thought he picked it up. Bummer. Well, didn't, didn't hurt us too bad. Oh! Oh! I didn't know that was a whooshy. Uh, whooshy lever. I just step on another trap? Maybe it was a sound effect for one of these monsters. Crush. Oh! I'm sorry, man. That's how it goes in hardcore, though. You just gotta uh, dust yourself off and uh, go back for more. Embrace the pain. Yeah, I, um, I don't know if your buddy told me. Uh, he dropped by uh, either yesterday or a couple days ago. Uh, when we were checking in on a hardcore world I had. And it was one I was just playing in the background while I'm doing Stardew. Uh, but I built some cool buildings and stuff. Uh, kind of spawned near a village. And I was having a lot of fun with it. Uh, brought my chat along to check it out. And uh, yeah. Found an abandoned mine shaft uh, deep underground. And the creeper just dropped on my head. Or actually walked up behind me while I was looking overhead. Um was not good dude okay um maybe we'll recuperate that acid was nasty bookshelf uh that is tinkers so coat of denim with rhinestones hopefully we can craft that uh i don't i think that would be meiji though not uh not our kind of rogue warrior see our rogue is catching back up that tinker uh kicks our rogue back up over the warrior stuff um but both are good get some of that nothing else catches my eye trying to keep moving here get this uh get this level done we got a uh special dimension one to get done when we uh we can finish up here on three trap it? That's all you got for me? Um, I think we used poison on these pretty effectively. See you, eel. Do not like the eels. Although eels are probably the coolest thing I've ever seen scuba diving. I haven't ever seen like a great white shark or anything like that. Uh, but eels are amazing. All bright green, cool looking. Uh, Kazook, the covetous cheese must be found and used on the monolith. All right. Uh, I don't know exactly. Um, I'm in mountain time zone, and my guess would be sometime between, like, 8.30 and 10.30. Sometimes it goes a little earlier, sometimes it goes a little later. Um, sometime in that range. And normally we only go about four hours. This one, uh, we, <laughs> we are already, uh, almost six and a half hours into a mini marathon. Um, I think probably don't have too much time longer in it um but uh having having so much fun i don't i don't want to want to wrap it up too fast uh, but being that i uh am uh not too 
too young, I'm going to go out and meet some friends because I'm a little, a little past a lot of the uh, Halloween stuff. So I'm just going to go out and meet some friends for dinner. Uh, I'll have to leave for that in a little while. All right, so we've gone all the way around this little box. Uh, we got a couple doorways over here. And I know this portal goes here. So this portal maybe would be the quickest way to get somewhere new. Uh, let's see what we can do with that. Oh. Oh. A little room here. Oh, look, a little picture of, like, a king or something on the wall. I am Henry the Eighth. I am. Uh, we do have Brax over here. Before we go hit the portal, let's go sell again. Just keep the inventory good. Uh, 42.9. Oh, want that. Keep that. Need that. That, 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 that. Or, oh, and that is the thing we have to use on the shrine, I think. There we go. Uh, 42.9 turned into 46.4. That's, uh, not terrible. And our inventory gets cleaned up a little bit, so we don't have to have to go back to the portal. All right, so that's going to be a pain in the butt to get back to. There are no portals. Oh, I walked right by you. Sorry about that. Some would consider that rude. Now where are we? Wait, that was the one I just... Are all three of these linked together? Okay, now that one goes... So far... Oh, the worst portals in this map. But they did take us back to the grill. Cook up our steaks here. Get a little more good food. Moderately good food. Uh, all right, so straight down, we will take care of this monolith thing. Let's get that out of the way until we get there. Auto-saving again. Come on. Oh, I got all our health. Uh, back. Monolith. Thingy. Looks like a brain. But it's really Karzak, the covetous cheese. And we get a sword. Uh, Valbel, the antique vessel. Uh, hopefully worth lots of money. It is a six star and lots of good stats. So hopefully that'll be a grand or something, maybe. Maybe. Swords are usually pretty pricey. All right. No, <laughs> no portals to get us back out of here. So we got to retrace our steps again. And, uh, yeah, it's still this level one quest that we never could finish. Uh, but that's it. Uh, so right into this middle area, we got these two doors. Uh, maybe let's just try this portal. We can always come right back to it. Uh, it's kind of a push. Oh, oh, uh, now where did I go? Hey, that one's not as good. Hi. Hello. Unfriendly AI. Oh, level up! The Potato of Justice. That's what they call me. I am the Spud of Justice. All right, here we go. Um, I didn't see a response. Bows or weapon or uh, handheld weapons. Uh, but we definitely want to power up. We've, we've done a few of these to get our traps and our visibility and all that up. And to do what little tinkering stuff we can do. So we could... We could just uh, do this to move forward in our crossbowing, uh, which would be good. Our uh, dual wielding um, has an automatic special attack that will happen in the background, uh, and it gives us three more crit, right? Counter chances. Uh, even better. Well, maybe not. Uh, and then we have highly wear. I think I'm going to hold on that since we've done so much tinkering. Um, we'll wait on that. So... Uh, assassin would be good though. Uh, that gives us toxic damage.
damage just straight up? Is that right? No, this is sneakiness. Which is up to 21. Oh my gosh, I haven't looked at these numbers. 50, 41. Woo! Um, sneaky, nimble. I would love to get this green uh, venomous infusion on my sword for the next monster zoo. I do not play Fortnite. Never, uh, never played Fortnite. Uh, never Overwatch. Not, not exactly my games. Um, but that's cool. I, I know a lot of people love them. When it comes to that kind of stuff, I guess I'm more of an, an RPG type. Uh, Skyrim, uh, Fallout, those kinds of um, solo single player. The whole the whole like multiplayer thing having to be logged on. Um, doesn't work as well for my scheduling and my style. So, yeah, mostly uh, mostly games I can just uh, enjoy with a, a chat, hanging out, and uh, go from there. All right, let's uh, let's do. I think let's do this. We will get uh, get this automatically employ the skill when the chance presents itself. So underlying behind all the combat, we will get a, another special effect like Haywire, uh, like some of the others. We do have the two axe, the axe NATO and the uh, the Viking strike or whatever it is. So um, I think this is good, um, and. Uh, yeah, we can we can continue to boost out there. Um, pretty good. Uh, yeah, we'll take take this one and then leave the dual wielding alone for a bit while we go back down here or to the crossbow. Done. And there we go. I like how my little uh, my little console comes out uh, while I'm waiting. All right, so just cross here. We still got this portal. Let's not forget that because that could be uh, that could that could end our stream uh, with some deadly peril. Oh, here it is. Uh, but we want to finish the map first, and then uh, before we do the dimension, we'll do that portal. Uh, defensive Kurds uh, from the ingot press. So maybe. <laughs> Molten gooey cheese. Ew. But I, I guess that's a way to defend. An amber ring of unending time. Uh, doesn't really tell us what it is. But uh, that's cool. I think I, when I'm interested in them, those recipes just disappear on me. And then uh, when they don't look like something I would do, I can't get rid of them. Uh, we can ditch this pair right out of the gate. I don't need to carry that around. Uh, and the sewer bruce. All right. Uh, that was that was a small room. So I guess now we are back to here. Oh, another another robot. Another guy up here. Just taking all the XP we can. Uh, one more down. Here's the door. Be something awesome. Ooh, another another dimension tag. Hi. Uh, let's grab that. All right, little notepad. This is actual uh, old school gaming thing. You gotta write these down. Z mage wink. Z mage win fro Yeah, and they gotta be exact, so and they're not <laughs> not very wordy. Uh uh whatever that emote is, that looks awesome. 
Looks like is that like a mushroom cloud? Sorry, I'm I'm reading my chat off my TV across the room. Uh, this game is full screen on my side, so I can't see the chat uh, over there, and I can't mouse over the emotes. But that looks awesome. Looks like a to me from here, it looks like a purple mushroom cloud. Looks cool. Nice man. All right, so we got two of those little phrases to put in uh, when we get done with this uh, level three, and uh, another little uh, tinkery room. We can. Ooh. I guess we can't smash the bookshelf. Oh, all right, dude. You asked for it. Yeah. Uh, you're all in very big trouble now. Boom. And uh, there's some of that maneuvering. Hitting. The magma mace stability? Wait, what? I don't know. Oh, this is the magma mace, but then look at this. So there's like a potion underneath. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. We don't have smithing. But, <laughs> oh, it's a potion of invisibility. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, what the heck is that all about? Booyah! Come to Papa. Gotcha. Uh, wand. Those are usually good. Cross uh, cross staff. Bullet belt. Uh, no bolts on the floor in the little archery room. Maybe here in the chest. Coat of denim with rhinestones. Like I said, very magic-y. Uh, but probably worth a fair bit. Hi. Oh, first, uh, first cloud gremlin. Cloud gremlins are riding clouds out for adventure and shocking times. This monster is trying to kill you. Well, we're not done with that. Ooh, it makes a fun little sound when he dies. Traps everywhere. Man, we got a long way to go till our next level. Uh oh. Plebs are needed. See that? Up on the, the ticker? What's that all about? I don't know what plebs are. <laughs> More jackets. This is the jacket section of the mine. Mine? Now I'm too star -dewy. Calling things mines. These are dungeons. Oh, sir. Um, yeah, I'll go up here. More eels? Maybe not. Uh, we will get jumped taking this jacket. Come on. Oh. <laughs> um. oh, wait, I don't want to kill him yet. Here we go. Combo special. Boom! Because uh, if I kill the green dude, the others are going to flee. Dude, stop hitting me! Alright, well at least we refreshed this. Maybe I can get one or the other of them. You're done. Fine. Fine. Uh, I'll come down here, and uh, <laughs> we need like 40 points of health. I'll eat a sandwich for 29. Let's just uh, let's brush that off. Let's get a bolt on here. Critical hit. Did I get him? No. Oh, <laughs> there we go. The lingering poison got him. Nice. We survived! Yay! And now that food will keep, uh, oh, regening our health, although we still have one straggler here. Thankfully, uh, they couldn't run too far. Uh, was there anything? Nothing more up here. Got doors here. 
Get there. Another penguin. Hi, penguin. I wish it told us something about the penguin. All I know is that when they made this game, whoever it was was big into penguins. Lots of penguin named items. Uh, I am in Colorado, USA. How about you? Crude stone axe. Hey, that's what we started with. It's like memory lane. I'm sleeping. So peaceful. Bah! All right. All that's good. Uh, are we? I think we're good. I don't see any other doorways or anything that haven't gone again. The brown down arrows, uh, those are the ones that will take us down to level four. Uh, the green up arrows would take us back to level two and beyond. Uh, again, we end far from any portals. The portaling here is terrible. Uh, but somewhere in here we had that uh, that blue portal, right? And I would love to take that on. Uh, we'll head back to the shops to clear our inventory and then see if we can do that. And what are you? Parwan. Interesting. Sounds like something I'm making Stardew. Mango one. Banana one. Pear we had a pear tree. Alright, we got these two extra portals as well. Hey. I won't leave you, leave you lonely. There we go. All done there. Where is that blue portal? kind of feel like maybe it was over this way. Oh, we're not even getting over there. Do we have to whoosh? Whoosh! Uh, do we have any quests link? Oh, just that one. Dang it. All right, let's go hit this portal to get somewhere closer to anything. Uh, where are we here? See a blue portal? A little blue rectangle on the floor. There it is. All right, so here it is. Uh, and we can just go right up around here to the store. We definitely want to hit that again and see if we survive. Uh... Brax, man. Oh, dude. Oh, no. All right. Back to here. Back to here. Up. So I can get to this store. I can't get to the other one. That's all right. Any store will do. Eat 77. Uh, I don't know if that was that sort. I really hoped it was going to be worth like a thousand. Uh, keeping that. Don't get traps. These can go in here. Uh, pair one, six, four, uh, that I don't need, and trap, axe, <laughs> right in the old pit, uh, 430, so all these guys, that wand's always good. 1,700 there. <laughs> Double staff, 17. Not as good. The bolts will keep uh, food stuff, crafty stuff. Let's go to our portal first. Drop these off. Uh, how's our inventory down here looking? Still good. Uh, but we are kind of low on some of these bolts. So we got to watch out for that. I probably want to reload before we go. Crafty stuff. Powdery crafty stuff. Uh, gem crafty stuff. 
and foods. This goes here. Uh, these can just go on the stack. I see we're splitting those up, but whatever. All right. So before we go through that blue portal, I'm going to go to these two that we've already got done. So remember the little uh, colorful graffiti on the wall at where we I jotted down those st strings of characters? Uh, I am doing that now. The first one is Posinus Jaw Call Jaff. And uh, just make sure there's no typos because that could be disastrous. Pause, nus, jaw. Pause, nus, jaw, cold, jaff. Engage. All right. So then uh, distant dimension. Whoosh. Whoa. All right. Hello, guys. Uh, let me get this out of the way. Uh, we got our extra special thing. Welcome to my dimension, folks. And there we have it. Uh, let's hit this guy. Hey, we're not uh, not critting very well. That's all right. Got uh, a burnt out wand here. Um, so these are just little separate bonus areas. We get a uh, few items. Is that the one we need, guys? No, we need like plate armor, right? Uh, we'll check that. But I don't want to. I don't want to wear steel armor. I'm much more uh, roguey than that. Hello, welcoming committee here. It's very thorough. Ooh, the black pearl ring of sleeping secrets. Two black pearls, some stuff. Oh, other rings. That. That could be nasty. Uh, fortunately, we're not smiths, so probably not going to come up. Oh, man. Uh, I did leave a mushroom back there. Hey, look at that. Lit up the room. Uh, more bookshelves. Uh, these would be those uh, <laughs> Gaga's Glaze. Uh, more meaty stuff to put on to armor pants or whatever. I don't know anything about those. Every oh. The bony axe this is what we have. Uh, so we, if we find a bone club, we need to hold on to it and a potion of dire empowerment. Remember those, uh, because we already have one of these bony axes. They're pretty darn good. Uh, getting a couple of those and being able to enchant them would be fantastic. Uh, that's better than our interdimensional axe. So it is smithing, though. Oh, I may not be able to do it. Dang it. All right, well, auto-saving here. We got a chair that I can't sit in because I can't sit. <laughs> Oof. Oh, did you step on something there? Come on up. Didn't do you much damage, but uh, enough. Oh, I can pick these up now. Thank you, Tinker. Don't you steal my XP. I saw you trying. It's still, still a long way from leveling, but uh, these do give you a little nice boost. Um, in these dimensions, think long and hard about whether or not you want to pull that lever. Because uh, you can be super geared up, uh, doing awesome, uh, pull the wrong lever, and it's gone. And like right now we're cruising, you pull those levers, dead. <laughs> like with monsters that are just laughing at you. Woo! Um I think I'm gonna see who we can get to follow us. Oh, that's why, because I'm at forty now. Um, why do I have a trap there? I don't need this. Uh, I'll just eat a steak. Give us a little pop back up. Oh, you got stuck? Sorry, dude. There we go. Keep healing from our food. 
healing faster than we normally would. And now... There you go. Um, police box? <laughs> the wizards have the box! Um... Obviously, our TARDIS is, uh, we don't, we don't want the wizards to get it. Uh, and of course the Time Lord scarf that's sitting back in, in Brax's shop on level one, um, would be a throwaway to that, or a reference, homage to it. Uh, here again, another lever, um, this one even more terrifying than the last. Uh, but sometimes here can hide this sometimes we have to because some of them are warps others of them are super nasty monsters that will just eat us for lunch and uh, unless there's something here that I can I missed oh here we go uh, sometimes you get to a point where you have to we may still have to pull the lever uh, who wants to come? There we go. Uh, so we still got to pull a lever. Uh, I'm not excited about lever because I don't have a way out, right? We're, we're toast uh, if this goes bad. And... Uh, Okay. Whew. Uh, this just puts us in a box, though. So that's not ideal. <sighs> okay, I guess we gotta go pull the other lever. Uh, I guess it will warp us, too. Uh, well, I think you got two two awesome options, man. Hardcore Minecraft or uh, or Stardew. Those are two of my absolute. Fa well, they, it, those are probably my two flat out favorite games. Uh, so I don't think you go too wrong. Uh, ooh, we got some fire. Magma, I guess. Lava. It's magma if it's underground. Lava if it's erupted, right? Coming out. Ooh, cybercone. Thanks for thanks for not hitting me from distance, little octo thingy. And there's our portal out. So this is the end. Get these. Uh, uh, get these traps for the XP and uh, a boosted up uh, pair of gloves. We'll compare those to what we got. Just a second. Anything else here? Nope. So that blue is the portal home. But uh, the bitter will, uh, one frozen damage, four sneakiness, and a trap. And... Oh, Ours have uh, one putrefying damage, a block chance, and a trap. So uh, what do these have? One star. These have three stars. And the sneakiness, um, I think, outweighs the one block. So plus they're, they're three. So we'll change up that damage type. And there we go. All right, man. Well, hey, it was it was great having you. And like I said, uh, if you haven't already, hit that follow button. Uh, maybe uh, maybe hit the the Twitter uh, so you know when I'm going live because I don't know myself day to day. Uh, it will just vary, but I'd love to see you back in here again. More Stardew starting tomorrow. Uh, we'll be wrapping up our play of that, finishing out year five. So uh, come check us out. Say hey. Uh, it was great having you though. Thank you. All right, so we are back. Um, we got. Uh, this is a potion of mana. I thought maybe we had the potion that uh, we needed. So, um, I don't know. I don't know that we're ever going to do anything with all this stuff, but 
uh, let's just drop all these. I guess what we should do is drop that, put that down. Sell, sell, Ludafisk. Oh, awesome. Thanks so much, man. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure having you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Halloween and uh, find a fun game to play. Enjoy, man. Maybe uh, hey, you can run around. I hope it's nice out where you are. Get outside. Enjoy. All right. Uh, we don't need to push into mana at all. Uh, we're just going to go toss this and uh, do the next special thingy here. The Zemmage uh, Call Fro. Zemmage Wn Call Fro. Zs. No, I have an S in there. I don't need an S. Oh, crap. I can't. <laughs> you can't even arrow through to take out a single letter. Zemmage Wn Call Fro. Engage. There we go. Out. Hello. Oh, now you're going to hit me from range, aren't you? That's very unkind of you. Uh, what do we got up here? Chest. Uh, uh. Something pitchfork. I don't know. I feel like even though we got these octos to deal with, this is kind of the way to start. Can I smash these? Uh, can't smash that. Uh, I don't think I can smash the lights. Uh, what do we got here? Mystic orb. Again, I don't know. Some of these things may be interactable. Oh, shit. Should have done the special. We got him. No problem. We're already healing back up. Cleared out this whole area. And now, sometimes, you know, you can kind of fill in the pattern. Like, hey, maybe we should finish that before we go on to other places. Just pick it. Uh, what is that? A rune of ominous warning. It's a trap. Uh, lobster main fungus. Can I pick that up? Whoa. Nay. Uh yeah, I guess uh I guess I won't be going through all those. If that's the first one, I assume they get increasingly difficult. Uh to get up to Firu, which is not even a ring that I, I care that much about. Um surprised I could see it from there, but that's my perception. Uh coming in handy. Ooh. A steam golem. First of these we've hit or found. Uh he is a thirty eight hit pointy, so one shot. It's nice when you're meeting monsters for the first time and wrecking them. Uh, and again, these ranged ones. Yeah, you're a jerk. Uh, fruit on a pedestal. I'm glad that they want to be aggressive. Uh, here's a little crew. I don't even... It's one of the things about the axe. This attack is fantastic, uh, but it really... I rarely, rarely even get a chance to use it. I guess the good part there is uh, it resets... Oh, my gosh. Um, a savvy... Uh, haywire chance and sneakiness. So a base big stat, a primary stat. And then two more toxic damage. So this one um, that just gives us three counter chance. Well, that's good. Uh, I think this is maybe not not quite as good. I, I guess the armor is lower, but uh, I like I like doing more damage. And this toxic is great. Another Tardis, a fancy leather halberd. Four armor, um, 
a dodge. Uh, blocking five. Wow, look at all those are kind of lagging behind our critting and hitting and absorption. Um, so we'd actually lose quite a bit of dodge on that, but we would get get back all the block and two armor absorption. Um, we lose the uh, the four uh, enemy dodge reduction but we'd still be sitting at 50 there as our topped out stat. Is it time? Is it time to replace the poncho? It's 11 extra stats there, and we've only got eight here, but, uh, I don't know, absorption? Plus, it gets us an extra star. Two stars. All right, two stars. We'll see if we can enchant this uh, or Kong it uh, as we go, and we'll just use the rest of this special dimension as a proving ground. Uh, do we suddenly start significantly struggling with monsters or taking tons of damage? Uh, gotta watch for traps under the empties. Diggles! What's up, guys? Come on in. Yeah, there we go. And... One thing is, these guys definitely look very similar. That one has a longer cooldown. Now, this one. Get everybody. Well, I missed you. I didn't do any damage to you. Just had a block roll. Let's see, Octo. More bookshelves. Uh, a blue ring. <laughs> Sapphire Ring of the Deepest Guys. I think we saw that in the other one. Uh, a Storm Hammer. Must be a mace. Again, smithing. We're not going to have it. Um, we can kick on the lights here. Boost our visibility. Uh, potions. We're not going to be doing any alchemy. Uh, but this is tinkery stuff. Dangerously Unstable Reactor. Uh, to boost up crossbow stuff. And extra damage, but uh, potentially um, makes us more vulnerable to whatever that kind of damage is. <laughs> Maybe radioactive or something. I don't know. Uh, very cool. Uh, like I said, if, if we survive this stream, uh, we'll maybe try to do some of that uh, encrusting. We'll keep Keep an eye out for the parts and stuff. Uh, I don't know any of it. Uh, haven't, haven't even, didn't even think of it. Um, but now I am fascinated to try. I guess we can't. We gotta go up this way. Come here. Oh, new style pilsner. The trashiest of trashy booze. Welsh Jenny! Hey, what's up? How you doing? So good to see you. How how you doing? Happy Halloween to you. Uh, be forewarned, it might be a little loopy. We are, uh, let's check the phone. Oh, it's three. <laughs> three my time. I started at 8 a.m. This is our mini marathon. I probably got to go in about an hour to uh, to be able to go meet up with friends. Um, now this is odd. This looks like the end of our little special dimension. Why is everybody seeing the Minecraft too? I don't know what I missed. Uh, I missed in Twitch. Uh, somehow everybody's like, "Oh, you're playing Minecraft," and, and has been laughing about this. Uh, I didn't mean to sit in the wrong directory. In fact, I know I updated the directory in the uh, the schedule stuff, so I don't know where I missed it. Um. At the risk of jacking up the game, let's go see if we can break into Windows here. There we go. Edit stream info? Minecraft. There it is. Shoot. Well, oops. Dungeons. How did it go back to this, by the way? Didn't I set this? No, I guess I never did... Uh... <laughs> I 
I, I updated the schedule. Apparently, none of that is uh, is reflective of the stream itself. So sorry about that. Everybody has been in here, VOD viewers, anybody like that? Uh, my bad. Hardcore Vanilla Dungeons of Dreadmore. We'll just call it Dreadmore for today. And playing Dreadmore. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, everybody was coming in. I'm like, I don't know. I updated. I even tweeted. Uh, so, yeah. uh, I, I hopefully I've updated it now. Um, we'll see. Yeah, seven hours. That's crazy. Um, having a blast though. All right. Hopefully I haven't, uh, haven't totally borked the game, but now hopefully that will update. If you refresh, should be, uh, should be good to go. Saying dread more stuff. I don't know why we didn't get an item. Maybe this will whoosh us within this dimension. I don't know. Nope, we're done. Uh, I guess it's like, yeah, you've got enough stuff. Don't be greedy. Uh, sell, sell, sell. Our poncho was such a good friend. Uh, Subaru in the Ludafisk stuff. So yeah, I just decided Halloween, it wasn't the right day to have cute little Junimos. Uh, but tomorrow, tomorrow Junimo carton. And if I miss you, I don't know what time uh, exactly we're going to be going, Jenny. Uh, but if I don't catch you, uh, we should have the VOD. And hopefully we got good luck and our Junimo carton our way to uh, Lewis. Or at least past Shane. That would be nice. All right. Out of the dimension, this is the one that could straight up uh, wreck us. And end this run. <laughs> Seven hours of Dreadmore. I can't believe we've been going this long. But we did learn some cool stuff about crafting. Uh, made us a cool crossbow. So here it is. Um, why did these re... Oh! Do you think that that... Remember we went to that little box on the floor? Uh, I'm chatting to whoever. Lurkers, whatever myself and I, I walked onto it and I was like nothing ever happens there but I hear a little a little sound effect maybe that refills all of these fountains uh, anyway I'm not gonna mess around with fountains I am going to take everything in hand we could go right in. hey welcome back man uh, Israel is cool uh, friends with um, slime sandwich right who was formerly wiki um, Welsh, uh, Jenny, you've, uh, I think you guys have at least crossed paths, but, uh, Israel is cool here said that, uh, they're buddies and, uh, I, a little word of mouth. Um, so again, I, I apologize for the Minecraft. I think we got the stream title updated here for Dreadmore. Uh, sorry about that. All right. This could be it. Uh, duh. ready? One, two, don't die. Definitely boosted monsters. Um, th this one's sleeping, though. Oh, look at that sword. Holy crap. Holy crap. Guys. Shh. Don't wake up the, don't wake up the thing. Because these monsters are going to wreck us. Uh... Yeah. So this is the this is the lesser of these two. Um so I know we're we're slotted out for axes. Uh I hope that these two <laughs> are back and forth. I can't even oh 122 and he's only 46. All right, well that's good and then you are 102. We might survive this. Uh, but I'm not counting on it. 71 slashing. Uh, <laughs> it woke up to die. It woke up, it became hostile, and it collapsed in a pile of sprecht all in one little go. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Um. Uh. How about this? Oh, he might have a ton of resistance. My monofilament slashing damage might be laughable to him. Please crit him. Your life force is running out. 
I see that. Uh, come on, buddy. I don't think I can survive another hit. Um, can I run? Oh, no. Well, he didn't hit me back. You think he just wants to be friends? I forgot about the whole needing to lockpick thing. Um... damage. Um, the best thing would be, like, poison isn't going to help us. These aren't very good. I don't have other bolts. The best thing to do would be to get us some kind of a crit that would bounce him back, but he seems kind of massive. Uh, he also has 53 still. Uh, we did 45, 52 on what I think was a good. I wish I could scroll back up through that combat log and see if the earlier attack did more or less. Um, but I'm thinking of the 122. That was a pretty good hit. I've got no... Oh, wait, is this going? I think that's good. So let's, oh, please, 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 please. Oh, I'm not dead. How am I not dead? That didn't do, uh, oh, it did do something. All right, please get him. He's totally... <sighs> Um, can I, is he just going to sit there? Come on. Oh, no. I don't want the, dude, you're 102. Uh... Oh, the axe stuff may not be as good because I don't have two axes. I don't know if I... If I dodge or something, maybe I can make this. No! Oh! <laughs> uh, he got me for fire slashing and blasting damage. I said that portal was it was going to be trouble. That's actually about as well as I've done. And getting that sword, it, it actually kind of gave us a chance. Um, probably I should have... I should have... When I popped here and this guy was asleep and I was like there, I should have grabbed the sword and tried to sneak this way to see if I could get some ranged. Uh, but even then, my ranged damage wasn't going to do enough. And probably if I opened this door, just endless hordes of more monsters uh those portals are way different from the portals that uh that we just battled in um wah 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 this is a hardcore game this is just like hardcore minecraft when the run is over it's done we had some great armor uh i enjoyed the axe but we'll definitely try to mix that up a little bit maybe go maces or something um it's kind of crazy we never until very late we never even had dual max or weapons and getting that uh that super damaging sword if we could have then gotten gotten the heck out of dodge <laughs> we would have been good but there's there's no way to do that. You're stuck until you can get to the exit portal. So we would have had to have made it through a full map, and I don't know how big those are. Um, super, super, super hardcore, crazy Halloween horrors, right? Uh, but knocked it out, and <laughs> it says I still have a heart's worth of life. Clearly not. Uh, we're dead, dead. Oh, that was fun. Uh, we unfortunately we, we didn't get to the almost two hundred thousand gold to buy the Doctor Who scarf, the Time Lord scarf. 
uh, on level one. But that was uh, that was a lot of fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed our Halloween stream. We'll go to the thing. We did go back to Habage after uh, the Son of Tavern killed by a Shogun bot Mark V. So that uh, that at least seems kind of cool. And uh, it was in a mysterious dimension instead of uh, instead of being at our left. So probably here here's what we we should probably take away from that, right? In hardcore Minecraft, we always try to learn from our deaths here as well. Um, when I'm doing those, what I should do is make a note, uh, just like I do of the, the little dimensional codes, jot it down and then head to lower levels first. And if I get through the game, then go back and go hit those mysterious dimension ones when I'm totally OP. Uh, to stand a chance. That was a little little greedy, but it was fun. And hey, we had a a heck of a good stream. Welsh Jenny, uh, we're gonna hang up for just a bit, but uh, I apologize that we're um, we're kind of catching the end of it. Um, but uh, it's Halloween. I hope uh, I hope work went well. It's great to see you and uh, and get to share a little bit of Halloween time. Uh, so there we go. We'll look at the high score rankings. Where do we go? Habits the Adventure. And here we go. The, I was talking about those other levers. Those will pull a pair of evil clones of yourself. Uh, so even in those those regular ones, we can go. Um, you can see a lot of these are named monsters. Uh, but like that one on a mine. Lord Dreadmore himself. I Yes, I have fought him. <laughs> Didn't come out well, but uh, I've gotten to uh, to the big old fight once um yeah so lots and lots and lots of nasty named monsters i don't know what a dread collector is what that was i don't remember um probably another one of these where i went into a um a different dimension and got wrecked uh so we made it on the high scoreboard list and that's that's not a small feat. Remember, uh, or for anybody who doesn't know, if you check the VOD, uh, starting off this stream, when Omni was back here this morning, we uh, we dropped in and uh, got like partway three rooms into the first level and got killed. Uh, so it can happen really, really fast too. But uh, this was a fun run, and I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, a lot, of, uh, a lot of fun getting to hang out with you guys. Let's... Um, Let's throw something up on the screen. Uh, I think you guys get to watch the exit here. So you get out, right? And uh, you go to the quit. Just one game, more game wouldn't hurt, would it? And it's how easy it was to blow through seven hours of streaming um, without even really noticing time passing. Absolutely love it. Um, you guys are so awesome to be uh, to be hanging out here. Um Let's check. Sorry, I know it's a black screen. I'm still here. Don't worry, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm just checking to see uh, is any are any of our friends going. Um, yeah, not a lot. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna drop on Overwatch. Uh, that doesn't really fit in with what we're doing. Uh, we got some. Bunch of people out there. Looks like they're doing uh, doing various uh, Halloween type stuff, but I don't see Omni or any of the other close friends of the channel. So uh, we'll uh, we'll kind of wrap up. Miss the stream tomorrow. I'm working nights, but no, I'm cheering on. Uh, well, don't worry. Um, I'll let you know how the Junimo cart turns out, and uh, then. As we've talked about, uh, we'll be so for everybody who doesn't know, we'll be back in Stardew tomorrow. Um, we will go um, deep uh, deep into the following week, right? We're going to start summer. So tomorrow in Stardew is the 28th of spring, year five. We've got all our seeds. Uh, we're hoping for really good luck and to play Junimo Kart and to just take care of that, knock it all out, never have to worry about it again. Would be fantastic. Uh, how likely is that? Well, we'll find out. Um, after that, we will go... The Monday, we'll plant all our crops, start up for summer, 
Go check out with Key and see what the next quests on his board are. Hopefully there's something new in there, whether it's more Junimo Kart or uh, the fishing stuff or anything else that we haven't seen yet uh, or haven't completed uh, would be awesome. There was one in there that was like, get to the bottom of the Skull Cave without health or something? I don't know. I, that seems just impossible. I, I don't even know how to begin to start that. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll have to wait on that one. Uh, but yeah, back into Stardew, uh, the long-term plan is to finish that out, uh, which may take, uh, may take weeks, uh, to get through year five, or it may go really quick. We'll see what the quests are, how that plays out. And then we're going to, we're going to mix it up from Stardew for a little while, either do some Minecraft or do some, uh, some more of this Dreadmore. So if you enjoyed the VOD or the stream or anything else associated with, uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore today, you got to speak up. You got to shout it out in the comments. You got to let me know, meh, it was lame or yeah, I want to see, see if we can do a run that goes super deep and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do some of that other stuff that we were just kind of looking at, the encrusting and all that. Um, I would love to, uh, but I would also probably look to do uh, a few hardcore runs, depending on how deep they go, in between, right? Uh, do some hardcore Minecraft, uh, play that out for a little bit, and then, then go do a Dreadmore, uh, maybe a little more Minecraft, and then back to a Stardew. Uh, you know, a few months, a few months break. We've been doing this one since uh, late summer, early early fall. Uh, absolutely love it. Love you guys, uh, all the people that have been coming for more Stardew. So we'll get back to it. And again, apologies to anybody who got faked out. I'm sorry, I got the the stream schedule updated, but I did not get the stream description updated. My bad. Uh, we'll try to clean it up tomorrow for Stardew. Otherwise, I'll get a lot of questions about Dreadmore. What's Dreadmore? What are you? What are you doing? So there we go. Have a ha happy, safe, and wonderful Halloween. Uh, if you haven't already, um, I don't know if anybody's doing anything on the Monday. If there's, uh, if anybody trick or treats anymore, or if there's trunk or treating or anything like that. Uh, if you do go out, if you have parties or uh, or just watching your kids or you are a kid and going it, um, be safe out there. I'll look out for everybody else. And uh, if you get into a little bit of trouble, you know the the right kind of trouble, uh, make sure nobody's nobody's at risk. Right? Uh, remember cars and stuff may not see you if you're wearing a mask or anything like that may be tough to see be extra just take that little bit extra time to be careful stay awesome my friends uh i'm gonna get outside and enjoy the little bit left of our sunlight because sun's going down quick and uh it was barely up when i started today so take care we'll see you guys soon and i am out of here bye now